Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome. This should be it. This should be live. This is the beginning of the end. This is the final stream event. Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door Weekend. Not sure if we're quite live yet. Sometimes it takes just a minute for some things to load up. But it seems like it might be on its way. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, here we are. I can see myself. I can hear myself now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final stream event. A marathon weekend playthrough of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I am so excited to be bringing this game to you today. Let me tell you. Uh, this is it. This is the send-off. 200 live streams. Uh, probably, what, seven years of Let's Playing. It's all come to this. And here we are, right at the end. This is the final stream of it all. Cape Mario, the Thousand Year Door. For all weekend. All weekend long. You get to watch, sit here, watch me play Cape Mario, the Thousand Year Door. A game that I've wanted to play for a very, very long time. So I'm happy to be able to, like, sit down and play it again. Like, for the longest time, I was like, hey, this is a game that I really, really, really want to play again. So the fact that I have that opportunity to do that here with you is really, really nice, and I, I, I super appreciate that. So thank you so much. Um, in any case, if you, uh, I don't know why I can't, oh, Casanova's here, hosting the stream. I was going to say, hopefully the chat is working. TTYD hype, that means Power to Mario is here, ready to go. I've got this big old grin on my face. I'm so excited to be here with you for this weekend long marathon of streaming. Very hard to find a whole weekend free. It took a lot of scheduling and a lot of calling in some favors. But we managed to make it happen. Here we are, right at the end. This is the final stream, the beginning of the Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Marathon. Hello and welcome. This is Shadow Mario 41, or Eric, if you prefer. And we are ready to get things started. The hosts are coming in, people are here. This is so awesome. Thank you so much for your viewership and for tuning in. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, if you are not already, you definitely should be a member of the Discord server. Uh, I am... Oh, I'm going to be there even after this retirement, so please, please feel free to come on by. Yes, this is the beginning of this event is signaling my retirement. This is the beginning of the end, uh, but that doesn't mean I'm disappearing from the internet entirely. I still will be on the Discord server. I'll still post on Twitter, stuff like that. I'll still post on Facebook, but, you know, as far as actually producing content for videos or streams, this is, this is it. So, feel free to come by the Discord server if you want to hang out and chat. It's a great place to be, or something like that. One thing that I will say is uh, if you, you may see it come up periodically because we did schedule, I did schedule a bot to post it periodically. But one thing that I have in store for you guys as a small token of my immense appreciation. Yes, we are in the end game now, Mr. L. We are in the end game now. Couldn't have said it better myself. A small token of my immense appreciation. If you go ahead and type exclamation mark final stream, you will be sent to a Google form. If you'd like to fill that out, it is for me to extend to you and send you another small token of my appreciation. Uh, if you want to complete that Google form, it is a, you know, it, it's, it's gonna be emotional. There's no way around it. Like, this is it. This is 10 years of content creation. This is the final event. It is something that has to happen in a sense that you know, do you ever want to retire? Not really. This is something that's been a huge part of my life. Uh, if I had infinite amount of time and infinite amount of, of resources, then I would certainly continue it. But, um, you know, with, with the challenges that life is throwing at me at this moment and, and going forward from here, there are challenges that I'm very excited to face, and it really is time for me to close the book on this part of my life and move forward. Going into a house together with, with uh, an amazing girlfriend, um, with a very promising future up ahead, uh, accepting more responsibilities in my career. Um, you know, you never know what the future will bring, but hopefully we hope to, you know, we hope to start talking about family someday. Hope to start talking about, I don't want to bring up the K word in kids, but hey, you never, you never know where that's going to go. So just saying with those responsibilities looming on the horizon, I think it is, uh, it, it, it's time to, to throw in the towel and to say, hey, you know what? We are retiring, but I want to go ahead and, and echo the sentiment that one of my former students of all people said 
uh, which is really funny because uh, he's such a great kid. But he posted on Twitter in response to my initial announcement. He was like, don't – and I think it is Power to Mario coming in with a sub, by the way. I appreciate that. Um, he, he said something that I think really stayed in my heart and, and was true. He said, don't cry because it's over, but rather smile because it happened. And I think that quote so perfectly summarizes the entire 10-year experience for me and will pretty much summarize this weekend. It, uh, it is going to be a sad thing. I, I anticipate myself getting somewhat emotional towards the end, if not very emotional. Uh, but I'm not going to cry because it's it's coming to an end. I'm going to smile because it was an experience of a lifetime and one that I am so immensely appreciative of you for. So thank you so much for that. Again, I do want to uh, say one more time that if you are not a member of the Discord server, you should certainly join the Discord server. I still will be there, so you can go, uh, go ahead and chat with me there. Um, I may, in fact, be more involved there now that I don't have to do uh, live streaming anymore. But at the same time, uh, this is going to be it for content creation, videos, stuff like that. PTM, any sort of – I'm actually glad you brought that up – any sort of donations or subs or bits that you give of course i will never pressure anyone into that and, and believe me you just being here i'm so appreciative of that in and of itself to join me for this marathon but if you do throw any contributions my way know that they are going to go to the house fund <laughs> they're going to go towards uh you know getting some new floors and paint and and fixing up everything we need to fix up and and doing all that stuff so in any case if if you want to support it feel free but uh no no you know no need if you don't if you don't want to though we are starting out with two subs i don't know if you can really start out much better than that we got power to mario and gentleman lucas jumping on board um Again, the last time I'll mention this now because it does come up automatically in chat. If you go ahead and type exclamation mark final stream, that will give you a link to a Google form that you can fill out. I do want to send people that fill that out. I do want to send them something as a small token of my immense appreciation. So please, please, please fill that out if you'd like. Uh, there's no pressure if you don't want to, but it, it something that I've really, really wanted to do. So make sure that you do that. Uh, another thing I want to mention is if you go ahead and type exclamation mark ttyd that will give you a link a list of the dates and times for this stream event we already have a lot of people here i'm excited to be here i didn't even look go, go through the chat i know I, sorry i've been like ranting and not paying attention to the chat power to mario's here casanova 64 gentleman lucas coming on by we got ziploc rules 2013 we got mr l 564 uh, Prince Dusk, can you have a link to the Discord server? Absolutely. You type exclamation mark Discord, and you'll go ahead and get a link to that Discord server. King Legacy, no way you're missing the final streams. Thank you so much for the content over the years. Thank you so much for your viewership over the years. I say, I, I've been saying all this time that although it's, it's, you know, I, I certainly have worked hard to put out this content for you, but it, I would be nothing without an audience. You know, you need an audience for any sort of content creation to be successful. So it, it's really a tribute to you. So I really appreciate that. Fake Jake says, hi, Eric, wouldn't miss it for the world. Uh, Power to Mario sub for the future family. Thank you. Um, Banjamon is very excited. Kirby user in Smash, wouldn't miss it for anything. How exciting is this? I, I'm pumped. I'm hyped. I'm excited. Uh, I think we should just go ahead and get started. We are going to periodically have some guests joining the stream, just FYI. So uh, I don't know if I should announce when those are or keep it a surprise when those are. But I think I, I probably will announce when the guests are, are scheduled to be coming on. But we are going to have a couple guest commentary, uh, guest commentators all joining in. So uh, our first one is actually scheduled around 5.36-ish. So you got me for about an hour and a half before I'm joined by some company. But in any case, that's what we got going on. These are the last streams, buddy, bro. This is it. I know some people have asked uh, – Am I coming out of retirement? Am I planning? Like, could it happen, you know, a couple years from now? Could you come back? And my answer to that is, you know, you never want to say never, I suppose. But this really is meant to be the, the finale, the final stream, the, the end. Uh, I don't want to be like a Brett Favre coming out of retirement a million times and, and still playing. Uh, I think I'd rather go off on a, on a strong high note. So this is it. Magnus 8M is here. Uh, Buddy Bro is here. Kirby's and Smash is here. So it, this is meant to be the end. That being said, I will still be around Discord. I will still post on Twitter. But this is the 200th weekly live stream. Think about that. We've been doing 200 weeks of live streams. And we're going to end it all right now on this fantastic weekend. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and boot up some Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And let's get started. Here we go. 
Let me know if you can hear the volume okay. I'd be happy to turn it up or down depending on what you need, but it, it's really no trouble to adjust it. So we got MRC uh, in uh, Mr. Sin 01. Thanks so much for the years of content. Baseball and golf are my favorite series from you, and you can always cheer me up. That's so nice to hear. I love that. I know, Kirby was in Smash, that you wouldn't be opposed to it. I'm well aware. Well aware that you would not be opposed to it. But yeah, 200 live streams. Pretty crazy stuff. Pretty crazy stuff. I turned the volume up already, I think, a little bit. Again, if you need that volume adjusted, please feel free to let me know. I can gladly turn up the game volume. I tried to test it a little bit before. I know this is somewhat of a quiet part of the game, too. Um, hopefully it doesn't come blaring loud when the actual music comes on in. But still, uh, just let me know. That's a very easy thing to adjust. Very quick, quick thing. Um, yeah, it is crazy. Isn't it crazy to start thinking this? Kirby User Smash says, uh, it's been four years. You were a seventh grader now, now you're an eleventh, which is wild. It's wild to think that when I actually started content creation, we're going way back to Perfect Dark with Enemy Rockets. The first thing that I did, I was in high school. And now I'm teaching high school. Now I'm in my fifth year of teaching high school. That's that blows my mind. 2009, at the end, I graduated class of 2009 from high school. I was in high school. Now I am in my fifth year of teaching high school, which is absolutely, again, bonkers. It's wild. Wild. So, uh, Faith Jake, that is a great question. And I was, uh, happy Friday as well. Uh, that is something that I was going to put off answering until somebody asked it, <laughs> and I knew it wouldn't take very long. Um, the Pit of Andre Trials, I am very tempted to do. I think what I've decided, I was going to do a donation incentive for the Pit of 100 Trials, to be honest, but I didn't really want to go down that road. I don't want to pressure people into giving donations. They don't want to. But what I think I'm going to do is just base it on the end of the stream. If it just so happens at the end that, hey, we have a lot. I'm like finishing up the game around 6 p.m. and I'm supposed to end at 8. I think we'll jump into the Pit of 100 Trials. But if it just so happens that like we're right up against the clock, then we might have to cut it out. Though, if you ask me, I would love to do the Pit of 100 Trials. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, in any case, the way I've sort of budgeted the time, and I like this opening cutscene too. The way I've budgeted the time is that at the end of today, we are streaming until 10 p.m. today. That's about five hours and 45 minutes from now. I am scheduled, like in my mind, I want to get through at least chapter two. That's, that's my goal for today. Uh, after Saturday, Saturday we're going for the longest amount of time. We're going 12 to 10, that's 10 hours. Uh, I'd like to get through, I think, at least chapter, either through chapter 6 or at least part of the way through chapter 6. And then on the last day, leave it chapter 7 and 8. And then maybe, just maybe, probably the Pit of 100 Trials. But I don't know if I want to commit myself to that yet. Uh, but we'll find out, I suppose. We'll just see how it goes. We're going to see how it goes. I love Paper Mario 1000 Year Door. I have not played it since the Crystal Star Studios Let's Play of it. So, and, and I figured it's an appropriate game to end on because that is really going full circle with the whole Crystal Star Studios group and everything like that. What a fantastic time that was. So that was really crazy. Yes, the bomb is still in the tree. It's still there on my other save file. And there's about to be another one planted there on this save file. So I really appreciate um, all the support since then and everything. And I, I hope to make this a, a fantastic weekend for you to just relax, chill, and enjoy some Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Uh, as far as speed running, I am definitely not speed running the game. I don't want I don't want to throw that misconception out there. By the way, how's the volume sound? Just let me know how it sounds. It seems so like it sounds pretty good on my end, but I just want to know. I could load it. I could raise it, lower it, whatever you want me to do. Uh, cleared up some new files already. We're gonna be going with file four. I don't know why. And here we go. This is the final stream. Could go up a hair, sure. We can raise it up just a hair. That's fine. No problem. Okay, here we go. For the last time, that'll be able to put this name in. Oh, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, man, I'm, I'm falling way behind on the chat. Uh, what do we got? You were playing this a month or two back, but you got stuck because of work and stuff. University and work, and you haven't been able to get back into it. You want to get back into it. So people ask about Pit of Bunch Trials. It's literally the greatest game of all time. It, I, it's very, very good. And we start with Paracarry. Mail call! 
It's very good. I don't know if I'd say greatest of all time, but it's, I think it's by far the best Paper Mario game. Like, I don't even think that's close. So that'll be fun. Uh, you've been watching me since second grade, says Ziploc, and now you're in 12th. How wild is that? Wild. Wild. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, man. We're going to get... I, I'm going to get very sentimental uh, at, the, <laughs> at the end of this stream. I can already tell it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Anyway, I think you pretty much all know the story of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. And if you don't, it's actually kind of not your typical Mario storyline. That's really what Paper Mario N64 is. It's more like, oh, Princess Peach was kidnapped and you have to save all these things in order to save her. This one's really... Peach was away in Rogueport. She stumbled upon this thing. And we have to figure it out. What it's all about. A weathered old magical map, as it were. And it's actually pretty cool. I love how this game expands upon what Paper Mario N64, you know, established. Paper Mario N64 established that something like this could work. And I think this game just takes the Mario RPG formula and just runs with it. Absolutely sprints with it. And makes a really, really fantastic and enjoyable experience. Uh, let's see what else we got. Do I anticipate overtime on these three days? It's hard to say. I didn't budget for overtime, so I, I don't think so. But we're going to find out. Uh, Banjamon said, can't even remember. You started watching Eric's content. According to your Twitch, you followed since 2015. That is when I started. You've really only been hooked for the past year or so. Well, old fans or new, I am happy to have you here. Believe me. Definitely your top five favorite games, favorite RPG, says Gentleman Lucas. That's pretty cool. Uh, first video you watched was Mario Baseball. That, yeah, I, I feel like that was certainly the most popular. That was such a blast. Such a blast. Rosalina Pauline, am I speedrunning until Chapter 2 or 3? I am not, again, planning on speedrunning, but we'll find out. We'll fi like, I plan on playing this how I would play any playthrough of this. I'm not going to, like, race through it, but at the same time, I'm not going to waste time and do nothing. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go pretty quick. Some people asked about the Trouble Center. I don't know if I'm going to complete all of the Troubles. I am certainly going to get the Optional Partner, which requires completing a lot of the Troubles. So I'm going to do that, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for that. We'll just see how it goes. I, I am very much in the mentality of, like, we'll see how it goes. Uh, you love this game so much. Pray Nintendo does a remake for Switch, says King Legacy. I think this is... It's number two on my list of games that need an HD remake. Number one is Skies of Arcadia Legends, for sure. Uh, but number two is definitely this. Number three is uh, Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. Fire Emblem. Definitely needed. Definitely needed. In any case. Oh, the Lonely Chain Chomp, too. Can't forget about that. Uh, I've been watching for six years when you're in middle school, and now you're in college. Man, does the time fly. Absolutely, it does. First save. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to be playing this game as if I would play anything casually. Oh, no! Already shenanigans happening. Uh, starting one of the best games ever. On the final stream, one of the best LPers ever. Cake Man, that is very kind of you to say that. <laughs> I love this. This is so good. Um, I'm way behind in the chat. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Moving on, moving on, moving on. It is pretty, it's Power to Mario saying, it's pretty interesting how online content has evolved. That whole generation of people have been watching online creators. That is super true. And something I'm just kind of starting to realize. Oh, it's Lord Crump. Hey, Lord Crump. You're not going to mess with me. I love it. Good old Lord Crump. What? What did you say you're doing, Trump? You think you could screw up the plans? I don't know if that's really Lord Crump's voice. I love him, though. He's just like the, the typical, uh, you know, second-rate mini-boss character. And they really run with that in this game, too. I think they do a really good job. Prince Dusk, I started watching you in seventh grade. You've been out of school for five years. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Casanova, danger dude, I'll miss you too. But I'll still be around the Discord, don't forget. Don't forget. Not like disappearing from life. Uh, but just letting you know. Oh, I gotta do an action command. I'm like, oh, I have to actually play the game. Okay, hold on. Actually play the game. Oh, I can't do stylish moves yet. Okay, cool. But yeah, it is just gonna be exactly that. It's gonna be a fun playthrough. Oh, I can't do stylish. Oh, cool. There we go. Takes care of that. Hey, I got star points. How oh, cool. First battle, no damage. We're just got The no damage run lives. Let me tell you that. The no damage run is still alive. But yes, Lord Crump. Uh, it is a fun playthrough, yes. 
It was Mega's profile picture for a long time with Lord Trump. Oh boy. I also love how the it really like the game really does a good job of, of showcasing the paper art style. I love that. I love that. Quick, this way. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Just gonna casually leave. Good idea. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> Uh, anyway, in this game, I have to say, another thing about this game, it's legitimately, like, funny. Like, this game has a good sense of humor. It actually makes me laugh sometimes. Uh, we are starting from the beginning. Yep, Kirby's and Smash going all the way through to the end. So it should be pretty exciting. PTM's threats summoned everybody, you think? It is Prince Dusk. It is crazy that it is coming to an end. Believe me, it, it is not a decision that was made lightly. It's something that I really uh, thought about long and hard and thought about, like, is this the right move? Is something I want to do? I do want to emphasize that no one is, no one pressured me to do that. I know uh, the very first time that I was like, oh, I'm going to retire. Uh, someone was like, oh, what now? You got a girlfriend? And she's like, you can't be doing the streaming thing anymore. It's actually the complete opposite to her credit. She is very supportive and has been very very tolerant of of this type of thing. So um, so I appreciate that. And But this is just a decision that I've made on my own. To say it's it's time for for new adventures and new challenges in life so believe me it's not going to be quite the same but in any case i also love the background here if you notice a little background scene that plays yes magical map <laughs> great hoogly boogly it's <laughs> a good start uh, the the mob just beats those guys senseless in the background good old preview of characters to come He's going to say he found out where everybody lives and dragged them out in front of them. That would be awesome. And I got to say, I, I so appreciate the support that I've received on Twitter and social media for this event. Uh, I, I, it means so much to me. Like, every single response and, and like that I've gotten, I've been like, man, like, how awesome of a, of a community is this? Truly, like, how fantastic of, of uh, like are these people that they're so willing to, to throw their support? I, I love it so much. I love it so much. Anyway, let me let me actually talk a little bit about the game because I haven't actually talked much about the game. Um, if you are unfamiliar, because what I actually found, which was weird, um, maybe not so weird when you start to think about it, but I told a lot of my students, I was like, well, <laughs> I should preface that with, I didn't lead that into that conversation. A lot of students were like, hey, I saw that you're ending the stream because they have nothing better to do than to stalk their teacher. But in any case, uh, they were like, so you're playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, and I was like, yes, I'm playing Paper Mario. That's a great game. Love it. And they're like, isn't that like kind of a bad series, though? It kind of has a bad reputation. And unfortunately, it is because they really only grew up with Super Paper Mario and on. And they were like, oh, I don't really like it. And I was like, well, it's more like an RPG. Like, it's the old school RPG. And they were like, wait a minute. Paper Mario was an RPG? And I know to someone like you or I that... Question, that statement is like blasphemous like how do you not know that but it's true like a lot of students that were born in the 2000s now have don't don't see paper mario as being an rpg and i'm like the gamecube game is absolutely phenomenal like phenomenal so just saying it's funny prince dusk i appreciate that i appreciate that so much um my my like logic with lping and such has always been oh, get the hell out of here you stupid bandit yeah 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 believe me oh believe me we're going to get those back oh believe me get back here i don't know if you knew this but we could actually go ahead that is a scripted event that happens the first time you get back in that in that section of town and you can't actually come back here and get them back you chase the guy down to his house and you're just like hey so uh Yep, stole my coins. Thank you. <laughs> so, Super Paper Mario is hit or miss. The rest of them are, are uh, horrid, <laughs> perhaps. Born in 2000, I'm calling you out, kind of. Proud 90s guy, I was born in 1991, so proud 90s guy. All right. uh, a couple things I want to do with the coins first, because I want to buy just a couple items. I think I can do that right now. I don't think I have to wait. Uh, I don't need this explanation to the point. No, I don't need you to explain it again. What? No, don't stop explaining it again. No. Okay. 
I want a fire flower. I got an item. Great. Thank you. I'm going to take a mushroom. Awesome. And last but not least, let's go with a... Uh, let's go with another fire flower. Yeah, cool. We're going to be using those a little bit later. Oh, that gate thing. That's right. You'll say, hashtag insiders for life. Oh, we're going way back now. Going way back. Oh, yeah, but my logic has always been... Um, in, in doing Let's Plays and such, it's always been to just talk to viewers, uh, such as you, as if I'm sitting on the couch next to you. And to anybody who wants to go in content creation, or broadcasting in general, because that's a tip that I actually got from uh, one of my family members who does broadcasting. He said, you want to talk to that person that's listening, as if they are literally in the room with you and you are having a conversation. By the way, here's Professor Frankly, a.k.a. PK. And somebody asked... Is PK, the Pasta King, coming on by this stream? And I will tell you, I I did uh, text him and say, Listen, PK, I'm doing a marathon this weekend. It's the last stream. This and that. We'd love if you stop on by. I still haven't gotten a response, but I did text him a couple days ago. So we'll see if that happens. The funny thing is when I did Skies of Arcadia Legends uh, in 2017 in the summer, I texted PK, the same deal, and he just showed up randomly during it. Like, for like 20 minutes, he just showed up without any announcement. So, I don't want to get your hopes up for some PK. He does actually exist. Uh, I can confirm he is still alive. He's on Facebook, so. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if uh, he'll be here. And like the, he'll pull another WWE stunning entrance, surprise entrance. Anyway, we got some more people coming in. I want to go ahead and say hello. We got L Nick Charles 6. So many good things about the first two games. They really are fantastic. And it's unfortunate that Paper Mario kind of went like swerved way off track. Like this game, the GameCube game, is really good. Uh, and the N64 one's excellent too. Even Mario RPG on Super Nintendo, certainly a little dated at this point, but still holds its own as being a fun introductory RPG. Hubbada hubbity hubbada hippity hoobada hubbada hubbada uffala hoofala. I couldn't pronounce that. I couldn't resist not saying that one. Uh, but they are really great. L.A. Charles 6, thanks so much for checking this out. Uh, David Alexander, 64. Hey, Eric and everybody else. Well, hello to you, my friend. Hello to you. I'm glad I always make you laugh. Death to spammers. Can you go back? You didn't get the expo. Yeah, yeah. Hilarious. Hilarious. Will I ever ch uh, voice chat with my friends and viewers? I do it a lot in the Discord server. So if you want to check out the Discord server, there is a lot of voice chat that happens there. Um, I don't, I don't want to say regularly, but certainly on occasion. Like, I'll be driving home from work. I'll jump in voice chat. It's a fun time, so... Please go ahead and jump on by. Uh, what else we got? <laughs> PK's in Enigma. You remember good old Crystal Star Studio way back in the day? Fun times. Oh boy, something just occurred to you. Surprise! Mario Pinball 3-Day Marathon. That's what I really should have done. You'll bring your viewers over to my stream Saturday evening. That's so nice of you. That's so nice of you, Fake Jake. I, I really appreciate that. What? Me? Are you nuts? Okay, here we go. Practice battle. First, we'll practice the jump action. Oh, yeah. So I didn't even talk about this game very much. Uh, I, I started to talk about it, veered off track. I'm going to be probably bouncing around topics all night as, I, as they just come to my mind. Uh, but anyway, the original two Paper Mario games, that's Paper Mario on N64 and Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door on GameCube, they really are traditional turn-based RPGs, but they really do a great job of, of like making combat engaging. And I feel like that's something about turn-based combat that I am not particularly a fan of, is sometimes, especially in like the typical Final Fantasy style games, they really make combat like kind of boring. Like you more or less just hit attack and then you watch an animation happen and then the enemy does an animation and then you select another move and it's like over and over and over. Super guard, we gotta try to nail as many of those. Hey, can we get a super guard counter in this, in this uh, playthrough? Can we get a counter going? How many successful super guards? No, we don't need to practice. I don't need to practice them. We're done. We're good. Well, I do believe we're all set for our quest. Hmm? Down below we go. Okay, let's go. So yeah, these are st such awesome RPGs. And they do a really good job of making turn-based combat engaging. Not only in this game do you have the action commands, but going... uh. Oh boy, we got a little battle. That's right, the Goombas. Um, but actually, we do have the audience in this game, which is introduced in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. 
And it does a really good job of, of like, throwing another wrench into the mix, which is really cool. Oh my gosh, the whole Goomba family tree! Yes, we don't want to jump on his head. Good stuff. I also love that the enemies get items. And by the way, that Paragoomba has a Fire Flower. Can we talk about that? And can we also talk about one of the reasons why I bought a Fire Flower? We're not taking any crap from this. There we go. We have, <laughs> this Goomba gang doesn't stand a chance. So what's funny about that, uh, he says, um, Prince Dusk, I wish you uploaded your streams on YouTube. I still have them. They are actually all saved. Um, it is something that I've contemplated doing for a little bit. Is actually, even after the stream, or maybe once things settle down, uploading them all on YouTube. But I suppose we'll find out. Oh, I can't go this way yet, right? The no damage run still kept alive. That's right. No damage run. Uh, Ziploc says, being born in 01 annoys me with my classmates have never heard of basically any game before, like, 2005. Yeah, but it's all about Fortnite. Don't you know that? Come on. How do you not know that? All about that Fortnite. <laughs> and, no, it's definitely not. Let's not get the wrong idea. I don't want to kill the people yet. Let's actually do a tattle. Uh, as far as filling up the tattle log, am I going to do that? Not really. Um, but I will just, like, again, I'm going to play as in, like, I would normally be playing a game. So, like, now I got Goomba logs. I'll go ahead and log the others, but that's it. <laughs> What's a Fortnite? It's an amount of time, actually. It's like, what is it, two weeks? Three weeks? Forget. Hey, get back here. There we go. Paragoomba, how pathetic. Oh, we don't actually get the audience yet, right? Not yet. Not yet. We will soon. We will soon, which is very, very exciting. <laughs> Fortnite in 1970. I would love to see what that would have looked like. In any case. I guess it's block, please. Ah, uh, two weeks. That's right. Or one day in Westeros. Very good. I'm not going to kill him yet. Oh, uh, I want to get the tattle in on this guy. Yeah, I'll, I will try to do that, Kirby, using Smash. Because it really... Now, they're all recorded, and it really wouldn't be too too much effort to do that. So I should do that. Or Wait, did Casanova just say orbs? 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 Fire Emblem Heroes? Orbs? What? What? <laughs> what? Trying to summon for... To get Nelsie Disrupt? What? Anyway, I don't want to talk too much about Fire Emblem Heroes. I don't think we can go that way yet. This is the way we gotta go. I gotta remember. You know what's funny? I have to remember all of, like, the secrets in this game now. Oh, boy. That's a little foreshadowing for for something later. Um, I forget if these things... I think these guys have three health. Yeah, they don't die yet. Let's get a little tattle. See who they are. Um, I can't stop playing that game. I can't stop playing that game. Spinia. Yeah, they have three health. So what's going to be funny is, like... I want to see how many secrets from this game I actually remember. And I'm anticipating that number being high. <laughs> because, like, it's so... Isn't it so funny how sometimes you can't remember what you've had for breakfast? In fact, a lot of times I can't remember what I had for breakfast or did the, the other day or something like that. But I can remember, like, oh, for Donkey Kong Country 2, in order to find the hidden bonus level, you gotta go under the platform in this obscure area. It's like, how can I remember that? And yet I can't remember what I have for breakfast. Ho-ho! Oh, no damage run kept alive! Say in 1016, thanks so much for stopping by. Hello. Good to see you. Salus09, by the way. I think I said Salus, but gotta shout out Salus. Here for some paid Mario 1000 Year Door. We're just getting started on our run. Literally just going down the Rogueport sewers for the first time. Like I said, my goal for today is to make sure that I get through... Um, I want to make sure that I get through chapters 1 and 2, at least. If... if Oh, God. Really? Dad bot jokes? Really, Mr. L? We're going there? Um, if you... Uh, if I get further, then I get further. And that's all well and good. But I love these boxes, too. Hey, you. Can you hear me? You can? Must be a hero of legend. Only the greatest hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everything else here is nothing. 
Long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So anyway, yeah, big guy, what brings you a hero like you to a place like this? I don't know if we can trust this box. And maybe not best to let anyone looking for the crystal stars that I just said it out loud. <laughs> I love the humor. It, it actually is funny. Like, that's something. It still holds up. It's really good. Oh, we already got the key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already got the key. Yes! Thank, ha, thank nothing, fools! Hey, Ben with the sub. What a bittersweet moment to share 19 months in a row. Gonna miss this stream. Ben, I'm gonna, uh, I, I really appreciate your support. I appreciate everything that you've done to support the stream. And if you're looking for a great guy to go ahead and check out, please go ahead and check out Ben German 10. Uh, he does such great work in variety streaming. Very similar. To, I think we're very similar types of casters. So if you enjoy what you see here, you're going to enjoy what you see there. Just saying. And his whole community of Epilogue Gaming is really, really fantastic too. Casanova with a 100-bit cheer. Celebrating our first special move. Maybe? I don't know. We're going to find out. Uh, there we go. So we get the paper abilities in this game. They really go more on the uh, paper. Yes, I get it. It's terrible. There we go. They really go all in on that. Danger Dude, so that's what's funny, is some people were like, you're retiring from streaming. They, this was said in my Discord server. They were like, you're retiring from streaming right before Animal Crossing? And yes, Animal Crossing is going to be, objectively, the, fan, the most fantastic game ever. But at the same time, the answer to that is yes. Uh, I, am I going to stream Animal Crossing? No, but... I am going to be talking about it a whole lot in Discord, so please feel free to check that out. In any case, look at that! There's a big door there. It's the Thousand Year Door, spoken of in Legends. <laughs> I can't believe it's real. We found it, like, in uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> Everyone's like, no one has ever found this before, ever. Okay, anyway. There we go. So... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So yeah, this game is a really good RPG. One thing, another thing I want to mention while we have uh, a lot of folks here is if you want to, please, you can feel free. It is on a timer to happen every 30 minutes. But if you type exclamation mark final stream, it will actually send you with a link to a Google form. If you want to fill that Google form out, you can get a small token of my appreciation uh, sent to you. So please, I encourage you to do it. I want you to do it. Uh, so please make sure you fill that out. It's one of the least things that I could do. I, I agree, Ben. It, it really is a game that is a great thing to end the stream with. It also comes full circle for me because I played this in uh, for Crystal Star Studio. This is our very first project together as a collaborative Let's Play group. And it was really that point when, I, when we started doing Crystal Star Studio that I was like, you know, like I guess I'm all in on this type of thing. Like I'm going, going for it. So that was, that was really fun. That was really fun. Oh, yeah. We got a special move right off the bat. That's right. That's right. The Wii backwards compatibility is dope. That is true. That is true. Yeah, that did happen. That did happen, Mr. L. I'm so glad you brought that up. I'm so glad you brought that up. How about a time gift? How about the Maze game remastered? Go ahead and download it. It's still down there. It's below the stream. You can go ahead and click that link and download the Maze game remastered. Aha! I see! So yes, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door on GameCube still is a fantastic game. So I just want to say, if you haven't had a chance to play it, hopefully it will become actually accessible for people on like some sort of a virtual console or something like that. Yes, you could always emulate it, but you know, no one really wants that to happen. Wait, what did I just agree to? Oh, star power. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> like, what, what did I just sign my name on? Ugh. Star power. Ugh. I don't... Oh, whatever. The professor theme is good, too. You know, you don't have to miss this. I don't really care about doing this. Right now. We actually started off pretty crappy, but this... this we kind of turned it around a little bit right there. I wasn't terrible. Okay, yes, it's a dot now. Thank you, Professor. I don't know why I agreed to this. I was just randomly mashing buttons. 
doesn't the GameCube need Virtual Console? Or like some remastered stuff? Yes, we replenished a little bit. Okay, I see it, Professor. Thank you. Can we move on? Oh, God. I gotta still jump on him. The funny thing, too, is not only are there engaging action commands that you have to do in the game, they actually add a lot of bonus ones where, like, you can actually do these stylish moves at just the right time. To increase your star power uh, generation. And when like when you discover those, it's actually a really cool moment. Yes, yes, yes. We're just about to get the bonus. It's always scripted that you land it on the first one, by the way. Bingo bonus! Oh god, we'll see how those bingo bonuses come into play too. Because don't forget, those can screw you over if you get like three poison mushrooms at the wrong time. That's a tough one. Okay, appeal, that's right. That's right. That's right, it's all coming back. Oh no! Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Hazards. Get out of here. <laughs> I love that. Uh, Say in 1016, what has a better hub area, Toe Town or Rogueport? Uh, I'd say Rogueport. Rogueport is far more interesting. Yes, Toe Town's like your classic RPG hub, the friendly village. Rogueport, way more interesting of a location. I love it. Yeah, I'd love that too, uh, PTM. If Thousand Year Door got the Superstar Saga treatment, we'll find out. I'd love, like I said, top three games, really, t I guess it ends up being a top four that I want to see remastered is uh, Guys of Arcadia, for sure. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, and Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance, and Radiant Dawn. I guess he kind of grouped those together. But that whole saga, I feel like it's one of the most popular sagas of Fire Emblem, and yet it's one of the least accessible. Uh, so, in any case, let's go to Petal Meadows, and let's actually start the game proper. Audience, this is Twitch chat. <laughs> it's Twitch chat, that's true. Uh, Death is Famer said, you've been watching your content since Soul Calibur 2. Holy cow. Uh, that had a long time ago. That's 2009 to 2010. That was fun. Everything's you loved your content. Colorful, funny commentary. I appreciate that. We've been watching till the end. Oh, we got a badge. Oh, I don't need a, a thing on how to equip badges. Can we not do this? No. I am very sure. Cool. Okay, here we go. Ready to start the journey proper. Let's do it. You have no way to fill out the form? Go ahead and type exclamation mark final stream. It should send you with that link. Oh, mobile and all? You can do it on a uh, computer, I suppose. Actually, you should even be able to do it on mobile. I, I think you can do it on mobile just fine. But anyway, we're going to Petal Meadows now. I don't remember if this is actually how you get there. It might be. Uh, uh, yeah, actually it is. It totally is. A blooper! Here we go. For a world of hurt. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let us first tattle the blooper. Alright, what do we got? A big blooper. 12 HP. Alright, so we gotta first get rid of the tentacles. Uh, yeah. Get all the stylish. Oh, I, almost, I missed the last one. I missed the last style. Okay, da no damage run. The no damage run is still alive. No damage run is still alive. Good stuff. Alright. Now we can just completely trash on this guy. Give me the fourth one. Yay! I got it. I got it all right away. Excellent. 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 All right. Awesome. I'd say death to spammers. Oh, God. What are we doing? Why? Shy guy, you ruined the no damage run. The 
No damage run is dead! What the heck? It's ruined! You ruined it! <laughs> why, why did you have to do that? Why, that was so stupid! Come on! Oh, shy guy! Foil that! Foil that! <laughs> Restart! That's it. That's it. We're going back to the beginning. Look at that! I can do that! Just fine! Anyway. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Shy Guy MVP? No! Shy Guy least valuable player! Come on now! The Shy Guy- uh, I'm so salty about that! He ruined everything! He literally ruined everything. We had a no damage run about to go into chapter one and nope. Nope! Can't have nice things. This is why. Alright, here we go. Let's get started officially. Chapter 1. This is Mega's chapter, by the way. The one he did on the Crystal Star Studio Let's Play. A castle and dragon. Let's do it. Love the music, by the way. The soundtrack, really, really good. I don't know if it's quite as memorable as Paper Mario N64's soundtrack, uh, but it's still very, very good. It's still very good. I guess playing remotely, that's right. That's right. Save. Okay, let's remember. Let's see. I was going to say, let's see how many secrets I remember. Immediately we remember those. I'm not going to forget. I'm not going to forget. Oh, boy. What is it? Dragons? Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. No, it actually is a dragon. A big dragon. What was that? Oh, look. Is Mega going to take over Chapter 1? We'll find out. So, yeah, Crystal Star Studio was a really fun time. I, like, I'm really happy that that group happened and, and, and everything kind of worked out. We found out very quickly the logistics behind really coordinating between seven people was very, very challenging. But I, I think overall, we did a pretty bang-up job. You know, not to use an outdated old expression, but, like, I think we really did fine. Oh, you made 41 a running joke in your house? That's actually really funny. That's actually really funny. You acted pissed. That's really funny. Oh my god, we have five Goombas? Five Goombas? Do you think there's enough Goombas here? Are we in hard mode? Is this Master Quest and I didn't know? Why are there five of them? <laughs> what? Like, why? I mean, I'm gonna get a lot of XP, but like, jeez. <laughs> oh, there it is! First one. First one. Mark it down. That's one. That's one. I know that when you play, uh, because I looked it up because I'm a big nerd, uh, you actually have a three-frame window, I believe. It's either three or four. But it's a three or four-frame window to perform a successful Super Guard. So, you know, just saying. That was pretty good. Uh, badges. Let's go ahead. Quick close call. Let's see what else we got around here. Spice Goomba. You just realized Shy Guys always mess with me. Even in Mario Baseball, you literally cannot escape them. I cannot escape. I did. That did happen, Benjamin. You don't forget, Blue Shy Guy hit a home run, like, literally out of nowhere. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. I love the little bingo system in this, too. It doesn't come up super often. But it's just another like wicked fun RNG element that happens, and sometimes it's gonna it makes for some very memorable moments while you play. Sometimes it definitely is a little BS, but for the most part, it's it's really good. All right, I want to tattle on this. By the way, in case you're wondering why we're tattling, uh, if you've noticed, it does make enemy HP bars show up for those specific enemies, and that is preserved actually through the whole game. Which is something that I think is really, really good to do when you have the chance. I'm not going to go out of my way, like I said, to fill up the logbook. But uh, it's certainly good to tattle if you have the opportunity to tattle. Bunch of coins, bunch of coins. I think there's something, there's some secret over here. I know you can go on this pipe and go up here. And I know you need uh, coops to reach that. Yeah, I can't reach that yet. Okay. A little happy flower badge, or happy heart badge. Yes, yes, yes. Use the tattle ability. 
I know, because this is when you're faced with your first quote-unquote puzzle. Oh, I missed my first strike. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at all these shots. Look at all these Goombas just chilling here. There's a lot of them. Well, well, we're gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of them. This is why we buy the flower flower. Nice. And it's our first level up, by the way. First level up. If, if you're curious, when you level up, you can choose to upgrade either HP, FP, or BP, which are your badge points. Flower points are your like special move points. HP is your health. I know a lot of people clamber on and on about a BP only run, where badges are very, very good, uh, and and some of them are like immensely overpowered. But I usually the way I play this game is I always go for 20 HP. I think 20 HP at the very start is a very good amount to have, uh, and then after that I'll start to spec into FP, and then after that it's almost full on BP. Like, uh, I go pretty much BP exclusively from there. Uh, but I am not going to, uh, I'm not just going to go straight BP. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Jordan, you got to go to work. Jordan D1237. Sorry, I got to go to work, but you're happy to hop in. You're going to try to hop in and see what's up. Well, we'll be here for three days, my friend. So I appreciate you even stopping by in the first place. I knew there was a secret back here. I'm pretty sure jumping in the background actually makes it go faster. I don't really know, but it seems like it does. So we'll see. Danger, dude. You just finished the final stream thing. Gonna miss you. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly bittersweet. Definitely a good word to describe it, but it's a decision that I haven't made lightly and something that, that needs to be done, too. If you're wondering, by the way, why, uh, like, you might be like, why are you using a lot of items? It is true that these are pretty low-stakes battles, and I don't need to throw out all those items to beat little Goombas. The game is pretty generous with items at the start. It definitely gets a little more stingy towards the end when things start to get more expensive. Okay, good. We avoided the game crash. Avoided the game crash. <laughs> Anyone who's in the know on Pink Mario knows what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, yeah, so uh, we definitely... Uh, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was saying. What was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, so I don't go uh, BP only, though. I don't go BP only. Was that what I was? I was on something else, though, wasn't I? Uh, bu -bu -bu yeah, we'll be here all weekend. By the way, oh, if you type exclamation mark TTYD, that's what I was going to try to say, um, you can go ahead and uh, see the times for the weekend. We're going to be here till 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time tonight, and then going on from there. I have ball ball. Good old reference to the last game. There's some funny things here, by the way. If you go ahead and talk to these, this little toad, they have some good game references. There's one game, it's absolutely ruled. It's called Fire Emblem. Couldn't agree more. It's a great game. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. I love talking to that guy. This little kid. He's so funny. If you talk to him periodically throughout the game, uh, you can actually like get different sort of different games all throughout. I like that the first one's Fire Emblem, though. It's very nice. All right, we're going to buy a, pow a couple pow blocks. I have plenty of healing items. I don't think I need a honey syrup. Uh, oh, I don't want, I don't want that. Uh, items is D-pad up, right? Yeah, I don't need I don't need any FP restoring items yet. Yeah, it's the second the second like Mario RPG is big. Oh god, I hate this guy. We gotta talk to him. Ugh, ugh. This guy's funny too. That's so weird. So weird. He, like, shows up periodically throughout the game. Everyone's like, General White. General White. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Oh, these traveling sisters. I love all the little NPCs in the game, too. The, uh, the game does a really good job of giving NPCs its their personality. Like, they're not just random, like, oh, hey, welcome to the town type of thing. I feel like they all do have this, like, unique, charming personality to them. <laughs> Gotta go in the pink house. Huh. Was it? Someone there? Who? What? Her? What do you want from me? You! You're thieves! Trying to rob a dispenser's low Koopa! No, no. Go on. Do what you will. You plainly see there's nothing to steal here. I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends, in my antique shell, too. Leave the photo of the missus. Uh, me and the missus. Can't do without that. Oh, what? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story, then? 
You folks looking for crystal stars? Nobody say gate to me. Yeah, very appropriate, by the way. Very appropriate. It's PK. Every old person is just PK. Yeah, just, natu just naturally. All at once. Yep, I'm going to rough it up. I didn't say that. Huh, what an unselfish man. Noble indeed. Good egg. Yep, what would you say your name was? Murphy? No, no, it's not Murphy. It's Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. <laughs> Gabe does a good job of being, making it actually funny. All right, we gotta go Schwank Fortress. Let's do it. Well, let's do it. Oh, an email. Hey, that's something that has not like gone out of date. You can check your emails from the mailbox SP, which is pretty funny. Uh, but it is funny that like. Oh, we got uh, RDM. That's right. Rogueport News. And Professor Frankly is like, hey, it's Professor Frankly in E-form. And you get a nice picture of PK. There he is. Anyway. Okay, moving on. But it is funny. Like, I like the old retro sounds that the email makes. It's funny that it hasn't gone quite out of date yet, which is funny. You have that as your text tone forever. That's pretty funny. And like Charles says, dinner time, but I'll be back at some point. Good luck at the no damage, no damage run besides Shy Guy. Can we agree, actually, it could be a no damage run with an asterisk? I don't know. We'll see how long that takes. Won't take. I mean, I don't want to say we can't keep it up through the whole game. We'll find out. Anyway, that's Coops, the one and only. He's a great guy. All right, here we go. If you're good at Super Guard, GrimAngel95, by the way, stopping on by. That is true. If you are good at Super Guard, I guess you can theoretically go through the whole game with, uh, you know, no thing, no damage. I suppose if you're a madman and you, you hit every single Super Guard forever, I guess a task can do it. But, you know, I'm going to pass. By the way, can we give a big how do you do to Sir Ina Mort coming on in? Uh... Hope you're doing well, my friend. I haven't talked to you in a long time, so I'm so glad you came on by for the last stream. Uh, really, really great friend of mine, so please feel free to go say hi. Good friend of uh, and partner of Koopa Kung Fu. So, really great people. I met them at PAX, hung out with them for a couple years. They're really, really awesome people to know. So, go ahead and give them a shout-out, give them a follow if you haven't done so. Wholeheartedly recommend them. They're awesome. I have Grim Angel. I have seen that, by the way. Actually, just recently... Because I was kind of getting into the Paper Mario mindset. I saw Paper Mario Master Quest. Which is a fan made ROM hack of the uh, original Paper Mario. To make it a lot harder. They also do a lot of stuff with balancing a lot of items and strategies that were unbalanced before. Which is really cool that they did like did all that work. They added a lot of also optional boss fights too. Kind of similar to like Picture Kingdom Hearts. You know how Picture Cart uh, Kingdom Hearts does like the data versions of all the Organization 16 members after, like at the very, very end. They kind of do that in, in the Master Quest version too. They have like remastered boss fights with new moves and abilities and uh, beef stats. So it's really, really cool. I, I haven't played it, but I've certainly watched it and it's it's really neat. The, like I can't imagine the amount of work that went into that. that. That's the biggest thing for me. I'm like, wow, that must have taken a long time. Long, long time. There we go. Okay. But yeah, things are going really well, I have to say. I I have been... It's so weird because, you know, I've been streaming for a long time. As you know, this is the 200th live stream. We've been doing 30 years of content creation. Or 30 years, jeez. <laughs> We've, I've been streaming for 30 years. Uh, I've been doing 10 years of content creation. As you know, I don't why I know why I said 30. Uh, but <laughs> going really old. Started streaming the Magnavox Odyssey. Uh, we can ditch one of the mushrooms. I don't need that. Um, what was I about to say though? I was about to say something. Oh, so I, like when the stream was coming up today, I actually got like a little anxious and a little nervous about it. I was like, wow, like we got a little battle here. I was like, man, I don't usually get anxious and nervous about these types of things, but, like, this is it. I have to make sure it's a good one. This is the send-off. So, in any case. Uh, so we got a little tattle on these guys. The bald cleft. So these guys, you have to use the power lock, I think, to beat them. Or you could use power smash, but, like, 
I know at least with the next ones, you absolutely have to. Uh, but I like that they kind of throw these enemies at you to sort of introduce you to the concept of, yeah, you'll have to use items. And items are a thing you can do. So that was fun. Yeah, Grim, talk about that. The Skies of Arcadia 3 Day Marathon stream was an absolute blast. I really enjoyed bringing that game to more of a public light and doing it justice. I think it is a fantastic RPG that desperately needs to be remastered. Because picture how beautiful and how fantastic that game would be if it were to get a full remaster. Like, would that not be, like, such a spectacular, phenomenal, and enjoyable game? I think it absolutely would, 100%. Um, but I will tell you that I was sorely unprepared for the time commitment that it takes to stream that long consecutively. Holy cow. Uh, it takes a long time. So last time I was like, I didn't have any water. I didn't have any snacks. I was like, sure, I'll sit in a chair for 12 hours and play a video game. No problem. And it's like, it doesn't work that way. Hey, <laughs> you have to be prepared. Now I got my water. I got my snacks nearby. I'm all good to go. I got a seat cushion ready to go. So that's the thing. It's really funny. By the way, Slim Kirby jumping on by. Uh, I know I've received a lot of fantastic comments on Twitter saying things along the lines of, uh, you know, you've been my inspiration for content creation. And it's been really nice to get to know you all throughout the years. And believe me, I appreciate each and every one of them wholeheartedly. But... I can also echo the same sentiment and say that Slim was really the inspiration for me to get started with content creation. Uh, what was funny is going, I mean, I can tell the whole story, but to give you the abridged version, going back to the Nintendo Insider forums, which were Nintendo's official forums until about 2007 when they got shut down. But uh, that was really a great community for a lot of enthusiasts uh, to hang out and, and have a good time. We met each other on there. I used to host a trivia challenge, a Mario trivia challenge on there, and Slim, uh, you know, was a regular participant, and in fact, not just a regular participant, but a regular winner and champion, uh, so he did a really great job of doing that. Um, oh, another top lock, perfect. So now we're here. I remember the first time I played this game, by the way, this was a stopping point for me, because I had no idea what to do. Granted, I was a dumb kid, but you know, it is funny. Like, they throw these enemies at you, this is tough. Uh, but Slim was my inspiration to get started with content creation. Purely because I think it was like this was when like this was when he was doing camcorder and when I mean camcorder I mean like old school camcorder on a tiny tiny TV uh, doing Kirby Superstar way back in the day and he was like yeah you should totally do I think it was just literally like a a two second conversation or like a little drop line here of like hey you should totally get into this and I was like you know I give it a shot and like that was it. But, that being said, you know, he really initiated the, got the ball rolling on that. So, uh, I owe a lot to him, too. Even though, by the way, he has a terrible taste in uh, flight-based simulator games. His, his taste in those are absolutely atrocious. Uh, but I will say that he's a great guy overall. Despite us having a rivalry, which is true. We do have a rivalry that exists. Um, he is a great guy. Oh, the tree's coming down. No. <laughs> That's great. So he is a great guy. So you should go ahead and give him a follow. And by the way, he did, to his credit, it took a little bit of a nudge. It took a, a lot of bit of a nudge. But he did play the maze game pretty much twice. So, like, you know, as much as I can give him crap, he did He did play the maze game. He did. He did play that. So, you know, he's not all that bad, I guess. Played both versions of the maze game. That's right. He did. He did. Give him credit where credit's due. Remastered. Still available for download, by the way. You can still go ahead and uh, download it. That's a good question, say, at 1016. Is there any specific color for the Yoshi? There is not. I'm pretty much just going to play, and whatever happens, happens. I have no... I'm not going to, like, try to get a certain color. I think if you... The fastest you can go is to get the classic green. I'm pretty sure. But I'm not going to actually attempt to get a certain color, specifically. Just going to play the game and whatever, however it happens to pan out, that's how it's going to be. Yeah, the Recon Boy, PTM, is here. Nice. Uh, yeah, work was pretty good. I have to say, like I said, I was anxious to, for this stream all day. I was like, man, it's this is the day. It's a big deal. We don't need the in coupon right now. A uh, little free stay at the end. Don't need it. Don't even need that heart block. We're still at full health. Is there anything in this tree? No. We're good. So, doing pretty good. 
Alright, ready? Here we go. Boss fight. Best unit in uh, Advanced Wars Recon. It is definitely not. It is definitely not. Mm -hmm. -ha! You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. If you've come all the way to Strong Fortress, you want, want, must want Stone Keys. And if that's the case, you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through with the Stone Keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. Let's mm -hmm. take you on. Also, oh god, Slim, I, I I might give you the trophy on that one. I don't know if it's a trophy you want, but I'll give you a trophy. Complaining about not being prepared for a 12-hour stream. You did a 28-hour stream two weeks ago. I think I would actually die. <laughs> so credit to you. I like I don't know. I, I would be like a skeleton in the chair. I would just die. Oh, we got a quiz. What's hidden in this palace? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, the pickle stone. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, stone keys. Yes. Okay. One for one. One for one. Ah, that's correct. It gets much harder. What does Mr. Softener and one fire flower cost? Oh God, math question. Actually, I actually, I don't know what it is. I think it's sixteen because I think. I've, uh. Oh, <laughs> oh, the math, the math. Hashtag pickle stone. Moving on. Question three. What's the name of the mayor of Petalburg? Uh, 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 uh. Couscous would be a great name. Croup. That's how I math. Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, next one. Here we go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's the crystal star? It's in, uh, Mushville? PK is just every old man. Every old man. By the way, again, another couple things. If you want to go ahead and type uh, exclamation mark, oh god, pedal metals to rogue port through a pipe. I like racing a cart, though. That's pretty funny. All right, we got five out of five. Very good. Uh, if you want to go ahead and type uh, exclamation mark discord, that is how you can go ahead and get a link to the discord server. Although I will not be streaming anymore, I will be still in the Discord server and still on social media and all that type of stuff. So uh, you can go ahead and, and check it out there. I don't, I don't really need a tattle right there, Gumbella, but thank you. Uh, so you can go ahead and join the Discord server. It's a great place to be. We A lot of gaming going on there, a lot of productive discussion. Uh, the hot topics right now, Pokemon Sword and Shield, of course. We got, um, what else is the hot topic right now? Frozen 2 coming out uh, yesterday slash today. That's exciting. A lot of great things to talk about. Not to mention, not to mention, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. So good. So good. It is going to be objectively, objectively the greatest game ever when that comes out. Uh, daily math problems. That would be pretty funny. I actually went for a little spree of that on Twitter. Uh, if you remember, back in the day, I was like, I, I could actually post like a daily math problem involving video games, and it was pretty fun. Unfortunately, I kind of ran out of time to do that, and, and a lot. Oh, the double damage run is dead officially. I went for a super guard. I went for a super guard. It did not pay off. They're actually kind of cool. They're, they're creative. Stuff like, what's the probability of rolling matching uh, numbers on a dice block in Mario Party? Uh, if Samus shoots a wave beam at some trajectory, like, what equation would model it? It's pretty fun. You know, it's pretty fun. You got all of them right when you did them on Facebook. They're fun little problems. Yeah, I had fun making them. You gotta be creative. That's the thing. You gotta be creative. I did. I did come with that, I remember. Yeah, no damage from Mario. Yes. Uh, Cass, I'm so, bra I'm so glad you brought that up. He said... What's the deal with Wargroove? And I want to talk about Wargroove for a little bit. Uh, Wargroove, in case you don't know, it's an indie strategy game that came out last year. Much in the same way of, like, Advance Wars, the same style of game. Really, really good game. Oh, yeah, fuzzy ambush. Uh, and what I've actually been doing for the past, literally, like... Oh, I should have probably used the Fire Flower on this fight and not the last one. Uh, that's all right. Uh... What I've been doing for the past about eight months is making a custom Wargroove campaign. Oh, here's Mega, by the way, one of the stars of the Wargroove campaign. Oh, man, I want the damage runs dead. I want that super guard. Hold on, hold on. It's coming. It's coming. You ready? It's coming. Hold on. The super guard is coming. <laughs> super guard is not, it's not coming. It's not coming at all. It, it wasn't coming at all. 
That's a tough one at time. I got a super guard. Got a super guard. This, is, this one's kind of a slow battle. Just gotta wait it out. Hold on. Super guard. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, come on. I was so close on that one. That one was really close. That one was really close. The others weren't very close, but that one was pretty close. So anyway, all right, one more chance. One more chance. Come on, that was so close. That was so close. Ah, man. All right, sweet treat. Let's heal back up. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I've been working on a, the past eight months, I've been working on creating a custom campaign in Wargroove. And yes, you heard right. Wargroove, not only, one of the reasons I was so drawn to it, not only does it have a map editor, it has a custom campaign editor. Like, how cool is that? So I made my own, I've been making, I can't say made, because it's not done yet, quite yet. It's almost done, really, really close. Um, I've been making a custom campaign in Wargroove, starring all of the fantastic members of the Fortnite Alliance Plus Mega Squad Discord server. Let's go! <sighs> That's a good way to end. Coming through in the clutch. Uh, so, it is a full 20 map campaign, complete with cutscenes at the beginning and end of all of the maps. Uh, so, it has taken so far approximately 425 hours worth of work. So, I want to throw that number out there again. 425 hours. Uh, it will be free to download if you own a copy of Wargroove on every platform, on PC, Switch, PS4, and Xbox. Uh, I would recommend getting the Switch version if you are interested in just playing the game. If you are interested in getting involved in the content creation tools, I would recommend getting the PC version like I did. Because I can't imagine doing all the map editing and stuff not on a keyboard and mouse. I feel like that's just the way to go. I don't need to actually prove myself with Super Guard anymore. I just do a normal guard now. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice. So... Uh, it took me 425 years. No, it took me 425 hours so far. Uh, and it's not quite done yet. I still have one more map to make and a couple other touch-ups to do. I'm putting in a lot of like little optional content and things like that. Really gave me a new bit of appreciation for the game development process, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I do want to say that if you want to play it, its release date is December 9th. So December 9th is the, de the deadline I'm shooting for to have that done. And Mega Freak 400, if we can go ahead and throw him a caster shout out, Mega Freak 400 is planning on streaming it. He's gonna, he's getting actually the exclusive first rights to stream the game uh, right when it comes out, totally blind. I've released a couple of random uh, cutscenes and stuff uh, so far, uh, showing off a little bits and pieces of the game. What's funny is I haven't released a lot of content about the game because I, I don't really want to show it. Like, I want it to be a surprise because I'm really, really proud of the amount of work I've put into it. Not saying it's perfect, not saying there won't be little quirks here and there, which I hope there aren't, but I suppose there's no guarantee. But still, I, I, I it's, it's my last, like, love letter to you as a community for being such a fantastic community. So I hope that you play it when it does come out December 9th on Wargroove. You do need a copy of Wargroove to be able to play it. You could probably catch it on sale for about 10 bucks uh, if you get it on a good, you know, good day. I assume with Black Friday coming around, in the U.S. anyway, there will be a lot of games on sale and you'll be able to get some good prices. So, please feel free to do that. The, ro the campaign editor is pretty robust, but it's robust in a way that like, it's, you have to kind of uncover its features. It doesn't explain a lot to you, but when you figure out more and more of, like, hey, I can actually do this. Hey, I can, this is a thing I can do. Hey, I can do that, too. Like, you start to uncover all these options, and you're like, wow, I can actually do quite a bit. Really? I The, the, the developers claim, and I half believe them, that you could make the whole Wargroove campaign, like, literally the campaign that's included with the game, uh, in the editor, you can for the most part. I think there's a couple things that they've done that are not available on the editor. But for the most part, like you could probably make 90% of the actual game that got shipped with the editor. So it's pretty cool. Oh boy. Gold fuzzy. Here we go. I post them in the Discord server if you want to check them out. They should be pinned messages in the announcements. In the like, bulletin board page. 
Alright, anyway, this is a gold fuzzy. We can go ahead and tattle out. So yeah, please, please, please feel free to check it out. And I really do hope you play it and enjoy it when it actually does come out. It, it really will be a fun time. Me, Orf! Hey, ow! Your jumps are tougher than you look! Oh, yeah. I love it when the game does stuff like this. This game does a lot of that. A lot of, like, big crowds and fun moments. Ow. Ah, that wasn't that bad. Hey! Hey now, that was me. Right, anyway. Oh man, that's tough to see the action command. There we go, there we go. Ah, yeah. wow, oh, man. They're not pinned. All right. I'll make sure you post. Actually, if anybody wants to go ahead and post a link to them in the chat, that would actually be super helpful right now. There we go. That's a scare gold fuzzy. Perfect. Excellent. Takes care of that. Me. Oh, you got me. They're all dead. Let's get out of here. Yeah, the bulletin is its own channel in Discord, which is nice. Excellent. Uh, let's keep going. I think we're making some pretty good progress so far. I think we're going at a pretty good pace. So, like I said, I do hope that you check out the Wargroove campaign when it is finished. Again, if we can give Mega a caster shout-out, I'm sure that probably happened already. Uh, but if you want to give him a caster shout-out, he is going to be streaming it December 9th. That's Monday. It's funny because I'm putting a lot of optional content in there. Like, I'm really trying to make it a robust game as best I can. And so it's really funny that, like, I don't know. Like, sometimes I'm making stuff and I'm like, man, like, maybe nobody will even find this thing or even do this thing. But, like, I don't know. It'll be fun if you do. It'll be fun if you do. Let's just say it was made with love. It was made with love. And everybody's in it. Everybody's in it. There are, Grim Angel. There are already. So that's pretty cool. Jordan D., see you later. I appreciate you stopping on by. Yeah, post the, uh, you should be able to post the links here, right? For the, for the actual scenes. Yeah, the cutscenes. You should be able to post them here. They're unlisted videos on YouTube, but you should be able to post them. We do. Oh, Mr. L, if you're actually posting the links, uh, they can't read them because I have link sharing disabled for non-mods. So, like, send it to Mega or something. Have them post it. Ow. Ow. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Post the links here. Oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> uh, it's fun, though. It is fun. It's fun to make, I'll tell you that. It's a lot of work, uh, but it's fun. Cause it's, not, it's not just, like, coding the game to work. There's so many aspects of game development that you really don't think of. All the dialogue and scripting, that's one big thing. You have to like literally write dialogue. Uh, the cutscenes, you have to animate them to actually do what you want them to do. The game maps, you have to actually create to be balanced and such. Uh, you have to make them to be challenging, yet, yet exciting and balanced and not boring. And you have to make sure the pacing is on point. And, not to mention, you have to actually make the game work. Like, you have to make it so, like, hey, when I win the game, it, or t when I beat a map, it tells me that I won. Like, it triggers the victory sequence, you know? Like, all those little things are all coded in. So it's a fun time. Hey, we got a sleepy sheep. I don't know if I'll ever use a sleepy sheep in this game. I don't know if I have ever used a sleepy sheep in this game, but we got one. That's pretty cool. I really love, another thing I really love is how many times the or how, how the enemies can actually have items. And I got hit with a bucket. I just got hit in the head with a bucket. I, I just got hit in the head with a bucket. Anyway, uh, so how, um, what was I saying? Oh, how the enemies can have items. And how sometimes it actually does create some pretty unpredictable and crazy moments. Where you're like, 
it actually, I don't know, like, sometimes it actually is like, oh, man, like, I wouldn't normally prioritize that target, but that target is holding a Thunder Rage, for example, and it's like, I really don't want them to use that, so. Or holding a healing item, for that matter. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, go to Discord. Thanks, PTM. That works. Okay, here we go. How many times, Grim said, did I test a map before I, like, kind of thought it was done? I'd say probably about five-ish. Oh, there's trees coming down. <laughs> the trees coming down. Probably about five-ish. Yeah, that's true, too, Kingness. You can actually, there's a chance they can actually have badges equipped. And they can actually drop the badges, too, which is nice. Um, but, yeah, you could find, like, Goombas with HP plus and be, like, super-powered Goomba, which is really funny. Alright, there we go. Hey, Lucas. Lucas Gamer P. Eric, it's so crazy to believe you're retiring after this. Also, just destroy the whole scenario. Yeah, what a great idea. De uh, delete it after all that work. It'll be out soon. December 9th. There'll be a, there's a wide variety of content. Like, it really is to play through it from beginning to end, and this is the last I'll talk about it for now, uh, is it really is about a 15 to 20 hour game that I've made. And uh, I, I hope that you'll enjoy it. You saw a stream where an enemy had a lucky day? That's really funny. That's really funny. Oh, you're waiting for uh, waiting for the premiere of Shadow Mario 42. Hey, you never know. Mentored by me? We'll see. My own my own lifeblood. <laughs> yeah, it is weird, Slim. Shy guys are not enemies in the game, but they are here in the audience. King Legacy with the sub. I appreciated that. Oh my gosh, look at all the gifted subs that just came in. Holy cow! I'm looking at the chat. Gifting five tier one subs. Casanova, that is amazing. They're all going to come in one one notification at a time. Mega Freak 400 with the sub. Thank you guys so much. That's that's unbelievable, Cass. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. And then the next one's going to come in. Hold on. Wait for it. There it is. There it is. Ethan Eco Margashi. Thank you so much for the sub. We got Banjamon coming up in Blue Fire. Thank you guys. Uh, this is that's so nice. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. I, I, I it's gonna be tough. Later on in the street, I know it's gonna be emotional. It's gonna get emotional. And like later on, probably towards the end. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's gonna be tough. Okay. All right. We didn't actually need to talk to him. What are we looking at for? Uh, that's badges. What am I looking at for? Where's items? That's journal. Let's see, it's literally the last one. Uh, I have two item slots to spare. I think that should be good. I don't think I need anything more than that. Oh, I know, Mega. I know, I know. I know. Well aware. Save. I don't think I actually need to get an item, but I will get a quick honey syrup just to have it. One thing I think is actually pretty funny is you can fall in the water here and all that. And you actually take damage from doing that. The original Paper Mario kind of didn't do that for you. Um, excuse me. Aha! It's Koops. It's, it's Mario, right? Look, I, um, see, the thing is, I've been waiting to hear to speak with you. I, uh, can't say no, so I just gotta throw it out there. And, um, see, I was wondering, would you... Oh, please take me with you! I want to play out <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, yes. Koops' tragic story. I miss him badly. This isn't just about avenging my dad. No, no, no. The truth is, I want to finish what my dad started for his sake, for everyone's sake. Man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby, a weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong like my dad. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? I forget what happens. I don't know what happens if you say no. I think he kind of sits here. and he, I mean, we could have just found out, I guess. I think he sits here, and then, like, you have to talk to him. You have to use him to get to Oaktail's castle anyway. So, like, I think you just have to, like, come back and say hi. You know. The game just ends. It's just game over. That would be pretty funny. Yeah, Koops is just Cooper all over again. But I think Koops is probably is a much more interesting Cooper. Cooper, like, has the... the uh, What was I going to say? He has the personality of, like... Like, he's just a go-getter. Like, him and Goombario, in my opinion, 
are like the same character in the original Paper Mario. You have Cooper and you have Gumbario. Yeah, he has the funny stuff with like his shell getting stolen and whatnot. But like, as far as their personalities go, I really don't think they're drastically different. Whereas Koops at least is his own character. Sometimes it is actually like I don't know if it's he has the greatest personality, but at least he has a personality and is an interesting character. So he does. He just sits there all sad. That's pretty funny. He punches you, just like jumps on you. But at least he has a character, unlike, um, you know, the other ones. And he gets in trouble with Koopy Koop. No, that's that's from Paper Mario. I forget this one. That's different. That's, I forget her name. Oh, it is Koopy Koop. I was right. I was right. Look at me pulling that Mario trivia from the archives. Pretty cool. Uh, anyway, let's go. Uh, cool. First strike. Yeah, he's like a normal Koopa with an attitude. It's like, wow, that's cool. That's cool, he's got an attitude. But, like, Goombario already was that, you know? Anyway, now that we have Cooper, it actually makes these fights a little easier because now we can go ahead and just take on the Spike Goomba. There we go. Hey, we actually have Bingo. I, my stats are 100% full, so we don't need it. But, hey, I'll take it. And we got a full audience, though. Helps with that. Her name is Colorado's wife. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, Thousand Year Door. Like I said, I think Thousand Year Door takes everything that the original Paper Mario did and just expands on it to the best potential. I think the original Paper Mario was needed to establish like the game and the formula and all that. It was necessary, but I think overall, this game just takes it and just, just takes everything to the next level and has an absolute blast. Like, I think a lot of passion was put into this game. And you could tell. You could tell. There we go. I know Mega disagrees. But, speaking of which, I think it is time. I think it's about that time. Do you think it's about that time? I, I think it's about that time. It's about that time. Yeah, I think it's about that time. Oh, I, didn't, I was not ready for an action command. Good stuff. Out of my face, you stupid Goomba! What the hell is that? Why is this even a thing? Oh my god! How? How? Oh! Jeez! <laughs> oh, at least it happened on a Goomba fight and not like way later in the game, but like. Jeez! Jeez! Oh, there he is. Do I hear him? Do I hear? Hold on a second, I gotta turn you up. Alright, say something now. Hey, I can turn my input volume in. I just know I'm usually pretty loud, so... <laughs> I hear a Mega Freak 400. Do you guys hear a Mega Freak 400? Can you say something? Uh, no. <laughs> Great. Uh, do you hear him? Hopefully everybody hears him loud and clear. Mega Freak 400, our first guest tonight. And actually fitting, because it's Chapter 1, Mega. This is your chapter from Crystal Star Studio. Ten years ago... I don't know if you mentioned it. It's been ten years since uh, the... Playthrough for CSS. Or it no, has come December. Come December at least. Yes. Yeah. Yes. If you need me to turn up the volume for Mega, just let me know. Uh, go ahead and give me a, a shout out. But yeah, that's why I think this really brings it full circle. It's been ten years. It's the whole thing's coming around. I'm happy you could join me for some Chapter One. Yeah, no problem. I and I don't mind being here because it's not like I have anything else to do before work. But ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> now if I had I had a party to go to, then <laughs> right. Right. Well, that's understandable. I mean, this this chapter is um, chapter ones in Paper Mario are never anything like amazing. I feel like I don't think it, uh, you usually they're just a warm up, and the the best chapters in cha Paper Mario tend to be chapter three. I feel. I agree. I completely agree. I think by chapter three is when the game is fully like ramped up. Um, and one thing I think is pretty unfortunate with uh chapter one or chapter two in this game i am not a fan of it at all oh yeah no chapter two is, is just garbage <laughs> like i think i think paper mario thousand year door is overall a really fantastic game but i think chapter two is actually just kind of bad 
Everyone gives shade to chapter... We were talking about this the other day in Discord. Everyone gives shade to chapter 4 in Discord. And no, chapter one, chapter 2 is That's just worse out. because sure, chapter 4 has the backtracking. Which, I mean, a lot of the chapters have backtracking. But sure, it has backtracking. But I don't think chapter 2 has one redeeming quality to it. <laughs> no, it really think, doesn't. I think pretty much everything... The music isn't that good. The aesthetic is gets old. The... I mean, I'm not going to spoil everything, but just everything, yeah. <laughs> the yeah, main mechanic just, of that level is not... It, it sounds like... It, it feels like a budget version of, like, an experimental Pikmin. Like, it's just not good. And not fun. It's tedious. Yeah. But we'll see when we get there. We'll see when we get there. But once you get past Chapter 2, I feel like there really aren't many bad, if any bad, chapters in this game. See, I know you disagree, and I'm, that's why you're here. I'm glad you're here. What do you got? Let me pre pre, pre oh, I'm, I just woke up, so I know. for anyone that doesn't know, I work night audit, so for me, this is like morning. <laughs> this is like early morning for me. Um, the thing about it is, I like both. I like both TTYD and the original Paper Mario. They're both great games. I'm not not saying it's bad at any means, but. I do think that the original, uh, or I feel like this game has a lot more highs, high highs and low lows, whereas the original is just solid throughout. I don't think there's a single bad chapter in the original. Whereas here, like you say after chapter three, or after chapter three, it pretty much is high throughout. I, I don't really agree with that. <laughs> That's fair. There's definitely good moments throughout, but there's definitely like low moments. Every chapter after three has at least one bad aspect to it. Um, and I think the one thing the original has over this by far is in style and music. The soundtrack to the original is is by far better than this one, at least for me personally. If you're into this style of music, then, then that's a whole other uh, barrel of monkeys. But... Um, and then art style wise too, the uh, very hand drawn looking aesthetic of the original I think is is way better than this one's too clean. It's too clean looking. I can agree with you on on that point. That I think the original is a little more of a consistent experience throughout, whereas I think this game has more peaks and valleys. Yeah. Um, and, and and to be fair, that's sometimes a good thing. Like when I think of like shows I like. Uh, this is way back. I'm not even really into it anymore. But when I watched Doctor Who, right? Sure. Um, the, not that you probably know nothing. About I have. I that is one of my part of my nerd knowledge that is sorely lacking. Is Doctor Who? You don't need to know anything to to, to know about this. Well, I know there's um, something with a phone booth and time travel ish. Well, well, no, but like so at the time when I was watching the the series, right? Um, my favorite season was season three, and I said season three has some of the worst episodes in the entire series, but it also has some of the best, at the time at least, uh, episodes in the entire series. So, because of that, I liked it the best because of the, the very high highs, whereas cha uh, season four of that, that, uh, that series, uh, the new series, not the old series, but uh, season four... That one didn't really have any horrible, like, really low lows, but it didn't really have any high highs, and I, it just kind of blurred together. So I do understand that. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You're not doing too well here. <laughs> Sorry. I super guarded again. Oh, I missed that one, though. I know, I know, I know. Not doing the best. But in any case, I'm missing my action commands because I'm trying, trying to focus on your conversation, too. <laughs> Um, I'm try I'll try not to drag out, like, make it all about conversation. No, I please, tend to please do. That, do. But, I want to hear about it. But but you, but you see what I'm saying? Like, I get that, too. While I do like the original, I do understand why TTYD stands out to people. Because it, the high highs really do make a difference. Yeah, it does. It does. I think, like, this game, is, as far as memorable moments are concerned, like, how do you not remember the Glitz Pit? Like, it's so good. It's so good. It, it's, it's probably, yeah. And stuff really like uh, like the Excess Express, I love. Um, and those type of moments, I think, are just so fun. I do like the Express, but like I said, with, with the low lows, is the Express is good, but everything that's not on the train is garbage in that chapter. <laughs> that's fair. Oh, like, like the every... Riverside Station and all that? The station, the sanctum is okay, and then the boss fight is like the worst boss fight in the entire series, I feel. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Hot, hot take, bro. <laughs> well, because it's just kind of random. Like, it just happens. Yeah, it's, I, I think I said this in Discord as well. I said, it is the boss fight in the series that has the absolute... There is no context to the boss fight. You could put that boss in any chapter in the series, and it would make just about as much sense as putting it in Chapter 6 of TTYD. Right, it right. <laughs> It's very there's random. really no yeah there's no no context it it, it story wise I think um, it, it, there's no reason for it to exist oh yes, this scene is great that is true. this scene is good also I like how he's like oh no as if that one specific skeleton he can recognize as his dad yeah <laughs> some kind of letter his bones it are. looks looks so much different than the other skeletons <laughs> what has he got to say. I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I'm stuck and can go no further. So in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dreaded Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with Skrrr and end with Ickit. Somewhere hidden in this castle is an item waiting to Hooktail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last thing. If faced with the ultimate doom, that fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. <laughs> Which is really funny. I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have to ask. He knew, knew all of these tricks, right, about, about Hooktail. How did he get all the way down here before dying? Uh, like, I couldn't tell he be... you. Couldn't tell you. All right, here we go. Little bit of a mini-boss. First name Colorado, last name White. They're both named Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. Uh, speaking of that, by the way, no Kerr Ickit, please. <laughs> no Kerr Ickit, please. This Do, was... it. Do it. <laughs> what? Uh, Do it. Do it. Do uh, it. It's the really? final stream. <laughs> really? Yes. Maybe. I mean, it's definitely possible. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, also, speaking of things that I, I was looking it up too. I don't know if you actually looked it up, and this could be a little bit of getting ahead of ourselves. But uh, the Flavio glitch, have you, did you see how to actually do that? Uh, I forgot to actually tattle on this guy. Um, I always oh, gonna rebuild a friend. I did see how to do it. I don't think I want to do it. I don't know. Like I might. Yeah, I, I get why because it. It would basically like skip a lot of sections. I think story-wise, it yeah. would glitch it. It's you funny. could always save it and then like like reset it just to show it off. Right. But... It's funny because it's actually not hard to do. Um, no, it's really easy. It's like like there's some. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, the drive off has a defense point. Ow. Oh my god, they're just building more. This is a legion of dry bones. What? Throw get out of here! You throwing a can at me? <laughs> get out of my audience! I mean, I mean, are you surprised they're all dry bones? <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, no, it's really basically all you need for those who don't know. Uh, you need to get at chapter four. You need to get Miss Mouse. Spoilers. Um, and it's the action command. Oh my god, I'm so terrible. <laughs> To be fair, I feel like the action commands in this game are really tough to time. Like, there, there's no leeway as far as, uh, or at least for the super guards. There's, like, very little... Uh, the super guard, I think, is a three or four frame window. I was saying that earlier. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, you need to have Miss Mouse. And so if you don't know, there's pipes that give you shortcuts to some of the chapters later. And what you need to do is go in the sewers and use... When, when you use Miss Mouse's... Uh, sniff ability or whatever to find treasure uh she'll move mario like one frame over or something like like very little little movement but if you do it right next to the water near the block that's blocking the uh, pipe to chapter five and six um you will be able to end up on top of that block because you'll fall in the water and get like bumped up by the piranha plant or not piranha plant uh just piranha and uh, then you can get into Chapter 5. So then when you actually do Chapter 5, when you get Flavio in your party, you leave through that pipe and go to Chapter 6, and you end up keeping Flavio in your party throughout the whole game. Yeah. Uh, and then you also have to do it. You have to, the thing is you also have to do it before 
you battle against before the boss of chapter five otherwise or not the boss but you know what i mean the uh after the boss the thing that happens after the boss in chapter five you have to you have to uh leave through that pipe so you'll basically skip sections of of that of that at least yeah it's this big like sequence break that allows you to keep flavio as a permanent party member too which is really funny yeah it's really funny <laughs> Um, but in any case, it, it definitely, it skips a big part of Chapter 5. I don't think I'm going to do it. Uh, actually, no. I, I know I'm not going to do it. I don't want to even say I don't, I'm not even going to give the possibility. But it is funny, and certainly when I get to it, I'll talk about how to do it. It's not hard to do at all. That's what's funny about yeah. it. Like, a lot well, of sequence I... breaks and glitches you can find in this game are, are namely that. They're namely glitches and stuff. But, like, that one is pretty easy to do. It's pretty funny. Yeah. And anyway. I think, um... Like you say, it skips a large part. You do end up still seeing the boss. It's just, I think the only thing you absolutely skip... Well, I think a lot of lead-up to Chapter 6, you also skip. But you skip the ending of Chapter 5, for sure. So I, I, when I was looking it up, I'm like, yeah, I can get why you might not want to do it. Because it would, like, skip a good chunk of the story. Right. But it is... But 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 at least look it up, because it's hilarious. It is hilarious. Like... You should, I agree with that. <laughs> You should absolutely 100% look it up, because it is yeah. very funny. Um. Also, I'm I'm trying to read chat, but like, and I'm sure I you're having fast. the same issue. With, oh, yeah, I missed well. the jump! Oh my god, I'm so terrible. Uh, I do want to say Robius jumped in. He said, "Hey, uh, Eric, enjoyed your gaming content for years. It's much as sad to see you retire from it. Uh, I understand because you don't have much time for Twitch because your new overnight job. Yeah, I know it's tough. It's tough." Uh, but I'm happy you came on by to support the last stream. It's pretty cool. And I'm happy to go out with an event like this, too. Like, I, I, I've wanted to replay this game for a very long time. So to find, to actually be able to, I'm like, I'm loving this. Like, I'm so excited. You haven't, you haven't played this since, uh... I haven't yeah, played this since CSS. Right. Yeah. So let's, let's go way back. Anyway. A little puzzling. Gotta love the paper aesthetic, too. So anyway, we are here with Mega Freak 400 for those of you just tuning in. He does some fantastic content on his channel. Namely, he's the go-to guy for Name That Game Tune. And if you want to go ahead and check out Name That Game Tune, it's a video game music trivia contest where you have to guess the names of different songs. Uh, he is your go-to guy for that. He also does a lot of indie game content, which I think is cool because, although sometimes we trash on him for it, which sometimes it's fair, uh, but... He, uh, Never fair. It's always fair. <laughs> always fair. He's like, ah, screw this. Uh, what do you call these new games these days? Skyrim? He's like, nah, I don't play that. Go play uh, Baba is You. Although Baba is You is a great game. Dude, Baba is You is amazing. Baba is but You is here's a the, Here's the thing. It's not even that I, I, I don't like popular, ga popular games. Like, I'm literally playing a popular game right oh. now. It's that I don't like realistic games that much. Right. I'm, I mean, I also don't own a PlayStation 4, so it's not like I can See, play that's the thing. Either. Doesn't own a play PS4. I mean, if you can get by that fact, then he is a great caster. And I think it's funny because you don't find a lot of people that do indie games like that, I think, on Twitch. Uh, so, like, he definitely stands out from the crowd in that regard. He's a little obtuse, but he's a great guy. So please, please go ahead and give him a follow. In the original Crystal Star Studio Let's Play of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, he did do Chapter 1. So that's why it was, like, super appropriate to have him on now. It just so happened to work out, too. Thank yeah, you, Megan, I didn't for want giving to yourself cast a myself, shout. But, well, no one else, uh, only mods can do it. And I'm I like, know. It's, it's so awkward to be like, yeah, go check me out. Like, I'm like, I don't Go want check to. myself <laughs> out. Yeah. Uh, but he's awesome. Um, I will say, if you don't mind me, like, advertising. Yeah, go for it. You're on, you're, it's on. It's all you, man. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to be playing after I'm not streaming. Usually, I stream Sundays at 7, but, you know, you're you're streaming, so I'm not going to stream uh, this weekend. But Monday, I will be streaming uh, the lair itself of Ukulele and the Impossible Lair, which is a really good game. If you, It's not even, you say it's indie, it is, but, like, it's really, it's a really good game. I think you, you would love it. Because you love Doc Country Tropical Freeze, and it's really... I know you didn't like the original, but you would absolutely love Impossible uh, Lair. But uh, I'll be doing a guest, uh, name that game tune, uh, guest list. Uh, for those of you who are interested in hearing about name that game tune, uh, on December 1st at 7 with uh, Odin's back, he'll be doing a guest list. And I'll be having another uh, of my own name that game tunes that month as well. 
uh, schedules on my channel. So. Yeah, go check them out for sure. And then obviously the war group stuff. Yes, and the war group stuff when that comes out. I can't wait for that. That's gonna be so fun. Uh, be good. Anyway, we got this again. Another box. Yeah, like what 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 Slim said too. I mean, not that it's always about the money, but like indie titles, you get like a lot a better game for less money a lot of times because indie titles can uh, afford to be experimental. Uh, and I completely of, agree with that. Yeah, I mean, and and not even just indie titles. I play a lot of niche games, and you have to admit, I any game I've recommended to you, you've never been disappointed in. That is true. Su Sushi Strikers, Ever Oasis. Baba as you if you play it. I have, yeah, it's Baba as you looks great. Best puzzle game of the year, probably. Right, here's a chance to get a game over. I'm pretty sure, right? If you fail this, the spike room. Well, we should, you should try. Yeah. And I honestly don't know. I think see you actually happens. get a game over if you don't if you don't do this. See, see what happens. Um, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna leave. You're you're so boring. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. I'm scared. You know, like, what if the spikes crush us? Oh yeah, Eric loves Hollow Knight. Is I like love Hollow Knight. Yeah, Hollow, Hollow Knight. Yeah. Grim, you brought up the great example. Hollow Knight is, is such a great game if you have not played it. Uh, Fifteen dollars, like it's so good with free now, DLC. This is where I have issue with uh, the whole pricing thing, though, is because everyone's like, I, I feel like the one downside to Hollow Knight is everyone is like, oh, Hollow Knight is fifteen dollars, so every game should be fifteen dollars now, and I'm like, no, the exact opposite. Hollow Knight is priced way too low. It should at least be thirty. It's ridiculous how cheap it is. Uh, and saying that every other game is not worth the price because Hollow Knight exists is not a valid ar argument, especially for uh, like indie developers who can use the extra money. Like I, I get it for like remakes and for mainstream games, I understand that. But there was another uh, Metroidvania that came out last year uh, called Monster Boy in the Cursed uh, Kingdom, I think. Uh, and it's a uh, anyone who knows Wonder Boy, it's it's basically. All in all but name a sequel to that series Same. and it's very good uh, very very fun game but it was priced at about like $40 you can probably get on sale for about 30 now uh, but it was about $40 and everyone everyone's biggest complaint was oh it's $40 and I'm like I don't <laughs> $40 is not that much I yeah, feel. It's not that bad. Like, oh. or a good like it's a good long game it's not short it's like a full-on game and so, and then people saying, oh, but Hollow Knight is longer and it's better and it's only $15. I get it. I understand where you're coming from, but Hollow Knight should have been 40 <laughs> Yeah, it totally Hollow... should have. I got so... Hollow Knight on sale for $9. Like, it, that's ridiculous. That's it, that's a bargain. Yeah, a bargain gets... bin. Oh, we have to fall. Oh, yeah, I remember that. You get that from above. Is this a... Do I have a key? No. Oh, I got to go back and get the key. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, t t Team Cherry was so bad at making DLC, Silk Song just became its own game. <laughs> That's true. I forgot that that happened. That's how that whole meme started. What meme? My sister, the 2,000-year-old window, which was going on in the chat. In CSS. That was when my sister was watching the windows in the background of an episode. That was funny. Could we hear? I can't even run. It's been so long. It's the little things you forget about, you know? Yeah. Remember well, the... Like, remember uh, the uh, Pit of Hundred of Trials videos that we did, where we I it was that, all seven of us coming together. That was a mess. Yeah, I mean it was fun, but like well, the scheduling stuff, that was wild. That's why I also oh, I like when, when we were gonna do CSS. I, I was the one that suggested, uh, hey, as much as as we uh, having everyone in a call would be cool, we should probably split it up into chunks because otherwise it's just going to be a mess because. I feel like both the prologue chapters and chapter, because chapter eight was all of us as well, or, for, or at least for a good chunk. It was. Final chapter. And it, <laughs> having an eight person or a seven person call is, you know, rough, especially what, back in the day when I would say we weren't as experienced too. Like, it's not like we were. I agree. You know, I agree. Um, but uh, you were saying about like remembering things. And I have a pretty good memory, and I was going to mention earlier, you said uh, PK popped in during your Sky... Or not Skyrim stream. Uh, Skies were Skies were... It was during Sunshine. It wasn't during... Oh, it was during Sunshine. You're right. Yeah. You were right. It wasn't during Skies. I texted him for Skies, though. He didn't come. He popped in during Sunshine. That was stream 41. Yeah. I and I admit, I even talked to PK in like forever because I that was I was the only one who wasn't here for that because I had to work night on. Yes, so I, I, I went back to I think I stayed up 
in the morning and then went to sleep, so I was sleeping. Yeah. That was a fun time. I enjoyed that one. I enjoyed that one. Yeah, but you didn't you didn't do uh, Pachinko correctly. Oh, Pachinko time. with the turbo nozzle. That's what it was all yeah. about. The Pachinko with no. the turbo nozzle? Yeah, that was did, so you hype. Did, you didn't do it this time. I, no, because that was a one-time deal. It cannot be replicated. No, no you, it can be replicated. cannot be. No, yes, no way. Hey, well, Luigi's you, in the audience. Pop it in right now and prove it. No, no. <laughs> it's that uh, one time. Because it was first try, wasn't it? That's what I think was so special about it. Like, we were trying to do it legitimately for the longest time. And I was like, you know what? We're doing it with the turbo nozzle. Or somebody said it. Maybe it was K-Man that said it. And I was like, you yeah. know, why not? And it was the first try. That's what was crazy. And if it wasn't first try, then uh, I'm going to change the story and give myself credit and say that it was first try. I mean, we can literally... Uh, well, I don't know. Is it up on YouTube? There's Thanks so much. Stuff. Intervention Central with the sub, by the way. Thank you for your support. I know, Zade. I appreciate that. Uh, it is up on YouTube. You can go see it. Um, there's a couple things I want to I want to just turn my attention to the chat real fast because I'm falling yeah, behind. I, I, I'm trying to read it, but like it's it's. <laughs> I know it scrolls pretty fast. Um, well, and also like having conversation, it's hard I know, to like, I know. be like. I know we're talking about something. By the way, <laughs> I know. Um. So anyway, um. Let's see what else we got going on. I'm trying to look real fast. Yes, that's scheduling. I know some people just came in. Kirk64 coming on in. I haven't seen Kirk in forever. Kirk, I hope it's going well with you, my friend. I hope things are well in the Kirk, man. In the Kirk world. Uh, what else we got? We got Static Ape, I think I saw jump on in. Did I just see that a little uh, bit ago? Uh, I thought I saw him in the chat. Where is he? 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 Oh, man. I thought he just came on up. I'm trying to find him in the chat. Oh, well. It's another one of my former students. Uh, we also have my Ryan, my Ran Strife. Is that what it is? Thanks so much for stopping by. Found through your Mario Golf Tulsa Tour Let's Plays. Good times. Yeah, that was good time. That was good time. Well, I'll just do a quick moment to plug our Discord channel again for anyone that wants to pop in. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, ra random stuff, talk, chat. There's always a lot of chatting going on. Uh, I kind of want to do more game tournaments coming up too uh, with Pokemon. And then we did a Smash tournament last year. We might do one uh, this year as well. for ne or In the new year, rather. Yeah, that'd be really great. Oh, here he is. He said it right here. How is CompSci Gang without me? CompSci Gang is good. CompSci Gang is still going strong. So, anyway. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of activity in the Discord server. Please, please, please feel free to do it. Oh, yeah, that, that was funny, Slim. We had a lot of good moments in that Pachinko stream. And someone was like, I was like, this isn't helping. And I think it was K-Man. He was like, or you, no, you said. That was right, because you said it. You were like, you expected this to help? <laughs> you just, like, love torturing me. I'm glad that and everybody well, it did, gets though. enjoyment out of that. <laughs> I'm glad worked. that everybody gets enjoyment out of that. Any case, we are here with Mega Freak 400 again, if you're just joining. Does great work on uh, his own stream, so check him out. I do want to say that if you have not done so already, it does come up every half hour, but in case you haven't seen it, and you do want to go ahead... Oh, by the way, here's Miss Mouse, if you're curious. She's... She's such a weird she's character. She's a weird character. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and check out... Uh, what was I just about to say? Oh, if you want to go ahead and type exclamation mark final stream, exclamation mark final stream will get, bring you to a Google form. That you can fill out. Actually, this is perfect timing because I'm going to use my honey syrup. Uh, it'll bring you to a Google form that you can fill out to get receive a little final token of appreciation from me. So if you're interested in doing that, please make sure you do that. I, I, it's something, you know, another little thing that I'd like to extend out to you. So please go ahead and fill out that form to get a little, little, you know, farewell present from me if you so, if you so desire. I, I have a guess for what it is, but I'm just a little idea. Just a little idea that I had. Nothing, uh, it's nothing well, too crazy. It's just. A, well, I was gonna say. Well, do you want me to guess? Or? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Well, now gonna you're, say, gonna, you're gonna build up these expectations. By the way. It's just well, a little no, I was gonna thing. say it was gonna be a, your business card. <laughs> it, it's it. There may be some in there. Sure. It's not all it's gonna be, but there may be some of those thrown in there. He's sending everyone a new car. You get a car. <laughs> you get a car. And you get a car. And you get a car. I wish, if I, you know, I wish. If I could, I would. Let me tell you. If I could, I would. 
if you ever become a billionaire, that's you gotta come back and be like, you know I'm what? A stream and I will. Just giving out. I will. I will say that on record right now. If I become a billionaire, <laughs> everyone in this stream right now gets a car. That's you it. Everybody take some notes. <laughs> Get, take some notes. Take some notes. Write it down. If that happens, everyone in this stream gets a car. If, if you ever come to Discord someday in the future, if you're still around for Discord, and you're like, uh, hey, it. I just became a billionaire. I'm going to be like, where's my car, bitch? I want my That's car. right. Clip it. Clip it. <laughs> All right. I dare you. Clip it. I dare you. Uh, anyway, yeah, Miss Mouse is weird. She's a weird, She's a weird character. character. Hey, Knight is here too. Knight 9. Might as well uh, visit the Farewell stream. I'm so happy you did. Uh, and by the way, Kirk says, what does it mean by file and stream? This is, in case you're unaware, it is the last stream event of mine. Forever. Uh, I am retiring after today. After 10 years of content. Oh, not after today. After this weekend. Because I'll be streaming tomorrow and Sunday. After 10 years of content creation... It is certainly going to be an a, a, a emotional moment towards the end, but uh, it is time to close the book on this chapter of my life and face some other challenges that we have coming up. So, uh, are, are, are you cutting all streams out now? Because you had said before it was just scheduled streams. I did say that, but I've decided to make it more of a final retirement of saying this is going to be the end. What if, what if, like, I want you to, to race me in Duck and Oh, if, if we like, do, uh, I mean, I mean, is there really a point to race? Because I'll probably just win, but, I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't even know if there would be a, a point to it. But, I mean, yeah, maybe we could do a one-off sometime, but nothing, certainly nothing, uh, you know, to, to the level of me putting on a solo event. Sure. Uh, but, like, if, yeah, I could be, like, a guest in your stream, sure, that could certainly happen still. Um. But I will not be streaming I, anymore. I'm not anymore. saying this will be like like trying to drag you in forever, not like anything like that. It's just I know. Yeah, want, one off. Thing, don't, don't want to close all the doors. Yeah, no, 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 like no, no. I, And I'll still be around in the Discord server and stuff, and on social media. So you can still feel free to, to stop at a Discord server and check it out. You know, if you want to chat. Anyway, is there a secret up here? I'm pretty sure there is. Oh, I don't want to like waste. Pro it's called progress. <laughs> uh, I don't want to waste a bunch of time and look for it. I think it might be right there, though. I'm pretty sure there is a secret up there. See, that's the thing. I can't remember what I had for breakfast, but I can remember all the secrets in this GameCube game. There's a star piece up there. It's up there. It's all the way up there. That's not really that hard to get to. I can just walk to it. Ugh. Don't want to fall. You saw my business card from that time we met at PAX? That's so funny, Kirk. That's so funny. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, yeah, we got to get the maze game, too, Electric Boogaloo. Well, no, I, I, it, this, this, technically, the maze game remaster is already the maze game, too. Uh, this would have to be the maze game 3D, right? Right? I'm not, I mean, I'm not making any 3D art for you, so... <laughs> ah. Sticky Scarab said, did go ahead and check the Thousand Year Door, uh, the Super Mario Sunshine stream. Did not get it first try, but got it second try. I mean, that's still got to be pretty impressive. Second try. Is there a secret down there? Yeah, okay. Yeah, there, there is. There is. I remember that. The thing I could have done, though, is you could actually hold Koops up there and, and raise the block again to not have yeah, to walk speed, all the way around. Yeah, you didn't do speedrun strats. No, speedrun strats. Sorry. I am still a math teacher. I'm teaching math and computer science. So I teach four math classes and one AP computer science class currently. I feel like that's going to be my schedule for the foreseeable future. So it's pretty fun. I, not pretty fun. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. But, like, it's, it's fun to have a job. And, and this is something that, you know, I, I don't take for granted. And something I've worked very hard to achieve and something I, I am imploring a lot of other people to do is to really work for a job that you enjoy going to. Granted, would I rather sleep till 10 o'clock every day and play video games? Sure. <laughs> but uh, as far as work goes, it's something that's that's really enjoyable. So, you know, that's why you work hard, so you can get a job that you like. You could just be a night teacher. That way you or, can sleep, have both. Have your cake and eat it, too. <laughs> that is true. I could have been a night teacher. That is true. Can I get through the thing? Thank you. Yeah, there is a thousand-year tour randomized. There's a randomized for everything, is there not? Don't don't say that because not quite. <laughs> not quite. Why not? It it's one of Slim's pet peeves of um, that every not everything has a randomizer. 
Wait, you like... mean to tell me? You mean to tell me that Slim will get aggravated if I claim that everything has a randomizer? Is that what you're telling yeah. me right now? Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. We're pretty close to the end, I think, right? Of this. Oh, you dare say that? Is this like one of the last? This is one of the last rooms, right? Uh, yeah. Well, you're, uh, mm, I, uh, it's, it's been forever. I, I know you have to climb up a tower, so once yeah, you're climbing up this, the tower, right? this is the tower. I think you have one more to go. I thought, or well, maybe not. Uh. Man, if I hit that action command on the Koopa, that actually would have been a one kill. But we could just end it right there with our seventh super guard. Let's go. Uh, so you're not gonna put the cricket badge on, right? I gotta put the who badge? The the cricket, or I guess it's not cricket. It's the cur. Oh, I hit, I hit <laughs> HP by accident. No, I hit HP by accident. Mega. Mega. HP's good. It's all no. I didn't want more health. I don't need more health. I want badges. No, I was ready to put on badges. Bad. This is all your fault, Mega. Everything is your fault. Do you have? You don't have enough badge points now, do you? Ah. Oh, I gotta go a lot of BP now. I got. I'm gonna be a tanky build. I'm not gonna have to invest in HP for a long time. I um. I never really liked the badges in this game. Like, oh, I'm I totally in minority. Oh, I feel like they're not that good. Most of them are garbage. I feel like... Oh, Koop just flipped over. Oh, God. I feel like late game, the badges get really useful. Early game, not so much. But when you start stacking, like, defense pluses and power pluses, it's like... It's pretty awesome. Uh, lo yeah, loading zone randomizers in general, I feel like, are for advanced players. Because any game where you need to have an understanding of what leads where, or, like, what entrances exist, I feel, uh, like, DK64, for example, is an entrance randomizer. Like, you, <laughs> if you don't know what, what, how, where all the entrances are, you're gonna be completely lost in that game. You have to at least, you have to know the game pretty well before trying to dive into a randomizer. Compared to, like, say, a Link to the Path randomizer, which I feel a little bit you have to know where like the chests are, but I feel like that one's probably one of the easier ones to get into. I know you you probably haven't played any randomizers. Uh, I have not. But... I have not. I've been interested in doing like a Mario World randomizer, but nothing quite like that. I know there's a Super Mario Bros. 3 randomizer that. Yeah, that's that all one, sorts of yeah. things. Yeah, we are we are going with it's Grim Angel said it best. We're going heavy roll right now. If you play Dark Souls, we're heavy rolling in Dark Souls. 25 HP. I definitely don't need that much health. Uh, but speaking of badges, let's see what else what we got. Actually, don't need that. We'll put on. Uh, don't put, don't on put on the last stand HP plus. Just keep don't getting put on the side. Take bulkier. off the side effect badge. We're getting bulkier. <laughs> we'll go with last last stand P that dropped from an enemy. We'll go with that one. They got the sound effect badge, you coward. <laughs> I didn't put on the sound effect badge. It was highlighted, wasn't it? No. We're going no cricket. Good. <laughs> Although I would have liked to have... Where's the badge? I would have liked to have more FP to do it, but whatever. It'll be fine. Look at that. No cricket. All right. Anyway, cricketless percent. Whoa. So why is it? Oh, I guess because it. Okay, get you can still put it on. I get why. I was getting confused because all the other ones were grayed out, but that's because it costs zero F. Or get like out of here. Points, ah, so. Yeah, it's cost zero. Actually. All right. Bad uh, uh, <laughs> oh, speaking of bugs, uh, did you see? And uh, apparently, uh, well, I'm going to say two things, but apparently there's a game that just came out this weekend. Uh, that's, I think, like, I'm gonna get the name wrong. It's a, it's like Bug Fables or something. It's, it's a very much a TTYD experience, uh, TTYD, uh, not experience. What's the word? Um, inspired. Inspired. Inspired game. Uh, I don't know how good it is, but the only thing I wanted to mention on that, on top of it, if maybe checking it out, is apparently the company that is publishing it is kind of notorious for screwing people out of money so maybe not buy it right away because <laughs> the guy the even the developers like pirate this game like i'm not gonna get any money from it apparently look, look it up for yourself like don't take my word for it i only like glanced at it like really quick uh so i could be completely wrong but uh it could be someone like making shit up too 
Um, hey, do you think this is the boss, by the way? I think it's the nah. boss area. Nah. 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 This is just this is just the the snack bar. <laughs> the snack bar. That's good. Snack bar. All right. Uh, Kirk says, "What do I plan to do? <laughs> have I got HP like three times? In my life? Yes, I have. I'm not going to take HP for a long time now, actually, in my level ups. Hopefully, I don't accidentally click on it again." Uh, Kirk says, what do I plan to do after the stream? What's the next move of my life? Well, I did uh, announce it pre prior stream, so I'm sure I'll bring it up again now. Uh, I do plan on, actually, next month, uh, my girlfriend and I bought a house. We closed on a house. Or we're, we're going to be closing on a house. So we're going to be living together. We're, we got a lot of renovation projects to do in that house. Not that it's really a fixer-upper, but it needs really all new paint and these new floors and new windows, stuff like that. So I'll be really busy on that. It needs landscaping. Um, I'll be really doing that, and then I've accepted more responsibilities in my job, specifically being uh, in district-wide leadership, so I can be, you know, involved to make more district-wide decisions for my school department or for the school district I'm in. And it's just really like, I don't know. It, it's there's a lot of exciting challenges that are coming coming up, and it's something that I want to be able to face, uh, and I'm excited to face. So unfortunately. That means that streaming does have to come to an end, but it's time. It, it's a decision that I've made on my own. It's like, it's been 10 years. I, I think it's as awesome as an experience it's been. It's time to move on to some bigger and better things. But speaking of bigger things, we have Hooktail. I just, I, I guess I didn't remember. He's, he, uh, well, is it he or she? I can't remember. She. Hooktail's a she, isn't it? Okay, that's right. Um, is this, is Bluetail also female? I think they all are. They're all female. Well, I mean, Bone Tail's dead. Bone Tail's so. dead, but I think they all are. Um, Hooktail mentioned a strange garbed one. Is that supposed to be uh, Crump or like who's that? You, you didn't read the dialogue. Did I didn't you? read the dialogue. I think it's Rotus. <laughs> she she said you you must be friends with that strange uh, garbed one who came earlier. I think it's Rotus or or Crump. It's one of the two. Okay. I just got hit with a light and it made me dizzy. Are you kidding me? Well, technically, Coops is dizzy, not you. Oh, what the heck? Okay, Gloomtail. I thought I knew one of them was male. Or I thought one of them was Well, the lucky, the good thing is I'll be able to tank all of these hits because I have a bazillion HP. Yeah, I complained about HP and it's actually saving your ass. <laughs> That's true. What is uh, Hooktail's actual health? I don't remember. Uh, a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Or it's like 20, right? Isn't it, isn't it a ton? 40 is not that much. No, 20. 40? How? 20 is not that much HP, I Yeah, feel. but early game when you really can't do that much damage. Maybe. Maybe it's just, like, I guess my thing is, uh, yeah, it feels like it was a lot It more. feels like it's a lot. Oh, yeah, she has she has a healing move, too. She recovers halfway through. Oh, okay, through. that makes sense. Do you remember that? Yeah, she, well, I'm not going to spoil Spoilers! Her. You're gonna see it in like two seconds. <laughs> well, don't spoil it two seconds ahead of time. Oh, I hit the stupid thing. Look at all the Mario hearts! No! Ah, rats. I got a little bit of health back. Yeah, I mean, she's very easy if you equip the badge, but that's because that's why you don't want to do that. If you're... I guess there's no real benefit, though, right? Like, it's not like you earn more experience if you don't. No, this, this is just arbitrarily just... making it harder. It's just great gamer cred. It's gamer cred right now. We're going cricketless percent. There we go. Getting all the stylish moves. Hooktail's the youngest, right? Yeah. How? It would be. You know, it would be great if I could land an action command. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Now, you haven't played uh, the other Paper Mario games, right? I have not. Like, you, or you haven't played... Um... Neat! <laughs> Guess what <laughs> we're going to do! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, game! Lucky. Lucky! <laughs> um, specifically, I mean uh, Sticker Star and Color Splash. Obviously, you played Super Paper Mario in the original. Yes. I played, I played a little bit of Sticker Star. It was, I, and by a little bit, I mean I stopped because it was trash. Sticker Star is not good. A color splash I've heard isn't. I, I'm cur I've been curious <sighs> to buy it, especially because you can probably get it cheap now. That's bad. Oh, a thousand coins! Do, Mega, a thousand coins. Do it. Do it. I think I would actually die. You, I you, I think you, no, I'm pretty sure you literally die. I think you literally opinion. die. Keep your coins, fiend. 
Or you like get a well hang on, let's see. Just no, no. You saved, you saved. No. Coward. <laughs> a rare badge, sir. Keep it, you cad! I shall not succumb to the material possessions. She bites you for five Oh, that's not a big deal. Do it. I suppose I should Do apologize it. to let you smell the bottoms of my feet. Do it! <laughs> Uh, I mean, maybe just a quick sniff. I mean, I mean, I mean, maybe, may, I, I, I mean, ah, I mean, I mean. smell her feet. Oh, that's, a, that's a small little sniff, right? If I just, if I just went on over there and just a little, little sniff, sniff, you know? Do it. Do it. Maybe just a quick sniff. Ow. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. It's only five damage. I'm almost dead. <laughs> Challenge run. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh God, I'm gonna die. Um. Uh. Ugh. Mystery. Oh, I love Goombat. I'll do that. I think this calls for... What, 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 can the mystery be damaging to you at all? Yes, it can. Oh, yes, it can. I think this calls for a mystery. I do like that. I don't think enough battles take uh, good uh, use of the the stage. Because I like that this one take, gets, goes hey, off Hey, I mean, I guess. <laughs> Vulture room. I'm Goombella. I don't know if that'll really help. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh my god! Sm ah, smell her feet cricketless percent, baby! <laughs> smell her feet cricketless. It's happening. The power happening. of feet compels you. The power of feet compels you. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I kind of agree with Grim. Like, I I understand like it works well enough, but like just using Toads for Color Splash is so <laughs> yeah, it's boring. Weird. It's so boring. They're not even I unique Toads. They're just recolored Toads. Why aren't you using Coops though? Coops is better than Goopa. I'm gonna switch right now. Everyone's gonna yell at me and say no Goombella is a good partner. Oh, I don't I'm like Goombella. I don't think she's that good. God, nobody can afford anything. Uh ugh. You're gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I think we're actually fine. Let's go! Cricket list smelling feet percent! It's done. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we rise up to the occasion. Get a little G lucky with a close call. And an audience provided ice shard. But hey, I'll take it. Ice storm. Cricketless feet percent. Can we get some hype in the chat for a cricketless feet percent battle? I don't think it's a thing. I don't think, it's like, a you thing. don't see. It is now a you thing. Don't, you don't see speedrunners going, like, all right, I'm going to play this game cricketless feet. We're doing it. Put it on Speed Demos Archive. It's now going to be a new. <laughs> New uh, category for speedrun. Cricket list foot percent. Hmm, do I want to do 100%, any percent, or cricket list feet percent? Cricket list feet percent. It's happening. Put it on there. That's how it's done. Oh, no, the emotional moment right at the end. You're coops. Hey, son, you gotten so big since I saw you last. Aww. I like I said, your coops as like, why don't you say my son, not your coops? <laughs> uh, well, I, uh, you can't assume these days. It could be a lot of background family history, Mega. You don't know. About. I mean, I mean to be fair, all Koopas look the same, so I guess he could have just put on his hoodie and pretended to be coops. That's true. Grim just said, "Can we talk about how that messed up level up actually saved me?" <laughs> I mean, yeah, you would have died if you had. I mean, maybe. I also love this. He's like, Crystal Star? <laughs> you mean like this? SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Bunch> <laughs> uh, excellent. Oh, yeah. You got Mega. 
Got Mega, the first Crystal Star. It's Mega! Fun fact about Crystal Star Studios. Uh, oh, yeah. Was not I already originally know gonna, what was going to... Well, what was I going to say? It didn't tell me where it's going to go. The name? No, I was actually... Yeah, okay, yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was originally not going to be it. I think I, I think I was the one that proposed Power Star Studios originally, and then I think it was you who said, we're it not was, going with that. It was Power Star in, Productions. Okay, Power Star Pro Productions. Right, right, because of PS... Yeah, it wouldn't be. Yeah, so it's Power Star Produ Productions, and you said we're not going to do that because it would be PSP. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go with the acronym PSP. Do you want to be associated in any way with the PSP? That Hell so, no. But that was, Hell like, like no. looking back now, I mean, like, that is a very dated. <laughs> it, it, would, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Much less good. Much less good. Hey, it's Mr. J. Good to see you. Oh, yes, we get the uh, Grota scenes and tech. This is cool, I think. Like, this is certainly way more fleshed out than it was in the original. Uh, but the whole tech thing is kind of weird. Am I back? Yeah. Okay, my audio died for a second. Oh, all right. Now I heard you. Uh, I said you want to be associated with cascading style sheets, is what I said. Well, that's. I think that's way better than being associated with PlayStation Portable. Probably. Cascade style sheets are fun. Hot take. I don't like the x -Mons. <laughs> Mega? I, what? I Mega, don't like you, you can leave. <laughs> I don't like sci-fi that much. They're so like, cute. Well, the, okay, the regular x knots are fine. But, like, I don't, as villains, like, like Grotus is just not interesting. Yeah, but like, that's the point. Like, design-wise. Design-wise. I think he's fine. I think the he's, he's like he is the like stereotypical like super villain, and I think what's funny is that really his plans all get foiled due to like dumb shenanigans in the end. But like he's just like this super villain scientist. I like him a lot, and Lord Crump is amazing. I I mean I the thing and this is coming from someone who likes who like Doctor Who, so I'm probably a hypocrite a little bit. But also I don't like Doctor Who for the spacey stuff, like. You know, I like Star Wars, but, like, Star Wars is more fantasy. Like, I like the fantasy elements. But, like, when you look at, like, a lot of, you know, everyone talks about Nintendo franchises. And they talk about, like, I think that's why one of the reasons why I don't like T2 ID as much. Because it's a lot more sci-fi in some of its locations. I that is true. Of. That is true. And that definitely it, that, more it, of that aesthetic. I sleep on that I mean, so you go hard. to the moon. Spoilers. Go to the moon. Spoilers. You, well, you go to the moon in every game, apparently, because you went to the moon <laughs> in uh, Skies of Arcadia, too. Every game. Yes, <laughs> every you do. Game. That actually happens. Skies of Arcadia, you go to the moon. Final Fantasy uh, 4, to the moon. Mario Ga Mario Odyssey, to the moon. Do you? Yes. Do you go to a moon? Do you go to the moon? I don't know. That's the same argument. Of, <laughs> it's not a room. It's the room. <laughs> but, um... Anyway, like, Star Fox, everyone's going to hate <laughs> me for this. I Star love Fox it. and Metroid, my least favorite franchises in Nintendo, because they're just, I don't like, the, I don't like the sci-fi. I don't like the space. Space is boring. Space. I feel like space is overused. It's not boring. It's it's used too much. It is. But, but like, here's the thing. Dragons oh, and... Hold on. And... Hold on. No. Gotta let everybody get excited. No. No. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. The game's doing all the talking for me. Let, let me let me say for, for Graham with the whole sci-fi thing, I, there are sci-fi things I like. Like it's not, it just you have to work harder to to win me over. Like if I'm looking through a list of things, I'm gonna pass over the sci-fi stuff initially unless there's more to it than than just generic sci-fi. I don't like F Zero uh, that much either, but I, I mean, I guess here's the thing: is like medieval's overdone too. But medieval, I don't know, appeals to me more, despite being overdone. Yeah, I'll see. Well, that's why I'm shocked you've never gotten into Skyrim. Like, I feel like you would love it when you actually start to get past the character select screen. Yeah, but Skyrim is also realistic. Also, this character select screen is the hardest part. But the, the realism, creation. Come on. realism also kills me, too. But, like, I'm a weirdo when it comes to that. You know, this I know is I'm true. a minority. I guess a weirdo. But, Let it be known. Um, Metroid 
uh, to be fair, Metroid, the 2D Metroids are fine gameplay wise. Like super, like I'm not saying Super Metroid is a bad game. I, Metroid Prime is super boring, but also the bigger thing isn't just because it's sci-fi. Uh, it also is first-person shooter, and I do not like first-person shooters. I so disagree. I think and, Metroid Prime 1 and 2 are so good. 3 is also good, but not quite on the same level as 1 and 2. Well, see, that's the thing. You talk about that. I, I played first Metroid Prime 3, and I got to the Ridley fight, and I'm like, this is just not fun. And I stopped. Well, and I, well, I, I returned it for something else. I will I tell I you that the first part of Metroid Prime 3, honestly feels like halo and i'm i'm almost sure that that was an intentional decision because the wii was much more of a casual audience console like even though you could say it certainly had a lot of excellent hardcore games and it did 100 percent, but it definitely appealed to a wider variety so i think when they were making it they were like hey you know what's really popular halo so I, we should make the opening of this game more like halo we gotta draw the people in and I think that a lot. Like, when you see a lot of the Wii stuff, a lot of, like, the motion mechanics were just thrown in there. But that's because it was the hot, hip thing at the time, you know? So, but I, I, it's weird. I don't think it, like, everyone always will say, uh, like, Donkey Kong, for example. They're like, oh, why do they have motion for the rolling? I, I think it, was, I think it works. Like, I, I, I mean, you know me. I'm the biggest proponent of motion control. I think, I think motion control in games is typically usually makes the game better. Uh, that, that said, there is definitely Wii games that, like you said, only add it in there just to add it in there. But I think saying that it's people who are, like, saying, why can't you just map this to a button? I'm like, but, like, the motion works. It allows you to, to free up having to press more buttons when you can just also, like, do more motion at, uh, do more controls at once. You can just move and then just quickly shake. Oh, yeah. Like, the motion is great. Having motion in games is fine. Like in Mario Odyssey, or Mar not Mario Odyssey, Mario Galaxy, when you shook to do the spin, it was great to have that on a waggle versus on a button because yeah, exactly. it was so natural. But, but stuff like when you talk about like Metroid Prime 3, where it was like pull the fuel cell from the th I was like, do I really need to do that? Yeah, I, stuff like that. The, the, I'll, I'll the whip you. was cool, or not the whip, the, uh, the whatever, the lasso, I think it was called. Whatever it was, actually was. The, anyway, the best comparison was, to like Skyward Sword. I think has really good motion controls, but it does have some moments like that that are a little bit. And I think the best comparison is like when you watch movies in in 3D in the theater, and you can tell they're like, "Hey, look, this is 3D. Yeah. This scene is." Yeah. <laughs> also, I love this. Here he is, the King of Koopas himself. Um, those 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 aspects in games with motion where they're like, "Look, it's motion. Look, we have motion." Like I do understand that. Not yeah. Being, oh yeah. Yeah. I think that's kind of died oh, down. Oh, by the though. way, like, I love that in this little di in this little scene, you can actually talk to all these things, and they have unique dialogue. So, like, if you actually, all you have to do is walk to the end of the hallway. But if you actually talk to them, there's some pretty funny dialogue. So, um, I I never get this too. Uh, like, what's your opinion on this? Apparently, people don't talk to NPCs because there was a big complaint. This is. Uh, not huge spoilers, but there's a big thing about Pokemon how, oh, one of the... It's kind of dumb, but you, you have to get something by talking to an NPC. Yes. And I never get the whole thing of... Who doesn't talk to every NPC? Why would well, you ignore... Well, a lot of people, because it's boring. Why? No, it's the be it's best part of... It's boring. No, it's not. I feel like it was Mr. made to be boring, because a lot of Mr. NPCs in a lot of games are are unfortunately bland. But in a great game, the NPCs are very interesting, and you want to talk to them. This is the guy who skips all the dialogue when he streams. <laughs> what? I, what? You're skipping the dialogue right now. <laughs> anyway, I love fried eggs. That's what I just that's what he said on there. A picnic? This is no time for fun. This is why my evil plans always derail, because you clods always goof off. Man, you can read way faster than I can. Hmm, what's that? Mumble, mumble, mumble. Hush, hush, hush. Terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogue Four. Sorry, I got to get on this because what, where, when? Who would do such a thing besides me? I, I love Bowser in this game, though, I have to say. I yeah, love that got, his motivation got, is like literally no one kidnaps Peach but me. That's his motivation. It's like, you can't uh, kidnap Peach. I kidnap Peach. 
You, you're not doing voice acting, though. No, you it's not. Do, no, no. You gotta do voice acting. Do I? Do I have to? Yeah. Do I? Really? I'll, I'll be cammy if you want. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, it's Mr. J said, by the way. Oh, uh, Grim Angel first said, arguing motion controls on Twilight Princess versus Skyward Sword. I feel like that's a, a different discussion because Skyward Sword was so built around mo the Wii Motion Plus. Well, I think that's I think that's what he's saying though is like the whole adding in motion just to add it. Oh in yeah, yeah, versus true, true, making true. it. A, okay, I can yeah. give it that. I can give it that. Um, rolling in Donkey Kong Country Returns was fine, even though you had to waggle the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> blowing was useless though. The I mean, blowing was kind of. I feel like the blowing was they were planning on using a microphone and they just I think there so wasn't. Too. Yeah. Static Ape said, "Hey, have you played Risk of Rain 2? I have not. I have not. I've never even heard of it, but I'll check it out." All right, Coops, my lad. Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? That's right. Going Mario. Problem is, I can't read the dialogue because, like, you're way ahead of me. You really want to do voice weird. You're on low voice. latency. You're on low latency, though, right? I am, yeah. But, like, I'm, like, at least five seconds behind. Yeah, I mean, that's not that far, but, yeah. No, but but for reading dialogue, it, oh, it's slim, not slim. See, why you got to go there, Slim? It's weird. <laughs> Uh, who plays the static game, Ape, I think. Ape says, always talk to NPCs at the beginning, but if it takes too long or the NPCs are uninteresting, then you don't do it later. And yeah, I feel like that does happen. See, I, I don't know. I always talk to every NPC in the game. Like, to me, it's it's just baffling. Why would you not? Like, even if they're boring, like, you never know. <laughs> I guess, but I don't know. Oh, we got to get a badge here while we're here. Um, oh. it's... Which Zelda game are we bashing? Twilight Princess. Did not age well. I agree with you, although I still love it. I remember when Twilight Princess came out. First of all, the hype of Twilight Princess was huge. Do you remember how, like, everybody, like, like Twilight Princess was, like, the big game. Like, people were in tears. It was like, oh, my God, this is going to be the mo best thing ever. And I remember playing it, and it was fantastic. But I think a big thing that captivated me about Twilight Princess was the scope of the overworld. And I was like, wow, like the Hyrule Field's so huge and like I can There's explore nothing. all this space. But now, like it, it seems so tiny now. But like back then it was like really Oh that listen to the classic sound effects too. There's nothing in Hyrule Field though. <laughs> yeah, but I know that now, but like back then it was like, wow, this is so cool. And it was cool. Uh, it, you know, it was massive and it was like this big explorable space. And now it's just not that at all. Like it seems so tiny now that you have games like Minecraft and Skyrim and Red Dead and uh, Fallout, not Fallout 76 though, because that's terrible. And Breath of the Wild, like now the overworld seems so small, and I think it loses a lot of it of what made it such a desirable experience. The the thing I'll say, uh, Grim mentioned that Wind Waker aged amazingly. I think Wind Waker is a weird game for me because. I don't think it's no longer it's no longer in my top five Zeldas. Maybe not even. Oh, well, maybe top oh, ten, oh boy, ready. we got a hot take on our hands. Wind Waker I, not I, in the top five Zeldas. This, this isn't even a hot take. I, the thing about Wind Waker and it's 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 praising certain aspects of Wind Waker because everyone agrees Wind Waker is good. But here's the thing: is Wind Waker is good for its uh, personality and for the characters and stuff like that because when you really break it down. Wind Waker has some of the worst dungeons in the series. That Wind is Waker true. Has some of the worst bosses in the series. Uh, a lot of Wind Waker is a slog to play through because there's a lot of sailing and stuff like that. Like when you break down all the gameplay aspects, like you would think it'd be a horrible game, and despite all of that, it is still has so much charm to it. And, and I think I'm not saying it's a bad game by any means, but it really sells how much the charm of the game is because the thing with uh, Twilight Princess, Twilight Princess has way better dungeons, way better bosses. Uh, some of the items are better too, but it's just kind of boring. <laughs> the problem is I think a lot of the character, the character designs, first of all, did not age well. And second yeah. of all, it's a lot of them are just kind of bland. Like, I feel like they had the opportunity to really make that. I forget what the team of characters that you team up with towards the end yeah it's like the four amazing. characters i yeah. thought that i always call them like the league of shadows but i don't actually know what they're called that's just from batman but like i don't know what they're actually called but you they're team like up the with the hyrule liberation the hyrule liberation something. whatever this and that and i feel like those characters you had the opportunity to make four or three memorable characters and they're just so forgettable 
so Oh, the final boss is way better for him. I will fully give you that. The final boss of Wind Waker is, is really good. Yeah, the final not, boss. Not so much for as a boss, but like as a, a thematic. Yeah, Thematically, yeah. it's very yeah. good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Twilight Princess could have... Twilight like, Princess Twilight. isn't bad, but it could have been amazing. And it really tells you, like, Wind Waker has just got so much charm. Now, now as a, as a game itself, I really can't. Uh, say it's the best Zelda game because it's just it it doesn't have you know it's charming but like a lot of its dungeons are like just uh, <laughs> they're just okay. By the way, summer fourteen oh one coming on by. Good to see uh, I don't. I've lost count of how. Hey, I've hey now, games. hey now. <laughs> Come on, it's not all that bad. Is it really that bad of an opinion to say that? Uh, what's one of my more outlandish opinions? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Oh, that Mario 64 is a great game. It is a no, great it's game. Not. It's not. Mega said it's not. How do you say? No. Here's, this is, here's my look, thing. We have. Okay. We, look, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone. Everyone. Audience members. <laughs> Mario 64 is a great game. How could you say it's not a great game? Has it aged not. wonderfully? No, let, let but it's me make my case. still very playable. All right, go ahead. Make your case. What do you got? You have students, correct? I do. How old are your students? They are 17-ish. So they would, have been born, they would have been born in what? Like, I, you, you're the math professor. I, I can, too. Like, okay, 10, 9. So it have been about, like, 2002, 2003, right? So, yeah. So by the time they played games, they would have been, like, Galaxy would have been out. Right. Yes, the time. Yeah. Yeah. They okay. grew up on the Wii. This generation. If, if you gave them, if you, if they had never played Super Mario 64 before, and you gave it to them today to play, like as is, you think anybody's gonna say this is a great game? Playing it today. I think they is. would. Uh, uh, they'd probably be like, it looks ugly. Uh, but I think that they would appreciate, like. If, if they figured out the background of it, they would appreciate the history of it. Yeah, but see, that's, that's, exactly, the that's exactly the point, though. If they knew the background of it. Like, I'm not saying it's not an important game. That is not... I'm, I can't even I know, debate I know. that. But it, it just does not age well. And the people who still like it are those who grew up with it. Which, I mean, makes sense. But right, right, right. I can see it. I think... But it, I it, think, it, like, there's no denying how awesome it is. Oh, by the way, the, it's Luigi's here. The, the, the Luigi... Oh, you mean? Oh, I think you meant in chat. I no, a Luigi. Uh, want to give a shout out in chat, by the way, to uh, who just came in? Somebody just came in that I saw. Oh, maybe it was just summer. Eh, summer. Summer's gonna get another mention then. <laughs> eh, whatever. It's just summer. Anyway, I love Luigi's quest right here. Uh, yeah. Well, here we need a story. game about Luigi. We do. No, I mean, really long uh, story. Here goes. Not, we have <laughs> we have a Luigi game, but. Left line is you. Um, I'm gonna read all Luigi's dialogue. Hold on. I was cooking a snack is at home when another letter arrived. Oh, the Toon Toon with a chair. Hundred bits. Thank. Hundred bits. Thanks for all the good times. I appreciate that. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh? This is what the letter said. Sir, is my name is Crep. A uh, crepe. I am a cabinet minister in the far off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King, who took out our Princess Eclair. I ask, nay, beg for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your res proper response, sir. Sincerely, Crepe. I don't remember it exactly, but something like that. Mario, that's you, bro. Gone. Fell. It had to be left to me to answer the plea. It is a long, 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 long story. Very interesting how it has a lot of parallels to this game. The best part about this is that you can buy his novelization of his journey yes, you can. later on. <laughs> you can. That is awesome. I have a little secret here. I think there's no uh, star piece back here or anything. Oh, there is. Ha! Ha ha! Look who's remembering things. Look who's remembering things. We'll be back. I love it. Roveport is so much better than... It's so uh, much better. That's the one thing I'll fully say. Um, but, but no, I was going to say, the first 3D Mario oh, game, okay. I think, that has actually aged well. Like, if someone was to play it today and not... Like, Galaxy is easily the first one to, to age actually well for, yes. uh, for 3D Mario games. Uh, we are going to level up Goombel or Coops. Who do you say? Uh, Coops, because Goombella sucks. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, Can't that's my opinion. That. I know I'm apparently I'm wrong because I've had people tell me Goombella's is a Goombella's really good fine. Partner. Goombella's fine, but not that great. Uh, Kirby's like, Smash asks, have you been watching The Mandalorian? I did not yet, but I will. 
I will. It's on my list of things to do once I finish the Wargroove campaign. That's the next priority now. After this weekend, it's finish the Wargroove campaign. Then Dude, it's... You have, you have a huge list. You have a huge list. I know. You got you got to finish Martin Rabbids. I you gotta. Know. You gotta. Uh, what else? Uh, Celeste, you gotta finish. You gotta watch. Uh, I don't know what else. What, what, uh, Frozen Two. <laughs> yes, Are you actually yes. gonna watch Frozen Two? Oh, am I gonna watch Frozen Two? Yes. Why would I not? On stream. On stream. Oh no, not on stream. <laughs> I don't. Oh, it's last now. DLC. I don't. I don't like me? last DLC because it's it's it's. I, what's your take on this? Because this is kind of a. I don't know how you feel about this. How do you feel about DLC to games now. like and Hollow Knight does this as well, uh, that are released primarily for only the uh, the, the the pro gamer minority. They're like really. I don't know. I feel I feel mixed on it because sometimes. Oh, I missed an action command. I think it's cool that, like, those options exist in games like that and challenging things are made. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, not having a DLC be super accessible, I can see why that would be a turnoff to a lot of people. But it is and DLC. Talking... It's extra. It's not, like, required part of the game. Well, and that's why it, the, the fact that it's DLC is why it kind of turns me off more. Because if it was in the game as its own thing, that's one thing. But like like for Hollow Knight, for God Godmaster yep. DLC, right? It's yep. it's very much for a minority of people who love the boss battles and love the like really diff hard difficulty of the game. And like if you're being hyped up of, of you loved Hollow Knight and they're like, hey, we're having, coming out with this DLC package and it comes out and it's like not at all enjoyable for you, it kind of sucks more than if it was already in the game to begin with, you know what I mean? Same thing with with the Celeste DLC. Oh, there's this new chapter that kind of wraps up the story, but you have to be like the god of gaming to be able to play it. <laughs> yes, it, it, true. It kinda, yeah, it kind of bur it kind of burns you a little bit more. And 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 that's like I'm not saying I'm bad at games, but like anyone that can beat Celeste oh, all these troubles. final chapter is like <laughs> props it's it's rough it, I, like i could oh, do no, it no, but no. it would take forever yeah i know i hear you uh garf's key where's his key is it back here it does but i think it's up at the top i think you can probably use it for you can use it for the final chapter as well like you can do the accessibility features but like i guess i'm stubborn in that i just like, I, I like that it's there for people who need it, but for me, I, I would just feel wrong using it, like, to, to make the game easier. Which, 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 but, and I guess my thing, too, is if you're playing the final chapter just to experience the story, just watch it on YouTube if you're going to use the accessibility features, I feel. You know what I mean? Like, there's something in there later. We'll be back in this area later. I'm not saying people who need the accessibility features are wrong by any means at all um but i'm just saying for me personally uh, i'd rather not play it versus playing it but like on a h easier mode uh by the way uh zdk zade k19 asks why am i retiring from switch just or why am i retiring from twitch not why are you retiring oh from switch? believe me i'm still gonna play the switch because we have the greatest game coming your way animal crossing uh, because of their other life commitments that are drawing my attention right now. Namely, getting a house. Growing up, adult things. It's weird. It's weird, you know? When I talk about the fact that, like, I'm going to be moving into a house. Like, how crazy is that? I'm going to be thinking of, like, like, I'm taking out a leadership role in my school district. Like, people think my opinion has some form of merit. Like, geez, why? I don't know why. You, but You've got to have a garden. Oh, we d I definitely will have a garden. What, what are you going to put in the garden, though? You're uh, put, everything. Like, good good vegetables. Well, like, not everything. Every like, what, literally what, everything. Well, like, name some vegetables that you like. Uh, uh, I'm definitely going to grow tomatoes. Definitely growing tomatoes. Definitely growing basil. Definitely onions. growing... I don't know if I'll grow onions. Like, why, why do I have to grow onions? Because onions are good. They are good. I agree. Where's Garth? Uh, I don't remember. I didn't Where read the Garth? dialogue. I think he's in the back. I didn't read the dialogue. See, this is what I've said. You skipped the he's dialogue. The hey, thanks for on the uh, Fort Alliance, Ben. Is he back here? He's dead. <laughs> he's not dead. I think it's this guy. I think he's a dog, isn't he? Oh, he's not that guy. Oh, is he a dog? He's the guard. 
He's either a guard or he's a dog. Oh yeah, he's the guy. He's the guy. Who's, he's the guy who's literally locked outside of his house. That's why we're finding his key. It all makes sense. It's almost as if there's like a little mini subplot. He's this guy like right the, here. I do like the trouble center, by the way. It's cool. Yeah, I have your key. Thanks. <laughs> he's the guy who's trying to get into his house. <laughs> that's right. It's the guy that's actually trying to get in. I think. Is there something in, actually in here? No. A house? Like... <laughs> Wait, is there like a star this? piece? I don't know. Not everyone has to have goodies in I'm their house. I'm just trying to raid everybody. That's a typical video if, game. If I, break into your, if I break into your house and I'm like, where's the star pieces? Like... <laughs> I don't know. Alright, we need to um, Anyway, you gotta grow. Green beans are good. Asparagus. Um... Yes, asparagus peppers, would be good. Onions. Peppers. Hot peppers. I want to grow hot peppers. For sure. Ghost, ghost peppers? No, uh, not ghost peppers, but definitely ghost peppers. Where's the guy that needs a delivery? I really should read the troubles. Yeah, next see. Next time I do them. <laughs> this is a lesson learned. I think I, I really got to read. If I'm going to do a trouble, I read it. It's this guy. Is it this guy? Yeah. He's a dog. Okay, take the package to Goofy. Fry him in front of Frank. He's not a dog. I'm not reading either, so I'm like a hypocrite. Right I really here. should read. I, I like if I'm gonna take a trouble, I should read what it is. That's but probably to be good. Fair, you're also like going a mile a minute on the. Here's the thing is, I was gonna say earlier when you said I'm gonna play this game like I normally play it, and I was gonna be like, you're skipping the text though, and I'm like, yeah, but SM does that. <laughs> That's what I do. That is how I normally play it. Is there any game where you like, like, I guess, well, this isn't a first playthrough, but do you normally read the text on a first playthrough? Oh, I do. Game? On a first playthrough, I definitely read the text of, of a lot of things. But see, I guess here's my thing is what's great about TTYD is the story a little bit. You know, what it I is. Mean? The so text is like, very good in this game. So, so when you replay, like, why, you know what I mean? Like, why would you not want to reread the text? It's like rereading a book. Well, I will, I like, as we get later on. In the beginning stuff, it's like, oh, yeah, there's a dragon, whatever. We got rid of him. Or got rid of her. Not big poor, deal. Poor Hooktail. Later on, it's like, oh, the stakes are a little higher. Like the Glitz Pit? Oh, we're going to get so into that. The mystery on the XS Express? So fun. But like Dragon, I'll whatever. I'll, I'll give you that. Little, Cricketless, yeah. footless, foot percent. Not footless. Feet percent. Foot, foot, foot loose. Foot loose percent. percent. R for shop. Price of Fire Flowers, Sleepy Sheep, and Tasty Tonics. Oh, I, I, I would be frustrated as hell watching you play uh, Swish and skipping all oh, the text. Oh, Sword of Shield. I would be so aggravated. Probably. Well, Summer, Summer no, I wouldn't do it the first time, though. What do I, I need? Know, I feel like Fire you Flower, I feel like... don't, get distracting me. Fire Flower, <laughs> Tasty Tonic, and a Sleepy Sheep, right? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, my gosh. Keep forgetting to grab that star piece. It, it, it was a uh, pow block. A... No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> A fire flower is ten, a tasty tonic is three, and a sleepy ship is eight. It was uh, a don't, don't, thingy don't do it. And <laughs> sir up. Where's, 42, the, where's the guy? Five, where's, where's, 80, he, where's he? One. Not this guy. Where's the actual guy? I think he's in, I think he's in the other screen. I think I'm pretty sure, maybe, I don't know. Ah. Uh. I want to say he's on the left God, side. Of my weakness, board. actually reading text and finding things. <laughs> I mean, I'm not helping you. <laughs> oh no. It's is he's a mouse, guy? right? He's a oh, mouse. No, it's not this guy. I think he's on the left side of the screen. I, I, I talked to the mouse. Wondering. On the left? No, 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 no. no. I mean, the left, the far oh, it's left. Oh, this guy. It's this guy. I found him. Uh, ten coins hey, for fire flowers. I'm really bad at remembering. Eight coins here. for sleepy sheep. <laughs> Three coins for Tasty Tonic. I got it. I got it. Why okay. are you doing these troubles again? Why? Because you have to get Miss Mouse later. You don't have to. You have to do the... I want to. But you, you have to do those here? troubles together. You weren't going to do the uh, Flavio glitch, though. No, I'm not doing the Flavio glitch. Yeah, so why do you need Miss Mouse? I didn't read the text again. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> what does the trouble say? What did this even say? He's Goomther. You're looking for Goomther. Where is Goomther? I don't know. He's I, a Goomba. I can't even see it again. No, he's Goomther. You gotta find Goomther's uh, guy. Well, look who's coming on in the chat, by the way. We got 
The Shots Rocks coming on by. We got Reed, the Nintendo Painter, coming on in. Hello, both of you. Good to see you. Thanks so much for stopping on by. The final stream. Is it this guy? No, that's Goomba. What? I'm not. I'm done with you. I don't. No. Well, no, I mean, you need to find. I think you need to find a guy for this Goomba. I think. I don't know. I didn't see the trouble either because you skipped it. <laughs> Where's Goomther? Oh, it's this guy, hiding somewhere in Rogue Corp. Bandits. I think. Is it the guy in the back? He's just behind. I think. Yeah. I think it's this guy. No, it's not you. It's not you. He's in the house, isn't he? Yeah, he's this guy. I'm pretty sure. He's in the in the cockroach house. Oh no, he's not in here. Oh, there's a star piece here though. It's not that one. Where's the actual? Because that's the guy you get the coins from back from. Where's the actual bandit? It's not you. He's not. Now you can do all these now, right? It's not like one of the ones where you need flurry, is it? Boom, sir. No, I, I think I can do all these now. Goomther. Must be a, a, a bob -omb. Oh, he's right here. Must <laughs> be. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Anyway, I don't need you anymore. I think that's it. I think I just had to find him. And then I think I, that's it. You've never seen another Shots Rocks. Yeah, no, it's the one and only. Is that it? Where'd he go? He, he, didn't he was right there. He's the Goomba. <laughs> wait, wait. Hold on. I got to actually read. Okay, so he, he ran away. So I got to find him again. There's Sorry, but now I think he's in the house, man. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Where is this guy? He's not this one. This is the other guy. This is not the same guy. You sure it's not It's not the same guy? I'm telling you. I just talked to him. You should, all bandits look the same. I just talked to him. <laughs> anyway, yes, I do play Turok. And if you haven't played the remastered version of Turok, you totally should. It's really good. Isn't it on, it's on the Switch, right? It is. Turok 2. Remastered version. Yeah. It's really good on Steam, too, on PC. Okay, so he was there. He ran away. He's now. I mean, he wouldn't be in the same spot. <laughs> I'm just saying, mate. You gotta come. That's where you would least expect him. Maybe he's the bandit that you can see right he's over not there. Not that bandit. <laughs> I talked to that bandit. I think he's in the back. How do you get back here? I don't know. How does anyone get back here, by the way? If you need the paper ability to get back here. No, he's not in here. Where'd he go? He went, he probably is on the other side of town. Can you get to the left side now? No, not yet. Is he in here? No, that that's, uh, no. what's his face's house? Ah, uh, where'd he go? Where did this bandit go? Turok is like uh, a dinosaur hunter. It's like a shooter, hunter. dinosaur hunter, yeah. Although Turok 2 specifically is hunting like robot dinosaurs. If you need it to be any cooler. Why are you fighting why? There's no real why, Mega. There just is. It just is. Maybe he's at the docks. Maybe he's at the That's where I'm going. Up. That's where I'm going. We haven't been back to the docks yet. Oh, there he is. I found you. He left again. He left. Mega, he left. Yeah, now he's now he's in the house. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it's Papatch. <laughs> Papatch. My favorite character. I love Papatch. Why do you like the patch? Because he's a cool pirate. He's a big purple bob pirate. Dude, like, shout out to those mouse people, by the way. They're like really weird. I like them. Yes, they're really cool. Now is he back here? Are you sure? Yes, he is. You're right. Yeah. I see. I, I, my brain definitely remembered he was back here. I just didn't remember when. Oh, I got him. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> Good stuff. So you do, in case you're wondering why I'm solving all these troubles, you do have to solve all the troubles in order to get the optional partner. Not all the troubles. All the troubles up to a certain point. 
Do you? I think it just pops up. I, don't I think, think you have, you have to, solve to solve them. I think I don't think you do. I'm doing them. Cause they're cool. Can we get confirmation on that? Like, get confirmation you... from the chat. Oh yeah, Mouse a Million wants to hit you, please. You might have to do the first one, but... Oh, you don't. You don't. It, just it, just, it just adds the list. Yeah, that's why I thought. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> you have to do the first... You have to do the first trouble. You, you might, I think you have you to do the first one to, like... I don't know. At least make it pop up or something. No, 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 Summer's definitely wrong. You, it only pops up till chapter four, in Chapter 4, so it's definitely not. You have to at least get to Chapter 4, and then it pops on the list, I'm pretty sure. I like that you just beat the crap out of this guy. You have to hit the power button. Good idea. What I love is that if he says he can remember and you hit him again, you have to do it over there again. I or love I the thought, maybe not. It's so funny. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong, but that would be really funny. He's so funny. Just keep hitting him. All right, I'll do a couple more, just to show off the trouble center. You know, gotta give the trouble center its due. It, I do like it. It adds more uh, variety to the oh, game. Oh, Kane, yo, please. Is there a mathematical equation for getting over the fields? That's very nice of you to say. I don't think there is. Bumberto. All right, I'll do this last one. Last one's gonna be for Bomberto. All for Bumberto. Uh, in any case. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... Max doesn't... Max doesn't fixate on mere emotions. Max. Nah, <laughs> did I say Max? You said Max? Oh, Max doesn't either, whoever that is. <laughs> whoever that is. F. Why are we getting Fs in chat? There will be probably times for Fs in chat later, but I didn't actually do it. I didn't mess up yet. Bomberto. Um, well, let's see. He's a bomb. <laughs> okay, I found him. <laughs> I gotta bring him something to eat. Do I have any items right now? I have a honey syrup. Oh, I have a mushroom. Here you go. Here you go. Have a mushroom. <laughs> Alright, that's the last one. Okay, cool. So you got a little trouble center action. Raise some money. I think the bad shop is open at this point, right? Is that correct? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, yes. I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm gonna go get some badges. And I think we get started with chapter two right away. Even though it is definitely the worst chapter in the game. I remember. Uh, yeah, it definitely is. After I, when I played this game for the first time as a kid, I first got stuck on Schwank Fortress until I. Oh yeah, miss. Uh, all these mice are here. Okay, we want... Uh, I first got stuck on Schwank Fortress, and then after that, I got stuck for such a long time on Chapter 2. Such a long time. Super Appeal, FP Drain, Happy Flower, Simplifier I don't need. I'll take Happy Flower. I don't need any of these. Super Appeal? Hey. Uh, spoilers, by the way, that's Miss Mouse. <laughs> is it spoilers? I don't think it is. Is it actually? It looks yeah, like. Yeah, what it. do you mean? What do you mean? Is it Miss Mouse? It has a heart shaped tail. It, Can you be pull? sure? It only yes. looks like the exact same character. <laughs> <laughs> well, except for she doesn't have high. Uh, I think she has different shoes usually. Oh, Charlatan. I forgot to buy stuff from him. Her mask. Oh, yeah, I could have bought an Ultra Shroom. Oh. I'd rather get the badges to equip with all of my three BP. I don't think I've ever used Miss Mouse before. Or in a, like, I've got her, but I don't think I've ever used her in battle. Oh, we could do this dialogue, too. Freeze! You two, not another step. Don't come this way. She's cool. I like her ability to steal uh, items and stuff. I remember farming that a lot later in the game. That, like, using her ability to steal badges from enemies and stuff. I was really confused for a second because you went from talking about taste tea or not taste tea, zest tea, to uh, uh, Miss Mouse. talking about Miss Mouse. I'm like, can you get zest tea on your team or something? Oh, zest tea. <laughs> I have to order her new contact lens. Well, I can't afford a new contact lens right now because I spent all my coins. Anyway, that's part. That's how you get into the west side. 
later anyway. We can't do that yet. I think you need to do it now though. If you don't, you'll have maybe not. I was no. You do it after chapter two because then it becomes available in the shop after chapter two. Speaking of which, well, chapter two. We're going for it. How long do you want me to stay here for, by the way? Mega, it is up to you. I, was, I had you scheduled till 7, but you can stay till however you want. I kind of want to bitch about Chapter 2. So. Perfect. How about 7.30? Does that sound good? So, well, you're going you're gonna to beat the chapter in a half hour? The whole chapter. Done. The whole chapter. Done. 7.30. 7.30 sounds fine. All right, cool. Um, Mark my words. Half hour speed run of Chapter 2. That would be crazy. Hey, here's the thing. When you do Chapter 2, do you get the... the the jabby or whatever it is the uh oh i have to talk to the shopkeeper right, do do you, you know what i'm talking about sorry i'll get i'll get Lucas. what is it sorry you know the little uh you know how you have the poonies right yeah yeah yeah. you know how you can get one of the jabbies or whatever yeah did you did you ever do that oh yeah that's right uh no uh, i don't think so i feel like you're obligated to because am like, i he's the, he's the only good character in that chapter I guess just that because is true. He, just because he's unique. That <laughs> he's is just true. Like, like I want to know this guy's backstory. Jabby. He betrays his whole tribe just to be because of his friend. Like that's interesting. That is true. Okay. Cool. SM is full of shit, and you can order the lens now. Yeah, I figured. Thank you. Was. Thank you. All right, I ordered it. I ordered it. <laughs> you have to wait. It's not in yet. Okay, I ordered it. Thank you. That actually saved me some time. I probably had to backtrack. Yeah, that's what I was that. trying to tell you earlier. You're like, no, Mega, you're just being silly. <laughs> well, I mean, that is true most of the time. Uh, well, I tweet out every now and again, or 100% out of everything. Uh, Kane, I'm still going to be in the Discord server. I'll still be on Twitter. I'll still be on social media. It's just no more streams and no more videos and stuff like that. Uh, gonna, but I will still be around. Gonna... The best way to contact me really is through the Discord server, though. If you want to go ahead and, and join. It's a great place to be. A lot of fun to hang out there. It's the 41 Alliance plus Mega Squad now. Discord server. Well, no. If you're retiring, then it's just going to be the Mega Squad plus SM. Well, we are taking over. I think it's about <laughs> time for Mega to go. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't do this yet. No, uh, it'll what be... What's that? You're cutting out. <laughs> uh, oh, what's that? You're, you're cutting... I can't hear you. Uh, oh, well, oh, it looks like we lost Mega. Uh, no, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe. We'll talk about it. I mean, I'm an admin. I could just change it. Hey, hey, hey now. I guess we could. We won't talk about that. I mean, I, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> um. The 41 Alliance. May be done this weekend as far as content creation, but will live on forever in our hearts. And I missed the action command because I was busy preaching. <laughs> I took my, I literally took my hand off the controller. And I was like, it will be in our hearts. It's like, Say oh wait, I have to defend. Prayer to the 41. Uh, anyway. Oh boy. So yeah, we're about to start Chapter 2 in case you're just joining now. One other thing I do want to say uh, is you can go ahead and type exclamation mark final stream for a link to a Google form if you want to fill it out to get one last little token of my appreciation sent to you uh, physically. I'd be happy to do that. Um, you can also type exclamation mark TTYD. That'll tell you all the times that we'll be streaming this weekend. And lastly, you should join the Discord server because even though I will not be on uh, doing Twitch content creation anymore or YouTube videos, you can still go ahead and uh, keep tabs with what's going on in the Discord server, which is a very active community that you should definitely consider checking out. So, yeah, no, anyway, we're... exclamation mark TTYD, not PTYD. Sorry, I know, it's not, they all sound similar. Um, so what I think I'm going to do Mega, I'm, I'm looking at the time, and I'm gauging how much time I have left. I want your okay. opinion. Um, okay. I think I'm going to do Chapter 2. And then I think we have three hours. I think I'm going to do the first 50 floors of the Pit of Under Trials to get the item on the 50th floor. That's you don't think you should. You don't think you're gonna. You're not gonna do any chapter three. You don't think. I don't think so tonight. You, you could probably do the. You could probably do the lead up to get the blimp tickets. Oh, I could do that. I could do that. 
and also do the, and maybe do the trials as well if you want. But like, I feel like you should at least get the blimp tickets. That's true. I could do that. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, that's probably that's probably true. I should probably go through all that to get the blimp tickets. Because I don't know, like you, you're saying you're thinking you're gonna get through. I mean, it's not a hu hugely long ga game, so you probably could get through chapter six regardless. But... It's not. It's not mm -hmm. a hugely long game. I mean, we'll how long did chapter one take? Like, let's see. You you started chapter, chapter one fast. about five thirty, right? Or yeah. five, I guess more. Yeah. So about two hours, give or take. Yeah, but I also just wander around to troubles for a while. Yeah, so about like an hour, maybe like an hour and a half. Yeah, I think I could do it post chapter two. I do the first fifty floors of the pit. In case you're wondering why you do the first fifty floors of the pit, why that's important, you get an item on the fiftieth floor that is really, really good. It pretty much changes the whole game. It kills everything in one hit. <laughs> anyway, we are about to find uh, the, this game's version of Pikmin, the Poonies. And by the way, any uh, one-shot tattles, you can catch them in the garbage can, by the way. Oh, I have to adjust my dazzle really fast. Do you hear the audio cutting out? No, because I, I can't hear the audio, because oh, otherwise it would be echo. That's right. Uh, I have to, it's so weird. It happens literally three hours on the dot. That like the audio will start scratching, and I think it has something to do with like the dazzle running out of RAM or something to that effect. But I really don't know. It's weird. Uh, Kirby and Smash said, "Not sure if it's the best time for this. How'd the coding class go? It's going great. I mean, it's a lot of work. I'm not gonna not gonna try to downplay that. Um, between all of the like, like, cause I essentially build every lesson, every assignment, everything. It's tough. And yes, by the way, I am still using the original from 2009." Dazzle DVC uh, 100. Because it still works. It still works great. Are, are you going to sell it for the... Are you going to, like, give it away? I thought about that. <laughs> I don't know. I may. We'll see. I just jumped in the you water. Do a raffle. Like... <laughs> jumped in the water for no reason. Uh, where am I going at this point? I think I go this way. You're going for a pipe. You get it. That's true. You get a trouble to go to floor 20. That's true. So I might as well do that. Now we go this way. <laughs> That's true. No one would ever capture for that long. Because VHS tapes aren't that much longer. True, Magnus. Eek! Don't eat me! Eat him. <laughs> <laughs> me hungry. I'm not going to eat you. <laughs> Kane says, I first heard about you from the maze game. Is the trademark for the game uh, up for the taking? That's a good question. I don't think... I actually trademarked the name of the maze game. I think it's a pretty open source name, but maybe I should have. I don't know. Could I have gotten away with that? Could I have trademarked I feel, it. I feel I'm not a lawyer, but uh, I feel like it's a case of like you know, like restaurants that are like generic. Yeah, like, you can't the, trademark the common company words. or something like you. Well, you but like it wouldn't you couldn't hold it wouldn't stand up because right. like yeah, that would be weird. I don't know. I've never even tried to do that. Also, you really wouldn't want to do that. Like, if you opened a carpet company or if you opened a cleaning company, calling called it the cleaning company. Like, no one's going. Like, you, no one's going to go use your business because they're not going to realize realize it's an actual business. Right, right. <laughs> Aha! Um, also, I'm upset that you didn't say guess again, nerd. <laughs> guess again, nerd. I did not. I decided. See, to do this that. Is this is why when people say they don't like Sticker Star, this to me is what is bad. There's two. The, there's the main thing about Sticker Star is it's got no personality to it. Almost no dialogue is. There's almost no dialogue, and what there is is very generic. Uh, everyone complains about the battle system for Sticker Star. I don't think that's the issue because Slay the Spire has shown that 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 type of battle system is fine. Here we it's go. Just, Chapter two. It's done poorly, but like the idea of Sticker Star's battle system, I think is fine. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, it's fine. I think the bad thing about Sticker Star, well, there's a lot of bad things about Sticker Star. It's the bosses. The bosses are so bad because they require you to use a specific key item to defeat them. But there's really no indication, even me coming from someone who skips the text, but not even skipping the text because I read it. There's there, no indication as to what that key item is. There so. is. I feel like they could have easily fixed this because, okay, when you go to fight the Pokey in chat, or in not chapter two, but the second area, right? Yeah. Uh, 
it, it takes place on a baseball diamond. So that one is actually clever, but most of them I'll agree, like, you get them along your path, so it's not too bad. The one that's horrible is the final boss, because the final boss you need three stickers, and there's no way to, and, and the thing is, not like, it's the final boss, so the stickers can be anywhere for the thing sticker, and you have no way of knowing which one to actually use. Right, right, so, and that's exactly the thing. That's exactly it. There's no way to so, figure that out. Yeah, at least with the other ones, it's usually a sticker that was on the way to the boss. So, like, okay, fair enough. But for the bo the final boss, it's like, uh, well, you're either going to look it up or just randomly use stickers and hope that you're right. <laughs> right, right, right. Or or just battle it without the thing stickers and then, like, take forever to kill it. Because I don't even know if you can. I think the Bowser one, you have to have the thing yep. sticker. But... I think you can talk to the Shadow Sirens here. Oh, go, go. Best... Cool. Best partner, by the way. Best partner. True. True facts. Or one of best partners. I also I should, like uh, Bobbery and the Yushi Kid. But, uh, there we go. Get Goombell out to do some tattling. Like, here's the thing about this area. It, it, it starts off looking very distinct, and you're like, oh, this is very pretty looking. But first off, you spend most of it in the tree. I know. And the tree is a lot less interesting, and also, it just gets old <laughs> so fast. Yeah, it really does. That is true. I don't think I have any way to kill this. Oh, I have a fire flower. I was like, do I have any way to kill this cleft right now? Yeah, Sticker Star, like I said, the ideas in Sticker Star are fine. The card type battle system that is clutch. fine. It just isn't implemented well. <laughs> right. But I also think people tend to hate on Sticker Star and say, oh, oh well, it's bad because... To, uh... Sorry, I'm... I'm no, go ahead. Talking. What do you got? I was going to say, I, it, people uh, say it's bad because you don't level up or stuff like that. And I feel like a lot of times when people, for anything... Uh, <laughs> Super guard, sorry. Ooh, nice. Um, when they hate something, right? You don't always know what your reasoning is. So you come up with a reason that's like easy, but like that's not always. That's why I discuss games a lot because sometimes what you think is the reason you don't like something isn't the reason you don't like it. You know you don't like it, but you're not sure why that is. So like with Sticker Star, they're like, oh, I don't like this game. It must be because it's not like the original games. And I'm like, that's not really why it's bad. Being different isn't like Super Paper Mario was different from the original games, and people still like that one. Right. That is true. All right, there we go. Whew. Those clefts are tough at this point in the game. I just want to get the tattle on that piranha. Oh, oh, oh! These things suck. These things are so bad. They're so bad. The timing on them doesn't seem that hard. No, it's not at all. Can you super guard every... Like, can you, can you, you get, literally you super guard everything? You can super guard every attack. And theoretically... There's not a single attack that you can't... There's not a single attack that you cannot super guard. Oh, that was close. Oh, I missed that one. Um, yeah, there's not a single attack that you can't super guard. So theoretically, you can get through the whole game uh, damageless. But, I mean... You get a three or four frame rind window to actually input a super guard, so it is quite the monumental task. Hey, I got my honey syrup back that I just found. Oh boy. Well, luckily, not going to be too much of an issue. Let's see if, how many I can kill with Super Guard. Hold on. One. <laughs> Two. Two. Three. <laughs> three. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I was going more for the two. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. We got our three. That's pretty good. Three out of four? That's pretty good. Luigi's just chilling in the audience. I, I like how this pretty much proves Luigi's a liar. He's like, yeah, I'm I on know. an adventure, but I have time to just watch Mario. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to press buttons randomly this time. We are not pressing random no, buttons. No, but, but, but SM, HP, HP. No, no. Hey, hey. No, no. HP. <laughs> Just HP every time. <laughs> Full on health. Tank build. Yeah, you could. Uh, you could. You could. I don't know how good it would be, actually, to do that. You know, the, the thing is, 
kids sometimes would like do that i feel like when i was young i think i went that way and it was you could beat it it was fine but yeah yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's like playing fire emblem and only using one like using uh what's his face um in the original fire emblem um well the it's original only using like marcus you mean yeah going marcus. all the way back to fire Emblem seven yeah, yeah i did, old I did that as a kid and i went, and i never beat the game so then I went back at one point, I think I did a stream of it or something, and or played it, and I tried to beat the game with my overpowered Marcus, but he was the only <laughs> character that was viable. Yeah, I remember doing that too. <laughs> Just I don't it was not possible to beat the final chapter with him. I remember doing that too. I, Kane, I tried really hard. Kane had a good question. Talking math now. He said, uh, have you ever used the Pythagorean theorem outside of math related things? So let me tell you a story. I gotta tell you a story. I gotta tell you a story. I got I don't mind I don't no, if you want to listen to the story, it's a long story. But I gotta tell it. Uh, I might actually go grab a drink of water, but I just want to say what Kirby user Smash said. Yeah, I fool. That's basically what I was saying. It's, I fully agree with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go grab a drink of water. All right. I, I got a story. I got a story to tell. So, <laughs> this is now a story I'm gonna say on stream. I don't know if I should share this on stream, but I'm sharing it. I'm sharing it on stream. Uh, so this goes back about a year ago. Because uh, Kane, Kane reminded me, jogged my memory of this. Might as well tell this story, right? Uh, so this is about, uh, actually over a year ago. Because I've been with my, my girlfriend for over a year. Uh, it's barely over a year of being an official couple. But we've seen each other for, for a long time. Um, we've, we've been like on dates and stuff since the previous May. Since May of 2018. Officially in a relationship since October of 2018. But anyway, prior to that, I did all... Um, I did online dating, as do a lot of people. And the funny thing about that is... The funny thing about that is I can't damage this thing right now. Um, yeah. The funny thing about that... So, so I have a lot of disastrous and terrible first date stories that came from that. Uh, one of which has to do with the Pythagorean Theorem, which is very, very funny. Um, so, <laughs> let me tell you. Alright, so, the background of this. Background of this. This was before I actually met my current girlfriend. So this is a long time ago. You can't play a data computer. Dur, dur, dur. This is before I met my current girlfriend. So I said, I, I went on a date with this girl. I don't. I will remain anonymous for now. Went on a date with this girl. Really, really nice girl. So on our first date, we, we hit it off really well, which was actually really exciting. Like the very first date, like we got along and it was great. It doesn't matter that I missed the action fan. We got 41 audience members, by the way. And now I got hit with a bucket and I'm dizzy. Anyway, uh, hit it off really well. It was all good, and I was like, wow, like this is great. Uh, so, oh, we're going to get a little bonus damage reduction. So I was like, all right, well, let's definitely go on a second date. And she was like, yeah, well, I'm all about the second date. So we were supposed to go to this Indian restaurant, which I love Indian food. Uh, so I was, like, really excited to go. But she texted me. <laughs> Two super guards. She texted me, and she said, hey, on the day of. It was a Wednesday night. She said, hey, um, there's a bar near me that does trivia and wig night on Wednesday. Did I just miss? Because I'm dizzy? Did a bucket just fall on the audience? What is happening? Um, so, all right, we'll just kill him with super guards. Uh, so, I, so she said, there's a bar near me that does trivia and wings on Wednesday. Do you want to go? And I was like, sure, that sounds great, you know? But keep in mind, this was her idea to go. It was her idea to go to Trivia and Wings. So I just want that to be thrown out there for uh, for a little bit later. Anyway, so this was all her idea. She said, let's go Trivia and Wings. I was like, perfect. So we get there, right? Sorry, Mega, we're rambling on this long story. Because I know you just got back. I heard you. Yeah, um, but I said, uh, sure, sounds good. So we went there, right? We sat down. Uh, the Trivia started. It was just the two of us on a team. And so the first Trivia question gets asked. Now, Nick, granted... I'm not telling you I'm a stud at trivia or anything, but certainly if I'm going to play a game, I'm going to get like a little competitive, you know? Like I'm going to try to actually do my best. So Was it was it Mario trivia? No, it wasn't Mario <laughs> trivia, which would be very funny. But the... Uh, ugh, God, I hate that flight. That's a tough one to land. Um, so we started talking. Uh, we started uh, the trivia game, and the first question was something about the Civil War. I don't remember what the question was specifically, but it was like, what battle did such and such occur during the Civil War? And she said, she looked across from me, she was like, hmm, Civil War. She was like, I don't really know. It must have something to do with the Nazis. And I was like, yikes. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. Uh, red flag. Is this really happening? It was like an episode of a sitcom. I was like, is this, is this for real right now? This is for real. 
This is real. This is really happening. And I was like, you know what? You know what? Okay. I was like, it's probably. I had to like, of course, now be like, you know, it's probably not the Nazis. I think they were a little after that, but you know, maybe you know, good brainstorming. I try to be encouraging. You know, being that guy. So, anyways, and I was like, you know what? In my mind, maybe just not a history person. Not everyone's a history person, right? So, second question. Uh, music question. I, uh, the, can I stop getting hit with lights? Uh, it said, no. <laughs> the question was something like, uh, oh, I remember what it was. It said, who sings the classic song, Living on a Prayer, the 80s rock song? Everybody knows that. Mega, you probably know that. I, uh... No. <laughs> Everybody who no his doesn't live under a rock knows I that. Know who, I know. It's bon Jovi. I know it's a singer. Uh, yes. Yeah, bon Jovi. Uh, and so she was. So I was like, Oh, I'm pretty sure that's Bon Jovi. This thing's living on a prayer. And she was like, oh, Bon Jovi. She was like, I thought he was an actor and not a singer. And I'm like, Okay. Second red flag. Second red flag. But you know, maybe just also not a music buff. You know, it happens I mean, I that I couldn't just gotten. Bon could it, oh yeah, John Bon Jovi, sure. Uh, could have gotten, you know, could have gotten two bad categories in a row. It happens. We're not all perfect. Third category. Third question was a math question. And I was like, oh boy, math question. Here we go. You're in my wheelhouse now. Uh, so of course, now that she got like two strikes on two obviously wrong things, she was like, all right, all right. I was like, okay, now's the time to prove yourself. You're going to prove yourself. This is it in my mind. That's what I'm thinking. So the question was, it said, uh... What is a oh, which um which Greek mathematician, ancient Greek mathematician, coined the theorem that a squared plus b squared equals c squared in a right triangle? And so you probably know. That's what made me remember. It's the Pythagorean theorem. So the Greek uh, mathematician's name is Pythagoras. So that was the answer. But of course, now I'm like waiting on her. Now I'm like, oh, I can't wait to see what she says. And so she she looks at me. She goes, hmm, hmm. She was like, mathematician. She's like. Really, the only one I know is Einstein. And I was like, I think you're off by about 2,000 plus years. <laughs> I said that right to her face. <laughs> and I kind of felt really bad that I said that. But I was just so, like, aggravated. And she got, like, so embarrassed. And just for the rest of the night, like, I, I probably got, like, 75% of the questions correct that I just, I just knew them. Because they were pretty basic knowledge questions. But, like, she just got a whole... She got zero, correct. When I tell you she got zero, I mean she got zero. Um, so, in any case... Can we open this? Oh, we no. Uh, so, <laughs> anyway... can't do this yet. <laughs> oh, I can't do this yet. But, anyway. So, it all started to make sense in my head that I was like, Alright, this is, makes sense why she's really not happy with her job. This makes sense why she barely graduated college. This, like, it all started to click in my mind. All the background about this person in particular. So, thankfully, uh, that was our uh, second and last date. Um, I actually texted her when I got home because I did actually have fun, and I said, "Had a great time, you know. Thank you for all this and whatnot." And she was like, "No response." This, this isn't your current girlfriend. No, 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 no. no. no okay, that's, that's why I was confusing me. I'm no. like, I thought this was your current girlfriend. No, that's why. I said, this is before I met my current girlfriend. So okay, I got I no think, response from her. I think everyone in her. chat was confused too, because I'm pretty sure everyone in chat was like super No, I prefaced that. I prefaced it. I prefaced it. What? At least I wasn't the older one. You weren't here. Yeah. You went to get a drink. Uh, and so I was like, no, not my current girlfriend. She's awesome. My current girlfriend's awesome. Uh, but it was very funny. So I was like, um, I don't think I can do anything for this thing. The thing is, though, like people are like going to be that dumb about stuff. Like, think of the average person and how dumb average people can be. It's pretty uh, dumb. People, the answer yeah. is pretty dumb. <laughs> most people are dumber than that. So, so <laughs> in any case, that was it was rough. So that was one of many tough first date stories. Maybe I'll tell some more uh, throughout the days. But that just reminded me of it. But the thing is, it was her idea to go to trivia. It wasn't me. And then me being a jerk, like, she legitimately was like, ooh, trivia, that sounds like a great idea. And so, like, since she suggested trivia, I was, like, all on board. I was like, all right, that sounds great. Turns out she thought the Nazis were in the Civil War. So. Most people are. <laughs> so Most, that's about I, as far as I like as how that you gave her three questions, and that was the first one. That was, like, the worst of the bunch. <laughs> so that's like, about as least... far as that went. What do we have for super guards? Are, are we keeping track? I've had so many super guards this, this uh, 
chapter so I have I have not been paying attention. But no, like like that's the thing with Slim said. She just wanted wings and it's like trivia is just background noise. She didn't it expect you to be like, yeah, it trivia. Was <laughs> it was bad. She, nice person. Don't wanna say she's not a nice person, but jeez. Anyway, uh what am I supposed to do at this point in the chapter? You're supposed to go to the tree. Oh the tree. Ya yeah, dingus. <laughs> yeah, yeah dingus. You grow Nick. <laughs> you grow Nick. Because then they're like, oh, we can't get in the tree. Maybe we should go see Madame That's Flurry. right. That's okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. At all. This is also why this chapter is bad because it's a whole lot of like going back and forth and in an unfun way. Yes, true. Nice person. Yes. Nice person. Not exactly aware of much. But nice person. Speaking of not being aware of much. <laughs> hey, I knew the badge was back there. I remember it. It was pretty funny. You're pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the United States Civil War took place in Germany in the 1940s. Yes. Yes. Uh, it was funny. It was funny. It felt like an episode of a sitcom. I was like, am I being punked? Am I being pranked right now? It was bad. Made me laugh. Yeah. All right. Now we got to go get Madame Flurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. The worst partner in all of Paper Mario. Like, easily the worst partner. Uh, uh, yeah, probably. I mean, she does have stage presence, in fairness. Yeah, but, like, I, just, uh, she's not even good in battle. <laughs> yeah, but it's her stage presence. You just know. <laughs> no, she's not really that good. I mean, there's really no reason to use her after uh, after this chapter at all. But I will say that is <laughs> her necklace is gone. Oh, we have to go get... So we have to go to her house. Yeah, exactly. And then talk yeah. to her and then say, my necklace is gone. Go get it. And then we got to go back to the Shadow Sirens, fight them, get the necklace, go back to the house, Th right? I'm yeah, this is what I'm talking about. And and I know it's not long, but like, and, and I get that the oh, chapter no, four, the, uh, the chapter four um, backtracking is a little bit more annoying because of the enemies that are in there with the right. daisies and stuff. Right. I get that, but like, this is just not interesting. <laughs> I know. Whereas chapter four is interesting. You're in, you're intrigued to see what happens here. Who gives a shit about this person? Yeah, necklace? I, it's so boring. <laughs> It really is. Uh, that, that's a really good point, actually. That Chapter 4's backtracking does have a lot of it, but at least it's, like, interesting and engaging. This chapter's backtracking is like, go find my necklace. It's on the other side of the map. Oh, yeah. great. I found it. Now walk all the way back. It's like, yeah. I don't and care. Th and this is just to get the tree, and you have all this build up, and then you have the tree, which is just a pain in the ass to yes, do. Yes, it, because... it is. This really is. Uh, unfortunately, this chapter is, is a pretty low point in the game. Uh, not even in the game. I think, not counting Sticker Star, it is the worst chapter in all of Paper Mario. Bar none. Whew, that is a rough statement. That may be true. Can, can you disagree with like, what, what chapter is worse? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Um, ugh, you might be right. It's pretty bad. I don't say things with that lightly. I, I, if I say like something like, "Hey, if I say David Bar Alexander, none, see you later," I say it with full conviction. No, Chapter Two in Paper Mario One is fun. That's a good chapter. Maybe not the best chapter, but it's it, I like it. You got the whole little uh, desert town. You have Paracary. You get the whole pyramid. It's it's neat. It's a fun chapter. It is. Sorry, I'm skipping all the text, but she's pretty much just like, "Go get my necklace." And I'll be like, "Okay." Get it all the way back. Well, well, that's the thing, Slim. I don't disagree that Chapter 4's backtracking is annoying. I fully get that. But Chapter 4 also has the best partner. It has uh, an interesting story. The best boss in the game, probably. Uh, a lot more going for it in general. So even if the backtracking is annoying, you can kind of... Like, there's still some positives to the chapter. Uh, meanwhile, I don't think there's a single thing in this chapter I like. The boss is awful. 
the the environment gets old the music is bad the uh puny system is just aggravating flurry is true. the worst partner in the game it's there's just no redeeming qualities of this chapter that's true I, I will agree with you that Keyhole Keys also is, it's a little better, but I, I think SM overstates how good that chapter I is. I love Keyhole like, Keys. You like pirates. Because I why. like the pirate aesthetic. I like it. It's fun. But if you don't you know? care for pirates, it's Can just Can we just okay. have fun and all be pirates? It's a <laughs> no. good time. I don't like, but the thing is, even if you like the boss of this chapter, there's a better version of it later, so. That is true. That is true. It's pr well, yeah. It's probably the least offensive of the backtracking, but I don't know. Even that, even that, like actually. Oh, honestly, look at that this, first strike. This backtracking, at least with the enemies, isn't bad. Like the enemies here aren't really a pain. I think some of the ones on Keyhole Keys are a little annoying, and obviously the daisies are bad. Oh, but, daisies! Oh, uh, we're getting there. Off, I think the thing with this too is you. You mentioned it earlier. If you suck with the paper plane mechanic. Like, this is really aggravating. It is! Missing the paper plane. Like, none of the other ones have where you have to do this paper mechanic. And for kids, kids could easily screw that up. That's and where I got stuck. I got stuck yeah. on that stupid paper plane. Because that's a tough... You have to be, like, pretty exact. you have to do it multiple times, You have to do too. it a lot. Yeah. Like, I remember really screwing that up. I did not and, like and that. And if you don't know where to go, too, the other thing you have to keep in mind with backtracking, if you don't know where to go... Uh, like with paper, or chapter four, there's not really too much confusion. Like it's pretty straightforward of where you need to go. You just have to do it. Here, if you don't know where the necklace is, you could spend like, forever trying to like go to areas you don't need to go to and backtrack into them by accident. Uh, yep. Which, yeah, it, it gets it gets old. Yeah. Oh, I don't that. think this is a bad game. I think this is a bad chapter. Yeah, no, it's a bad <laughs> chapter. I, I agree with that, though. I mean, I it's said earlier, I, 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 I said earlier, I think TTYD is a great game. I do prefer Paper Mario, but that is very much uh, an opinion because, I mean, everything I say is opinion, but uh, it is very much an opinion um, because I I do take uh, preference over music and, and art style a little bit, and I uh, prefer the original's art style. I do think that the, some of the... I think, again, this has high highs. This game has some very high highs. Yeah, I agree. Has high highs and low lows. Low lows. In case you're just getting here, like Gold Doan Girl is now, uh, we are here with Mega Freak 400. Just probably for this battle. I think this might be Mega Sign Off. The Shadow Sirens or fight. More, more like La La's and Low Lows. <laughs> uh, ugh. It's the puns. I like this music, though. Yeah, the general white obviously is, is really bad. But I, but that, I consider its own kind oh, of thing a little bit. I don't really consider that part of the chapter. I know it is, but I feel like it's more still a prologue to Chapter 7, even though it's a part of it. Actually, when does Chapter 7 start? Does it start when you're on the moon or right before It that? starts uh, when you go to the moon. Yeah, so see, I don't consider that part of the chapter. Ow. I consider that its own... It still sucks, but... Okay, ah. So you're, you're kicking me off after this, then? I might be, yeah. I mean, when you put it that way, it sounds so mean. <laughs> it is mean. Sad ghost. <laughs> Sad ghost. Sad ghost. Um, I like the style shit, Shadow Sirens. The character design in this game is great. They push it even further than the original one did. Oh. Jeez, status. Well, I'll trust you on that over over Eric at Slim because Eric's been wrong like every. <laughs> oh no, you're right. Because when you go to far outpost, that's oh I, well, I don't know why I attempted to do that. I, I, that's I think, when you have I, to go backtrack. That's right. Yeah. I think mentally my brain doesn't all like my brain doesn't count it as it, it is, but like I I, I kind my brain kind of counts it in in like the blimp tip ticket thing. You know what I mean? Like. Even, even though I know, again, it is a part of chapter, still, like, I never mentally connected to chapter 7, if that makes sense. I can kind of, like, like pretend it's not. <laughs> Just pretend. I can use Earth Tremor now. I forgot I had that. It's like, oh, yeah, I have Earth Tremor. It's really good for this fight. It's it's one of the best powers, it I is. feel. 
You still use it later on. I don't know why, I just, I just destroyed a point. Oh, well, that's good that all the poison mushrooms came up right away, because I think now it's pretty much just a straight shot of recovery. Look at that, that was a pretty good sweet treat. That's pretty good. I mean, it is. Ow. It's the best power, though. I <laughs> oh, boy. Not just because it's my star. I think PTM had the worst power. Which one is it? I think it's... Isn't his timeout? Oh, yeah. Timeout's really bad. I think that's the six one. It's really bad. Oh, the tree's coming down. Yeah, show, show, or show, isn't Showstopper the one that stops time, right? Not time now, but whatever it was. Oh, yeah. All right, one more to go. Or is, or is PK's the one that stops time? I don't remember. We'll find out when we play. Ah! All right, there we go. Good boss. That was pretty smooth. PK's the stat boost. Power left. We're just That's a touch right. overconfident. Right, sure. We got the necklace. All right, they had the necklace. Yes, they did. Oh, I guess, okay, to be fair, I guess that's not really... They, they show you the necklace earlier they do. if you didn't skip the dialogue. They do. <laughs> now I gotta go all the way back. Yeah, power lift. That's right. That's right. PK's powers you up. PK's is pretty good. Uh, what, what the... I think the ruby star is good, too. Yeah. What's the ruby stars? Oh, art attack or something, right? Art attack is very oh. good. That's, like, one of the best attacking moves in the game. And you have supernova, of course, at the end. Yeah, Supernova's good. Yeah, I think I think PTM's is definitely the worst. No offense. It's like, look how exact I have to be with this plane. Ugh! Like that, like that just barely makes it. Yeah, it's very annoying. It's very annoying. Get out of the way. All right. Anyway, I think this is where we will say goodbye to Mega Freak 400. That's forever. Okay, Mega. Not forever, <laughs> but I do want to say, if you want to see Mega Freak 400 more. He still streams. He does a great job over on his channel. So if we can get Mega Freak 400 a shout out, that'd be really cool. He does a lot of great name that game tunes, a lot of indie playthroughs, and other playthroughs of mainstream games too. So please feel free to check him out. He's also a co-owner of the Discord server with me. So he's always around if you want to go ahead and chat. Uh, he's a really great guy, so I'd highly recommend it. Um, I'm very, very active in the Discord, yeah. He is. He is. Uh, po Pokemon Sword and Shield is a big topic right now. So please uh, take some time to go stop by the Discord server. Have a chat with Mega. He's a great guy. And Mega, I want to say thank you so much for coming on the stream with me tonight. Yeah, no problem. Uh, can I say that I'm I'm not like? Can I say I'll be back tomorrow? You can say whatever <laughs> you want as Flurry comes out. I can say anything. You can say Whoa. anything. You're a horrible. <laughs> this is so bad, by the way. It's bad. It's bad. You can say it. What do you want to call it? Go ahead. Do you have some choice sure. words for Flurry to sign out? Uh. Very Rubenesque. <laughs> I'm just gonna come out and say that she's a whore. She's just a whore. She's just a straight up mean. whore. Straight up whore. Anyway. Use, use your, your intelligent word. That Rubenesque. is my intelligent word. She's, very, a whore. she's a Rubenesque figure. That's it. <laughs> anyway, uh Mega, thanks so much for coming on. I'll see you around the Discord yep. server. And I'll I'll be back tomorrow for some more maybe. Yes, maybe some more. Adios. Alright, bye. Thank you again. All right. Well, that was Mega Freak 400. Uh, like I said, he does great work. It's awesome to still have him around. He's he's uh, the co-owner of the Discord server with me. I love that. You know, it, it's such an active community, and I feel like Mega's energy and his his positivity has a really great um, is a really big reason as to why that's the case. So Mega's really really great. Uh, anyway, Flurry's doing foot percent. Everybody's into foot percent. I don't want to. Uh, we're gonna go down a uh, rabbit hole if we start doing that. All right. Anyway, I am solo now. I'll be solo for the rest of the night until 10 o'clock p.m. So now I can interact with the chat just a little bit more. Uh, this is the last stream event, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door Weekend. We did now just get Flurry. We're in Chapter 2. My goal of tonight is to get through Chapter 2. So I am going to try to, I mean, do that. And I think also do the first 50 floors of the Pit of 100 Trials just to... Uh, just to get, just to get the item that you get when you when you do that. I might as well clear the trouble that involves going down the first 20 floors as well. Uh, yeah, some other people will be on tomorrow. 
uh, namely tomorrow, I'll tell you who's going to be on. We have X and Shadow who will be joining us tomorrow uh, afternoon from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock, uh, approximately, around that time. Uh, we'll also have Slim Kirby joining us in the afternoon, and we'll have K-Man joining us later that night. Yeah, K-Man will be back. How exciting is that? That's why I'm really hoping PK makes, uh, makes a return, but we'll find out, because we're getting all the Crystal Star Studio members back on the scene. So that's what we got coming your way for guest commentary tomorrow. I'll tell you Sunday when we, you know, get to that point on Saturday. Uh, one last thing I want to mention is, yes, yeah, Slim does have a stream coming up in a bit. So if you want to check him out, you can. Uh, another thing is, I have an email. Great. Do I really want to look at that right now? I guess. What do we got? Oh, mailbox. Mailbox. Oh, Peach saying she's okay. Probably should have read that. Probably should have read that. She managed to type a lot in that really quick amount of time. And little rogue port today. Little news. That's cool. Don't care. Alright, now we have Flurry. Now we can go here. Ah, Nara and Harrow 7 coming on by. Thanks so much for stopping on by, Nara. Thanks so much for stopping on by. Yeah, we were talking about a whole lot of stuff. So, yeah, I know. A lot of times we get we, we start talking a lot, uh, which is fun. But, yeah, I can definitely pay more attention to the chat now. So if you have anything that you want to ask me or anything you want me to talk about. I love that the secret entrance is also a neon sign, which is very funny to me. Uh, but anyway, that's that. Yes, punies are very precious. Thank you. Thanks for coming on by. I want to go ahead and mention one more time that we do have a Discord. Well, probably way more than one more time. But we do have a Discord server. If you go ahead and type exclamation mark Discord, it should go ahead and bring that up. If you also type exclamation mark final stream, it will give you a link to a Google form. If you could fill that out, I do want to send you a little token of my appreciation. So please feel free to do that. Uh, thanks, Rob, for uh, jumping on by. Appreciate that. Enjoy it. Good luck on your own stream with randomizer goodness. So, thanks, Kane. Appreciate you uh, shouting those things out. So, yeah, this is Chapter 2, the Great Boggly Tree. I know we kind of skipped over a lot of story. We were busy talking about a lot of stuff. We cleared Chapter 1. We did some troubles. We're now here. Uh, this is a tough one because I feel like... Oh, we got X-Nauts. We got X-Nauts in the Boggly Tree. It, it, I feel like this chapter tries to be really experimental, and it just doesn't. It just doesn't work. Like, a lot of stuff that we do later, you're going to see that we're going to be herding around like a big group of, of allies. And it just, like, kind of falls flat. And it's, just, it's not fun. I feel like it tried to be like, oh, cool, like, this is a Pikmin-style thing. But, like, it, like if you want to play Pikmin, then go play Pikmin. Like, that's the thing. Go play Pikmin. So, it's, it's an interesting idea. Anyway, good to actually get the x not now, because he's going to be a major enemy later. I love their attacks, too. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Ow. There we go. What do x knots look like underneath? The world may never know. Ow. <laughs> Ow. He's crushed me. He's crushed me. Nah, right, what do you got? Name the celebrity you think closely re closest resembles them. Uh, an X naught? I don't know. Uh, like, how am I supposed to name that? Some, da like, probably Danny DeVito? I don't know. What do you want from me? Uh, I will also respond to another question. I can't believe this is sticking in my mind because I usually, like I said, struggle to remember things. But Kane asked earlier, what is everybody's favorite childhood snack? And let me tell you, whenever I would get home from school, I loved, this was back in the day, loved having a frozen pizza. One of the individual $1 frozen pizzas. Loved them, loved them, loved them. So, just saying. Just saying. Oh, and let me tell you, cheese nips. All aboard the cheese nip train. Uh, Naron and I, that's one thing we agree on. Cheese nips are definitely the superior square-shaped cheese-flavored snack. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, yes. This was before my uh, my pizza elitism, for sure. Oh, and by the way, by the way, while we're on the topic of which, let me say one more time for the masses, the definitely the best tip I'm going to give you. It's taken me 28 years of my life to figure out, and it's how to jazz up a little bit of pizza to actually be a little better. So I've been on this spiel once before, I'm uh, several times before. I'm going to do it one more time. So 
you go order some pizza, right? We've all done it before. You feel a little lazy, you order some takeout pizza. You know it's not the best quality, but you do it because it's cheap and it'll be delivered to your door. And We've all done it. It's whatever. Um, you order a whole large pizza for yourself because just of course. I, I would order a whole large pizza for myself. So, you know, you order it. 30 minutes later, it gets to your door. You know, the delivery guy drops it off. That's all well and good. You pay for it. You put it on the kitchen table. You open up the pizza box. It smells good, and you want to take a bite right away, right? Wrong. You do not want to take a bite right away. What you want to do, you want to preheat an oven to 400 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. You want to go ahead and put some aluminum foil down. Put the piece of pizza in the oven just for five minutes. Just bake it for five minutes. That's all you need to do. Uh, and when you do that, the pizza crust will crisp back up, the cheese will melt a little more, and you're going to turn that kind of crappy pizza into mediocre-ish pizza. We actually have some scientific evidence to back this up as well, because I think it was Mr. L who actually did the experiment. So, just saying. But anyway, uh, you should do that. It, it, I'm telling you, it ups your pizza game infinitely. You could also season it too if you want to. Casanova with the sub, by the way. Appreciate the sub. Oh, it wasn't Mr. L. Was it Super Yoshi? Could have been Super Yoshi. Who was it? I'm struggling to remember. Also, these guys. All sci fi y. Kingness? I don't remember who it was. It was somebody. Somebody did it. Blue Link. Oh, it was Blue Link. You're right. It definitely was. It was definitely Blue Link. It was definitely Blue Link. Oh, that would have been nice. Oh, God, I hate these things. Sorry, I gotta get all the tattles out of the way. And then I'll switch to actually, like, destroying these things. We gotta level up pretty soon, right? Yeah. Notice I'm, I'm burning through flower points because I was like, we have to be able to level up pretty soon. We gotta get real... We're almost there, right? I think there's an item in one of these. I can't believe I remember that. I think in one of these bushes there's something. Somewhere in here. Oh, man. Ow. Alright, uh, let's see. Yeah. These things are quite annoying, though. Haha! <laughs> Kane, don't worry about it. Uh, am I gonna have to? Am I gonna be able to get that final Twitch paycheck? Or are you gonna have to max it out? Hey, you know what? I'm gonna leave that entirely up to you. Any any support is greatly appreciated. Any support that you do provide, by the way, it goes right towards the uh, house. That's where it's gonna go towards the new house that I'm moving into. You're gonna that it's gonna go towards paint. It's gonna go towards supplies. It's gonna go towards the hopefully family that we you know intend to start up someday. That's what it's all going towards. Anyway, I really don't like these things. Oh, wow. A power boost if there's only one thing left. Yeah, feel free to donate at any point. But again, that's not, not something I'd ever pressure you to do. It's much appreciated, though. Just just you being here to join me for a night like this, I'm so glad I just trashed that little tiny one, uh, is really, really awesome. Like, I think I just think that's so special and so amazing that you joined me tonight. For the final stream, like, how fun. How fun. A marathon playthrough of Thousand Year Door. The whole thing. Ow. I forget they get stronger when you, they have multiple guys out. Yeah, I see a little bit of flurry in action. Yeah. Starting families are overrated, I suppose. If you give me money, do you get to pick the color? I don't think I would be allowed to... I, I don't think I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> I don't think that's my decision. I'll we'll put it that way. I mean, it is. It is in some part, but like at the same time. The stage presence is real. That's true. Slam with the stage presence. That's all it is. Pretty close to level up. The next battle we should, we should level, so I'm happy about that.
Gotta go with some more FP. Gotta go with more FP. Though I really do want more badge points, too. x Knot's now like... Man, this is brutal. How much longer till we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny poonies know uh, we capture or know anything about it. They live here! I think we're looking in the wrong place. Uh-oh. Assassinate! That's like literally Assassin's Creed. No, no, no. We're not going tank build. There's the puny elder. Why are you so calm, elder? You're trapped. We have to rescue you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna save the others. It's just wa rambling out. There they are. Petuni, thank heavens. But I'll see. The puny elder is amazing. He is an amazing character. Anyway, uh, what else did I want to talk about tonight? Uh, any Thanksgiving plans? I'm so glad you asked, Casanova. Uh, yes, I am going to nice. So let me tell you. Let me tell you. One of the perks of being. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Oh, let me let this play out first. This is a treat. We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Are you a friend of Mario's? I certainly do not approve. Anyway, I've been running into more trouble than I've expected. Aww. Ah, oh, who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Oh, mercy me! You're popular with all the girls, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. Take care. Take care. You always read it as puny? I don't know. I think it's puny or puny, but I don't know. I actually don't know how, what the pronunciation is. Puny? I don't know. I don't know what the pronunciation is. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I love that there's like a boss fight against like one x Not by the way. It's really fun to me. So anyway, I don't know. Uh, our Thanksgiving, by the way, is um, punny. Could be punny, Elder. Just particularly funny with puns. Uh, the nice part about being in a relationship, let me tell you. Sometimes you can double dip on holidays. And let me tell you, I get to go to... Uh, oh, here we get the key. Red key. Get to go to, you know, my family's for dinner and her family's for dessert. And so you get, like, almost double Thanksgiving. If, as if... Oh, the ultra shrimp. As if there's nothing better... Like, you could be like, oh, well, what's better than Thanksgiving? How about two Thanksgivings? How about two Thanksgivings? So. We're back. We're here to rescue you. Ha! <laughs> Foolish child! Fudo, sit down this instant. Keep your mouth shut. Uh, what did I do? Just tried to rescue you. How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? But I, I went to find help. I came to rescue you. You will never interrupt me mid-lecture. God. First of all, several hours later. Or else, you got that? Okay. Yes, Elder. I was telling you, we came here to rescue you. Oh, is that so? Well, good. Get me out of here already. I love it. Uh, who think them boys are going to beat them pats? That is happening on Sunday, which is pretty exciting. We'll be able to talk about it on stream. So I think they are not, but we'll find out. Because they lost the Jets. I mean, come on. Anyway. Uh, you're hopeful that your family does uh, not nothing and order Chinese food? Hey, thanks so much, Kane. Did it for the nerds. Nice. Nice. All right, what do we do now? You can walk through, which is pretty fun. Talk to them all. Nothing you really do in there, though. Anyway, uh... Did it for the nerds. Thanks, Kane. But yeah, it's exciting. It's like Easter. You want to order Chinese and your family don't want to. So you end up doing it after your brother-in-law didn't like Easter dinner. I mean, I love the traditional holiday dinners. But that being said, I also do love some good old-fashioned Chinese food. So it's hard to say. Hard to say. Do you have a name for the baby Yoshi? No. We are going to do uh, something next stream for the baby Yoshi. That's going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to jump into Chapter 3. I'm not going to get to Chapter 3 tonight. Tomorrow's going to be going to be the Chapter 3 part. Yes, Tom Brady is questionable. That's true. Alright, where is he? He's right here. Well, if it isn't Punio, huh? I love this big fat one. He made me laugh. 
Are you stubborn mule? <laughs> I love that. We must stand together. But, but, but. Such a trap, Puniper. Yes, Mario. Yes, yes, simmer down. We'll help Mario. Could be whoever get donates the most bits, I guess. Guess the name. And we could do something like that for sure. We got Poonies. So this is where the chapter starts to get kind of weird because you pretty much have to herd all of these punies around. Yes, yes, yes. The punies. I don't know what they're really called. We need the puny orb. Uh, yeah, it starts to get, I don't want to say slow and boring, but it's definitely a bit of a slog. Oh, one more thing. The Crystal Star. If you lose any of the punies and have a hard time finding them, just come see me. Give him a whistle. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just seems like experimental is the best word to use. It just seems slow. But anyway, we can go ahead and put them all on here. Throw the orb. And that allows us to open this. Yeah, it reminds you. The partner comment. Let's get rid of this guy. I mean, it does. It gets slow. It gets kind of like... It's a little tough to lead all those punies around. But once you get past this chapter... Oh, boy. The next chapter. The next chapter. Oh, boy. Let me tell you. That's a time. That's a good time. Ow! Why? Anyway, we're gonna level up after this anyway. We're not going with HP. We're not going full tank Mario build, by the way. Not going tank Mario. It's not happening. I'm not gonna press HP by accident. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna scroll over. I'm gonna scroll over to MP. No, no, no. We don't need more HP. I have so much health. That'll be that. That's just a shortcut back to the main room, if I remember correctly. Yep. Okay, I mean, imagine if we just upgraded HP every time. We just went full tank. That would actually be pretty funny. Alright, uh, this one... Oh, God. I really don't like this. So now we have to... to like get them all to that side. This is a really weird mechanic. You have to like use the bubbles to get them all over there. Get over there. Okay. I, I remember that was another stopping point too. That was another stopping point. Are oh, you off to bed night? See you later my friend. I'll see you tomorrow. If you come back tomorrow, we'll be back tomorrow starting at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern. So that's our start time tomorrow. Uh, that's noon Eastern. So you can do the math whenever it is for you. But that's noon Eastern time up until 10 p.m. Eastern time. So we'll be going 10 hours in a row tomorrow. Yeah, I got to tattle on one of these things. Get that tattle going. Just so I have it. BST, aka the best time zone. Can neither confirm nor deny. It's pretty darn good though. Alright, Bella like still has like no health. Forget about that. I forgot she's still hurting a little bit. Yeah, he's a gross spider. Let's go ahead and uh heal up a little bit. Hey, heal up a little bit. Pacific time zone represent. Get a little time zone argument going. Now we gotta heal Goombella. Oh, no, I want Goombella! Alright, that wasn't terrible, I guess, but she only got three health out of that. Really? Really? Why you gotta be mean to little Goombella? 
Hey, look who it is. It's sports from coast to coast. Stopping on by. Good to see you. Speaking of Pacific Time Zone, we got another Pacific Time Zone rep. That's pretty cool. Actually, no. Sports, I think, is Eastern Time Zone, is he? I don't remember. I know he's a Dodgers fan, though. Big Dodgers fan. Oh, yeah. It's Boggly Woods time. It's Boggly Woods time. In case you are just joining, it is, in fact, where did the Poonies go? Where did they just go? I don't know where they just I think one of them just fell. One of them just fall? Yeah. Ah, oh, Pacific Times. Oh, that's right. The great state of Connecticut. Sure. We'll go with great to describe it. No, I'm only one. I'm only, yeah, just nearby. So. All right. Uh. Yeah, I know. I know. Some people rap in all different states. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Uh. Love damage dodge. Damage dodge helps so much. There we go. Everyone's <laughs> like, hey! You're the furthest east. I think you are. Yes, I think you are. I gotta remember to use earth power as well. Hey, blue fire here, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. Oh, we got such a quite a great audience tonight. I'm so excited. I mean, I've, I've really wanted to replay this game for a while now. I missed. I can't believe I missed. How do you miss? How do you miss that action command? I'm so terrible. I got distracted by how awesome Blue Fire is and how awesome Sports from Coast to Coast is. And yet, and then I just missed the most, the easiest action command ever. Anyway, going on from here. There we go. So, in case you didn't get the memo, uh, we are streaming Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door all weekend. So we're playing tonight until about 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern. That takes us another two hours of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. After that, we do have a tomorrow stream tomorrow. We're playing more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. We're going all the way to the end. Uh, playing from um, 12 p.m., which is noon time, till 10 p.m. Eastern. So that's a good 10-hour block of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. We'll get through most of the mid-game content at that point. Uh, like I said, tonight I plan on getting through Chapter 2. And also, I want to do the first 50 floors of the Pit of 100 Trials. Ah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. There we go. That's still good enough. Nice. Uh, so I'm going to do the first 50 floors of the Pit, just to get the item that you get down there. Uh, and also, it'll be good experience. It'll, it'll you know, be good to level up. And, uh... I don't know. It'll just be for the best. And like, if there's a trouble that you can do, 20 floors down anyway. So, like, might as well do that. Oh, it's this jabby. God, I hate these things. You see that? That's a jabby. Based on what Poonipur said, they're trying to help the intruders. We have to fight them. I used to get along with the jabby. He's a friend of the jabby tribe. I wonder if even the jabby's my enemy now. Let's go find out. I hate, I really don't like this gimmick at all. I think it, it, it's just, like, not fun at all. It's the Jabbies. It's a 10 Jabby squadron. Let's get them. Did we get him? Oh. Get him! Still a jabby? Get out of here, you stupid jabby! Is there still one light? He's running away? Alright, we got him. Go destroy the hive! Yes, yeah, so you can find a jabby in the shop. Did I ever make that section of Discord my favorite moments in the Let's Plays? I did not. Though, if you want to go ahead and, and reminisce about favorite moments of the Let's Plays, I, I always love to do that. It makes me stroll down memory lane, which I love doing. Uh, I will say, too, that, um, what else? Have you ever had In-N-Out? Kane, of course I've had In-N-Out. Come on. I'm a big foodie. That's my thing. I eat food. I eat good food. You know? Have I ever had In-N-Out? <laughs> what do we got here? Blue key. I can open the rest. This is a pattern we have to remember. Puny, star, moon, sun. Can we remember? Can we chat? Puny, star, moon, sun. Let's go ahead and remember that. In and out is very good. In and out is very good. No, there's no in and out on the East Coast. 
Not gonna find that. Okay, we got a cutscene. Blue fire, your internet just spiked. The one day of the finale so far. How's day one of the finale? It's good, it's doing great. It's a mushroom. Oh, it looks a little wrinkly and gross. Yeah, I picked it so I could give it to my brother to eat. I got captured and stuck here for a few days. Kind of dried out. Well, that's a cool story, bro. Yep, just go ahead and wait. There's so many favorite moments. Well, that's I'm so happy to hear that. That, uh, that makes me... It makes me feel really all warm and fuzzy inside, you know? That yeah, you've gotten enjoyment out of this. It really does. Yeah. I remember. Okay, here we are. That's right. I forgot there's a shop here. A jabby. Uh, this guy's hiding in the shop. Just sneak in there. Uh, I will buy. I don't think I will buy anything. I don't think I need. Oh, I'll buy an ice star. Buy that. Sure. I forgot this shop is here. It's fun. Hold on. Heal Gabella. Right, everybody's all healed up. Everybody's all good, which is great. Uh, so I will say, you agree being a part of the community has been a really important part of your life. Kingness, that's really sweet to say. I mean, I think it's, uh, it's been a big part of my life, too, I will say. You need one poonie in the shop to see the jabby. Yeah, get in here. Get over here. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's really sweet of you to say. I mean, I, I credit Let's Playing and I credit the, the community with a lot of things as well. Anybody, there's no, uh, I can't get anything to join. No, that's it. All right, anyway. I remember the Holy Tree Hazard. I remember that. No, I credit Let's Playing and I credit being involved in this community with a lot of what has gone into making me a better, making me a better teacher in the long run. I think that, you know, I've gotten better at improvising. I've gotten better and more confident at public speaking. I've gotten, like, there's a lot of, oh, my God, that's right, I got it defeat the spider because he gets all the poonies get scared and it sucks because they all fell get back here get back here there we go. Uh, but anyway yeah I, I credit a lot of stuff to that you know my, my speaking ability I credit my confidence I credit my ability to to improvise on the fly which is a very important part of teaching by the way it's always good to be able to improvise when you need to I mean, you know what I'm gonna do So it's really cool. Like, if you go back to watch some of my older content, it, I was a very shy and reserved person, like, back in the day. I mean, certainly I, I wasn't afraid to speak my mind when I was in high school, but I definitely... Goops just stood there and took it. That's funny. But I definitely, like, have opened up a lot since YouTube. I think the first one that did it, like, the first Let's Play, that, that really made me open up and start to be a lot more vocal was... Uh, Mario Golf Tulsa Tour, because I think I, I was just a chance for me to relax and just chat and have a good time, you know? And I feel like sometimes when you play some games, you talk, I don't want to say you talk too much about the game, but you're so focused on playing the game, whereas Mario Golf Tulsa Tour was such a relaxed experience that I could really focus on talking with you, the viewer, and I think that's what really elevated it to, to be like the status that it was, and obviously a lot of people seemed to take notice, which was really cool. So to have that experience and have that opportunity was, was really special. God, I hate that there's another spider. Can we not? They're all going to run off the cliff again? Jeez. Jeez. So that was really cool. Uh, ugh. This is a terrible arrangement. I guess I'll just try to take them all out one at a time. But in any case, yeah, I feel like I feel like Let's Playing overall has certainly made me a, a more confident person, a better teacher, and, and just, you know, it, it's really done wonders for me. I am so thankful. I love that Koops can just stand there and take it. I, I'm so thankful that I have had the opportunity to, to, you know, be 
uh, be given, uh, not just be given an audience, because I feel like that's what a lot of content creators would say, but so thankful for the opportunity to be given the best audience, really. Such a wonderfully supportive, involved, fun group of folks. Like, really? Like, how amazing is this? That, like, we're doing the final stream of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, everybody's stopping on by, everybody's having a great time. Like, how phenomenal. I, I feel so, like, so thankful that that's the case. So, I, I really appreciate it. Like I said, if we get to uh, a little later uh, in the stream, probably, you know, Sunday night or something like that, I feel like we're going to start to get, get some feels going. But at least we do have all weekend to play some lovely Paper Mario with Thousand Year Tour. Where is the last puny? I have ten punies. Where, oh where, did the last one go? Where is the last one? Hello? Hello? Oh, he's just sitting there. Get back here. What are you doing? Anyway. Damage dodge P. That's also a good badge. I love damage dodge. It is why it's annoying. You can. You can go back to the Elder. That is true. That is true. Oh, Sports of Coast Coast says, Who have I received congrats from from the YouTube community? I have to say, a lot of people on Twitter were very, very supportive. And, and very, very much like congrats. Oh, this is the 100 chat, right? Yeah, I can't do this yet. I have to go get the blue key. Yeah, no, we gotta, we gotta pull. Nope. Nope. <laughs> LOL. Nope. We leave. I don't know. I don't know if that's actually... I doubt it. There's no way that's actually possible. One of them fell. Did one of them fall? It still says I have all 11. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go with the fact that I still have all 11. I don't think the, the 10 versus 100 is still. It is possible at all. I don't think it's possible at all. All right. Let's get rid of this. We go all the way over here. Oh, it was Coops that fell. Oh, good. I'm glad one of them didn't fall. But yeah, I, I do really appreciate everything, too. Yeah, everybody's been really, really supportive. Uh, I think what's been really fantastic was seeing all the CSS people come back. Like, I know Mega and I have remained close um, because, obviously, we co-own the Discord together. We're involved with a lot of the same community stuff. But, like, Slim, who's streaming right now, I haven't talked to him in such a long time, like, really talked to him. Yeah, a little hello here and there. But, like, it's so nice to be able to, it was nice to be able to reconnect with him. Uh, Gaia Crusher 9, who will be around probably later, maybe tomorrow. Uh, it's great to be able to connect, reconnect with her. And Power to Mario was here earlier. Like, those are names that I haven't talked to, these fantastic people, in such a long time. Hey, can you, like, oh boy. Oh boy. They're a little frozen there. Looks like the puny, oh, what the heck is happening? Punies. Hey. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, punies. Oh, the puny. Oh, that's right. That's right. They're all going for the orb. It's like drugs to them. It's like drugs. Get back here. Like literally moss to a flame. Anyway. Alright. Oh, we gotta go get the... Uh, sorry. We gotta go get the blue cage there. <laughs> it's like, go home, punies. You're drunk. What made me pick this game for the final game? Uh, that was exact Kirby's and Smash. Number one, I, I wanted to find a game that I wanted to play for a long time. Like, it, it fits the amount of time that I wanted to spend doing a stream all weekend. And number two, this really is a game that makes everything come full circle. This was our first project we did collaboratively as Crystal Star Studio. It was a playthrough that we did in the year 2009. So, going from 2009 to 2019, a 10 year gap, it's really coming full circle, and I'm really happy to do that. What does final stream mean? Am I never going to stream again? Ask Tominator, uh, 11, uh, 8, 0, 8, 2K. Thanks so much for stopping by. And that is what that means. Yes, it is what that means. Then we did just free all the PDs. Big brother. Uh, this is my retirement weekend stream. So I do uh, sincerely thank everybody for their uh, contributions and their support and everything that they have done. It really, really is very special. I know I'm missing one. Literally this one. But in any case, I feel... 
oh, I feel so, so appreciative and thankful that I've had the opportunity to, to voice my opinions, be a content creator, make stuff that you've not only watched, but have also enjoyed. So that's pretty great. But this is it. Uh, as far as why I'm retiring, as I've said, it's just moving on to, be, to, to better challenges in the future. I don't want to say better things, because let me tell you, Let's Playing was an unforgettable experience. One that will always stick with me, and I hope uh, you know the, that you understand that your contributions and support have been so so amazing. Like, I'm I'm getting emotional now. No, we can't. I can't have this conversation right now. I cannot have this conversation right now because I am going to get. No, no, it's not happening right now. It's not happening right now. It's not happening right now. All I'm saying is thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. That's all. But this is it. This is the last one. Going out with a bang. Pave Mario the Thousand Year Door all weekend. All right, we now have all 100 punies. Or 101, I guess. So that means we can go all the way down. Now I just got to go all the way back. All the way back. Yeah, we did baseball last week, which is great. We did Mario Sunshine the week before. That was fun. No, I didn't get the jabby. How do you get the jabby? He's in the corner of the shop. I tried finding him. I couldn't find him. Oh, I gotta get the stupid orb. Oh my god, they're all on drugs again. I'll go get the jabby. I'll get the jabby. Hey, Yoshi Kid 18 Good to see you. Thanks so much for stopping by. That's a name I haven't seen in a while. I hope, I hope you're doing really well, my friend. Is there something down here? Why do I feel like there is? Why do I feel like there's something hidden here? Oh, because it's right here. Oh, that's a Thunder Rage. Well, that was a good... <laughs> I'm glad I jumped down here. Yeah, we did some Mario Superstar Baseball last week. We did Mario Sunshine a little bit ago. It should still be in past broadcasts, so you should be able to check it out. I guess that does mean that Nightbot is retiring as well. That is true. I gotta go get the orb. And, by the way, if you do want... Uh, a little last token of my appreciation if you type exclamation mark final stream it should bring you to a google form that you could fill out and if you do fill out that form i will send you a little token of my appreciation for sure he's at the bottom left of the shop you need punio all right i guess we're gonna go find him i would use flurry to do this right yeah oh that's where he first found me oh well it's been it has been an absolute pleasure let me tell you Really, really spectacular and phenomenal life-changing experience to be involved with content creation like this. There we go. So, and I, I, I thank everyone immensely for their support. Immensely. It's not even, it's, it's crazy. It's not even like, I don't even know how you express it in words. Like how appreciative I am and how, how awesome this of an experience has been. No, we're not having the feels. I can feel my eyes swelling, and I'm like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this yet. I'm not doing this yet. We're saving that for Sunday. We're saving the feels for Sunday. That's it. I did see when uh, GDQ did a speed run of this. So, hey, look at that, Yoshi Kid 18 buying a house and your job has kept you pretty busy i'm so happy to hear that i'm really happy to hear that that's the boat i'm in right now and that's one of the reasons why uh i i've decided that it's time to end the streaming career um which is great no 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 stop it stop singing sentimental songs <laughs> stop it <clears throat> is there a chance that i will come back <clears throat> even one stream a year see where's this jabby jabby I'm in the shop. Oh, he's right here. Ah! A jabby, not good. That little fella's gonna get mixed up in my stock. I suppose I can't go discipline him. He's still a kid after all. Ah! Let's <laughs> let's get him. All right. We got, so we got 101 punies and the jabby. Is he in, actually in our group? Does he actually join? Oh, the number doesn't go up? 
Oh, come on. What's even the point? Oh, the number doesn't go up. I want to see him. I don't know where he is. I can't see him. Man, it's like it's literally trying to find a needle in a haystack. Oh, he's right in the front. I think I just saw a glimpse of him. I got a glimpse of him. Somewhere on the giant mob. Oh, let's see. Hey, Eric, are you allowed to say the team for all the favorite sports games? Yeah, that's fine. All of them for favorite game series. Ah, uh, just all all of them for favorite games. You can if you want. If you don't have a particular preference. What do I think of uh, about Boston sports right now? To get away from the fields. Eh, uh, fine, fine. Patriots Cowboys this weekend. We'll be streaming during it. But probably get some score updates. It'd be cool. Okay, here we go. 100 Jabby Squad. You found him by accident when you played the chat. That's funny. Yeah, that's it. Ilya and Twilight Princess is just so bland and boring and useless. It's just useless. Then you have that weird cutscene. It just gets weird. Get the jabbies! Massacre all the jabbies. Where are they? Where are they? Get back here. Get back here, stupid jabbies. I feel like we're getting our butts kicked. Yeah, I feel like we just got our butts kicked. I feel like we just absolutely got our butts kicked. Like, absolutely just got destroyed. Can we can we not lose to the Jabbies, please? Which is weird, though. Like, you pretty much just have to, like... I don't know how the game determines, like, how the Jabby fight works at all. It's very weird. I don't even know if hammering does anything. Or you just gotta, like... Just, I don't even know. I think it does. But, like, it's very strange. It's very strange. Yeah, they just got wrecked. All right, this one I think we want a little more convincingly. But hold on. Still a lot of jabbies. Oh, he's flurry. There we go. You've never seen a jabby loss? Really? They, I used to get wrecked to them a lot. And it's, it's tough. Like... When I was a kid, I, I don't. Is there actually the strategy of using flurry? I never. I didn't actually know that. That makes sense though. There we go. Am I signed up for this year's Secret Santa? You better believe it. Kingness, by the way, we do have a Secret Santa going the Discord. So if you want to go ahead, another more incentive to join the Discord. Um, Kingness last year got me an awesome Red Sox tie and tie uh, clip. Really, really cool. So that was uh, what a great gift that was. So when I was a kid, I remember I got stuck in Chapter 2 a lot. I got stuck in Chapter 4. Ow. And then I got... And then I got stuck in... Actually, I think that's it. Oh, no, the Super Guard. Do we have a counter going? It's got to be like 15 by now. Um, and then I think we're up to... Uh, yeah, I think I beat the rest of the game without getting stuck. Like, I don't even think I got stuck at the Riddle Tower at the end. Even though the Riddle Tower is tough. I don't think I got stuck on that. So. I made it all the way to the end without getting stuck after Chapter 4. When I was a kid. Oh, and General White. Oh, don't even get me started on that. I think I, I didn't get stuck when I was a kid on that. but Because I literally just walked everywhere. And it was a pain. As a kid, though, of course, you're like, Ooh, yay, video games. It's not a big deal. But, like, my adult self now is going to get very upset. Luckily, I know where General White is, but still, annoying. Oh, Goldoan, I definitely have gotten three poison shrooms. Definitely, definitely. In fact, a lot of times, I did a little earlier in the stream when Mega was on. I don't know if you noticed. I do intentionally sometimes, if I see two poison mushrooms, will miss the action command, so I lose the bingo card. It's the meta strategy of missing the action command intentionally. I'm telling you, it's a real thing. Oh, look at that! Full Earth Tremor. Nice. Oh, you got stuck in Shadow Queen because you only upgraded health. We started doing that in this run for sure. We were on a little bit of a little bit of a tanky build binge there because I accidentally clicked HP an extra time. So we had 25 health and five flower points and three BP, but I meant to only go up to 20 health. But hey, I guess we'll be fine on HP for a while. Anyway, what? Do I have to do this? I think I have to do this. Yeah. Uh, what?
what just happened? Buh, buh, buh. Oh, here he is. You guys are dense. Brilliant little trap, huh? And oh boy, did you bite. Buh, 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 ha, ha. Talk about complete idiots. Alright. Well, looks pretty grim, but guess what? We can go ahead and just slip right out of there. Let's go. Hey, Boost Turtle hosting the stream. Thank you so much, my friend. Yeah, we've definitely seen those talents before. Yes, yes, yes. We gotta backtrack. Again. Is there anything in these bushes? So we got Sun, Moon, Puny, Star. Remember, chat, can we remember? Can we remember Sun, Moon, Puny, Star? Boost Turtle TV, I'm so happy to see you. So, so happy to see you. Again, if you want to go ahead and join the Discord server, Discord server is the place to be. So, please just type exclamation mark Discord. I am not going to be streaming anymore. True. I am not going to be doing content creation anymore. That's also true. But I will still be on the Discord server and on social media. So, if you want to go ahead and drop on by to say hello, it's a great place to be. It's a nice, active community. So, it's a fun time. So, please, 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 come on by. Oh, God. Everyone, everyone's just... Everyone's saying random things. Everyone's saying random things. Yeah, I'll post more on Twitter now, probably. <laughs> Why not? You're already on so, so many different servers. Thanks, sports. Thanks for the host. Hey, look at that. Yeah, that's right. Everyone trying to mess me up. I remembered the pattern. I remembered. You gotta love the paper roll. There we go. I remember. You can't fool me. Alright, and now we can get giant treasure box is... The super boots. Yes. It's finally. Hey, Toadette. Hey there, I'm Toadette. Congratulations on getting those super boots. Hey, by the way, by the way, Toadette's first game, if I remember correctly, was Mario Kart Double Dash, correct? So, like, this is Toadette's second game, technically? Am I accurate in saying that? I think so. It's like the first one where you actually saw Toadette in action, which is pretty cool. One more time, sure. Sure. Is there a Rhode Island, Connecticut rivalry? Uh, no. I wouldn't. Oh, jeez. It's all about New England and New York. That's the rivalry. It's not between states and New England. All right, I don't need to try to go. So it's pretty funny. Yes, I know we can break that with a spin jump. So it's funny that, like, Toadette at this point in the Mario series, it's hard to picture now, is was a new character. Like, so Toadette was cool to see in this game. The funny thing is, though, uh, the funny thing is, where do I, how do I get back? Oh, I go this way. Oh, I missed the platform. Ugh. I need to get all those things. Uh, the funny thing is, now Toadette, of course, can become Peach, or Peach is Toadette, Peachette, whatever that stupid nonsense is all about now. We've come a long way from Toadette being a new character. We've come a long way. Are you going to be good at multitasking, Goldowen? Oh, can I land on the stupid column, please? Can I not fall? Can we land on top of it? Can I just land on it? Oh, my God. What the heck? Don't stay gate to me. Can I land on the thing? Look, all I got to do is I just got to fall straight down and land on the thing. Oh my god! Finally! Just gotta jump all around. Get that. Okay, cool. Oh, jeez. Anyway. Boost Turtle is saying, uh, don't know if I missed my message earlier. I think I did, sorry. The chat kind of scrolled really fast. Streaming content has been a part of an, uh, an inspiration. 
to your stream on your own, Eric. Your videos and streams will always be remembered as part of my life. See that? Uh, uh, my gosh, my gosh, the feels though. That's so sweet. Like I, I, it feels the same way for me to say that about you in your support. Like it truly does. Like I know you might think like I don't know. Sometimes when I don't want to say this about content creators themselves because I know a lot of content creators are great people. But sometimes if you get a big subscriber base or maybe you're one of you know a hundred thousand subscribers or whatever, it, it can feel be easy to feel lost in the crowd. But I, believe me when I tell you, each and every one of you are, are amazing, fantastic people, and I wouldn't be anywhere close to where I am today, you know, without without your support, because I truly feel that your support has helped to make me a better person, make me better at a better teacher, and it's just ultimately like been such a huge influence on my life. So, no emotions yet, but emotion Sunday. Oh boy, it's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough day. All right, now, thankfully, we have the uh, super boots. So, we can take these guys down a lot faster now. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> oh, get that out of here. Exactly my logic. Exactly my logic. I'm not crying. You're lying. That's going to happen Sunday. I should wear my glasses Sunday. Like, my contact lenses might get all, more, like, they might fall out. I know. Super dodge is awesome. Ow. Ow. Uh, uh. Oh, I can't hit these guys, right? Ow. That's a shame. Oh, now I can just take them out one hit. I don't have to use any FP at all. I just uh, annihilate them. That's right. Because I was thinking, like, oh, I have to, like, use some FP. Nope, not even a little bit. <laughs> Look at the timing. Look at the timing. Oh, I gotta get... Right. Oh, I should've used Flurry to take that out. That was stupid. That was bad of me. That's right, we gotta go back and get them, right? You realize you should get Color Splash for Wii U? I have not played Color Splash... Hey, bingo! I have not played Color Splash, so I can't really say. You remember finding this channel and sitting in bed with 103 Fever? That's crazy. Isn't it crazy? Like, it's crazy, the, the crazy ways that we've been brought together. It's wild. It's wild. Like, literally, if Slim, in a one-off conversation, didn't say to me, Hey, I think you should try streaming. Or, I think you should try making videos. I think you'd be really good at it. That's, that's literally what it was. That was the extent of it. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Like, that led to now all of this. And it's been such a remarkable journey and experience, and one that I never could have anticipated. Charge wave attack. Yeah. I did all of one damage. You remember Slim playing? Uh, oh, you remember playing Sim City on the Super Nintendo for a virtual console and finding my channel through that? Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. The original SimCity I now have on Super Nintendo. Oh, like, I actually went out and bought the cartridge again. There we go. Three in the morning watching Mario Baseball. Jeez. Well, hopefully I didn't cause you too much sleep that night, but hey, it was fun time. Fun time. Yeah, SimCity was a fun time. I, I did enjoy that one a lot. I did enjoy that one a lot. I took a lot of pride in my camcorder let's plays, too. I took a lot of pride in that. Oh, I need to go get the punies, right? I need to get the punies before I can do all this. Is that true? Is that true? 108, Gold Hill, and that's rough. I think I probably got up to 105 as my highest. 108 is, is like, dangerous. <laughs> so I'm glad you're still with us, my, uh, my friend. Do I remember the 19 inning Red Sox Yankee game? Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. Very clearly. No, I want to jump. Just jump. No, stop talking. Let's go, please. Where'd they all go? 
That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Okay, let's go, please. Get down the hole. Get down there. This is what I gotta do. I gotta literally be like, go. Like, look at what a pain this is. Ah, oh, jeez. We gotta corral. We're corralling all of them. Look, there's still some left. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my, this is ridiculous. Get down there. Look at this. Like, look at this. Okay. Can we move down the hole? There we go. There's like one. There's one left in here. Get out of here! There's one left. There's one puny left in here. Can we go down the hole, please? Yeah, there we go. Finally. See, like, that's what I'm talking about. Look how long that took to actually, like, get them all corralled. That was so annoying. Don't even tell me I'm at 100. Oh, thank God. Okay, let's go. Will I ever go on a moose tour again? No. Oh, I can tell you the moose safari story again. Oh, I got another star piece. Cool. Moose safari was probably the worst thing I've ever done. Uh, I don't think that's an exaggeration to say that. Uh, that's not an exaggeration to say that. That was for my mom's 50th birthday. She wanted to go to New Hampshire to go on a moose safari, a.k.a. see a moose. And I was like, you know, that actually sounds kind of cool. I was like, sure, moose safari. Like... Go, I was thinking, like, oh, we're going to go, like, off-roading, and we're going to go, like, in the mountains, and we're going to go in the woods, and we're going to see some, like, go to a secret place. I don't know, like, where you best spot moose. And I was like, that'll be cool. Nope, it wasn't that at all. You know what it was? It was sitting in an old, crappy, uh, like, senior citizen-style bus and driving down the highways of New Hampshire in freezing cold temperatures. I don't know if the heat was working on the bus. Listening to songs about moose, which I didn't even know there are moose songs. Apparently, there are many different moose songs. And by many, I mean like five that played on loop over and over and over in the freezing cold. And we didn't even see a moose. We didn't even see one. It was three hours of driving back and forth on a highway with like spotlights off the side of the road, just hoping to see one. And the, they, like the people that ran it were like, oh, I'm so sorry I didn't get to see one today. Uh, you can come back again for free. And I was like, come back again? That is the absolute last thing that I would want to do with my life ever. Like, come back? I don't even want to be there. No, 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 no. All right, what am I doing down here? Can I do B down here? Oh, so look, they all got stuck. Come on. So what's the deal with this? I'm trying to remember what the deal is with this one. I have to jump to the other side? Well, I know that. How am I supposed to jump to the other side? Oh, we... Oh, oh cross this, you mean. Yeah, there we go. Uh, back up here? There we go. This seems a lot better. Oh, yeah. Let's try a little, little puzzle. A little puzzling here. There we go. There we go. That was wild. Okay, hey, you'll find some moose. That's exactly what it was, Kirby user. That's exactly what it was. I was like, I don't want to go back. Go back. No way. 
That was really stupid. Stop. Okay, cool. Let's go, punies. Gotta jump to that one. Yep. Come on, punies. Let's go. This way. We're almost done, thank God, with the great boggly tree. It's just it's just such a slow chapter. And it's not fun. Unfortunately. Nothing in those bushes, right? Nah. Okay, here we go. This is the end sequence, really. What's happening? Here we go. That is the best part. When you get to the end, you just ditch them. And just run. Well, that's how you get to this room. <laughs> I like that. Okay, here we go. Boss time. You ready? Uh, we don't need this at all. We really don't need the sleepy sheep either. I mean, I'm gonna throw away the sleepy sheep. There's no way I'm gonna use that. There's no way I'm gonna use that. Ah, uh, no, I'll get the sleepy sheep. I'll get rid of the mushroom. The only reason I like that sleepy sheep now is because it reminds me of Wooloo. And Wooloo is the best Pokemon Sword and Shield new Pokemon. Can we agree on that? Because that's something we can agree on. Wooloo is amazing. Amazing. Uh, what else we got? Sports of Coast Coast says, what games do you want to Let's Play that you never got to? That's a great question. I think a lot of modern games. Mario Tennis Aces definitely would have been one up my alley. I definitely would have done that. Uh, I would have done more of stuff like... Uh, I would have done more of stuff like... Like Borderlands or Skyrim. I know that's not really my primary audience, but I love games like that. So that's why I never really did them, because I was like, you know, it's just so, like, off-brand. Uh, but, the Crystal Star is there, so that's cool. But, I don't know. More Switch stuff. More Wii U stuff. Mario Maker, I would have done a lot of that. Uh, a lot of, like, playing random levels in Mario Maker. That would have been really fun. Stuff like that. He just, hey, what's going on here? b b b Am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? A Crystal Star, Lord Crump. Boom! Look at that. That's humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. So for insulting my awesome trap, I'm going to pay you with a little present. Know what it is? It's just a little something I call the bomb in the tree. Oh, Odyssey. Yeah, I definitely would have done something like Odyssey. Breath of the Wild. Oh, boy. There's a bomb in the tree. We got to go. We got to go. We gotta go. Let's get out of here. You could actually just ditch them too. We'll we'll save the animals. We're not gonna kill the animals. We're gonna save the animals. I like that you battle during this too, because it makes it like puts this like haste on like you gotta fight these enemies really fast, which I like. I like that a lot. It does. It reminds me of Metroid as well. Ow. Love the super guard. It's so satisfying. So satisfying. It sucks that you got bullied off of YouTube. Could have led to me being a streamer also. That's that really does suck. And it's unfortunate that that you just had to experience that. Some people are just I don't know. I don't know I never understood something like bullying or negativity it's just it's counterproductive to literally everything and it's just putting people down for no reason it really is when in fact like like look at the turnout here today like this chat and this community is full of such fantastic people and not full of like like you you're amazing you guys are amazing you're amazing so you resorted to becoming an exile con i mean that's pretty good I can't argue with that career path, but still. Still. I think we lost some punies just now. Okay, we lost them. See, this is what I'm talking about. I should have just ditched them. I should have just ditched them. Punies. 
They're gone. Oh. Nine, nine. Oh, I got him. Save the animals. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, punies. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know how they got lost. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got to get out of here. Oh, we got to do this on a timer, too. I forgot about that. Like, hey, remember this thing that sucked? Now do it on a timer. Let's go. We're pretty much out, though. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. You won't be going any further this way. What? Are you nuts? Move it, you old geezer. What? You just call me old geezer? <laughs> I love how he gets smaller. It's your power of Robo, Grandma. Oh, oh, oh. Can't take another step. Ow. What a time for my stupid back to start acting up. You will do no such thing. Honestly, did you really think we'd let a wretch like you escape? Oh, no. Buh, 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 buh. All right. Not bad. Hey, we got 41 at the end. You see that? 92.41. Not bad. Are you uh want to teach that speed stuff when people are logging out soon? Absolutely. I although I found that that doesn't really happen in my in my class. You have to establish that atmosphere that of respect. You know, that's really a big thing. Here we go. I love this music, by the way. One of my favorite boss themes in the game. Magnus Von Grapple. Here we go. Here we go. The music's really good. The uh, the boss fight itself is eh, take it or leave it. But the music's really good. I should be jumping because I have the actual boots now. The power of uh, the uh, super boots. Here come suckers. Ow. I mean, I only does two damage. Like nothing. There we go. I know, it's just Crump in a robot. It's the worst boss in the game. That may be true, just because it's the least interesting, but still, I mean, it's fine. I like the music, like I said. Okay, here we go. Oh, Cortez is very good. I like Cortez a lot as a boss. Do a little earth power. Oh, another full power with Tremor. Let's get it. Nice. Takes those out, which is great. Nice. Yeah, you like the mini boss theme from the first two. They are really good. Oh, we get bonus damage on a spin jump. Let's go. Let's go. This is a great time to get it. That was awesome. That was a lot of damage. Flurry's going to fly in and do her one damage. Good job, Flurry. You did something. I also love, by the way, if you notice in the audience... A fun touch in this battle is you notice that one side is all punies and the other side is all x knots I don't know if you noticed that in this boss battle. Super, super cool little touch. I remember noticing that. I was like, wow, that's really neat. And that's it. Easy peasy. Like, easy peasy. And a level up. Uh, we're gonna go FP again. 
then we're gonna start delving into badge points for the next like several level ups. So just so you know, not HP. No, it's not happening. So the next like three or four level ups is all gonna be. I'll remember this, losers," he says as he scurries off. Retreat! Run away! That's the shy guy scene all over again from original Paper Mario. Is this game related to Mario 3? Because you know it's all stage play. I think that's sort of the the idea that they're going for. But by the way, we just got Cayman, and we learned Clock Out. That's right. This is Clock Out. It's bad. I never, you never use Paco. But, by the way, the bomb is still in the tree. No one has gotten rid of it. It's still there. It's still there. Exonauts gone. Peace prevailed. Boggly Woods enjoyed its joy. But, yes, the nasty Exonauts are still around. They're still, it's still there. That, that It has never been resolved. That bomb is still in the tree. All right, here we go. Back to the x not base. What's going on here? What? You can't get in touch with Lord Crump? You're correct, sir. I love the little x not pose. Wakanda. What is it? I have a report, sir. Crystal Star Boggly Woods has been taken by Mario. What? Yeah, they all sucked. I love the I, I like these though because they're kind of like the new villains on the block in that they've like they really don't know who this like Mario character is and they're like what's going on uh, so I think it's cool I, I like the X knots a lot and I know Mega said he didn't like the X knots when he was here in chat and that's true like they I, I, I they can seem like generic sci-fi villains but I think they're really fun like I, I think they're funny and cool and interesting and I like at the very least that I like at the very least that oh geez, we have to really walk to the to the left or to the right to be able to walk to the left. I don't know. Stupid. We have to walk to the left to be able to walk to the right. I do like that the game introduced unique villains, which I think is cool. It's a different kind of enemy from Bowser. Like Bowser, like if they wanted to go with a sci-fi sort of theme, like Bowser and his minions would have been so like not fitting for this set of setting. So I like that. Also, this is tech. Uh, we kind of talked over the first tech scene. Tech is very weird. It's weird because, I mean, I know what they tried to do with the with the moral of the whole story here. That, like, you know, love and friendship and all that stuff. It, it's great and blah, 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 blah. But it's just handled in a very, very weird way. Twink is a much better uh, helper than, than tech. Dancing scene. And nail all these button props. This is just a Mario Party mini game. I missed that one. Oh no, I hit that one. You don't turn on A. You just go straight. The most stressful part of the game. Nail all the button inputs. Hey, we got them all. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That's very fun. Wait a minute. Fun? Is that impulse I feel known as fun? Interesting. Yeah, it's weird. I think, I think it's weird. F is for friends to do stuff together. Hey, you got double star points. Don't you love when you get the double star points on, like, a boss? That happened to me when I was playing the original Paper Mario. I fought Crystal King. I remember one of my playthroughs. And Crystal King naturally gives, like, 42 star points when you beat him. And I got double star points on that battle. It was like, oh, you just got 84 star points. I was like, let's go. Uh, that was great. I wish I didn't have that recorded, though. That's not just a personal playthrough I did. That was awesome. 
And by the way, can you talk about another highlight of Paper Mario Thousand Year Door? I remember little kid me when this happened. I was like, let's go. Like, look at this. Super Bowser Bros. Oh, no. Oh, I heard he got hit. I'm tidy. <laughs> I like the little little block. Help yourself up. <laughs> I fell in the pit. I love it. Like, how cool is this little aesthetic? It's so fun. Like, come on. This is great. This is how cool is this? Like, talk about fan service to the max. Fan service to the max. There we go. The reason I, I got hit there was I tried to do um, down to refire. Which is <laughs> just destroy everything. Which is what you do in Super Paper Mario. So I got confused. Let's go ahead and eat. Eat the steak. Eat the steak. Nice. It's all about the meat. Like, how cool. Like, little kid fanboy you. Like, that is a great moment. That's a great moment. I love this, too. Little NPC being like, oh, hey, welcome to Pedalberg. Welcome to Pedalberg. And, uh, 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 it's Bowser. <laughs> I love that moment. I always took that as like a joke about RPG NPCs and being like, hey, I'm going to say the same message every time. Uh, 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 it's Bowser. I think that's really funny. I know, and there weren't many 2D Mario games at that time. True, you always think like New Super Mario Brothers. Well, New Super Mario Brothers didn't exist at that point. So the most recent 2D Mario game was Mario World, right? Or Mario uh, World 2, if you want to count that. So to have that was like, oh man, that's so cool. My life treasure. I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster. <laughs> poster? My goodness me. Didn't see that coming. Great. I look at the guy, the huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters. That's the end of that. So fun, though. I love that. Yeah, we're saving Chapter 3 to tomorrow. So what we're going to do for the rest of the night is I am going to go back to Rogueport, and I'm going to do the first 50 floors of the Pit of 100 Trials so I can get the item there. And then once I do that, then I should be able to... Uh, I, and I'll call it a night for the first night. And that puts me really exactly where I want to be at this point in the game. You can try to star piece hunt now. That we have the super boots, by the way. That's a whole thing. I don't even want to really do that, but you can do that now. Yeah, you got to do the trouble, too, while you do that. I don't know. We're going to find out if the Pasta King shows up. I certainly hope so. He got texted. I texted him. I was like, dude, you got to come by this weekend at some point. We'll find out. I haven't talked to him since Stream 41. Uh, ugh. I thought I'd have a free item slot. I do not. Uh, we can throw away... Oh, sure. Oh, mail. Yes, it's Peach. That is precious. Alright, I cannot wait to get out of Boggly Woods, so I am hightailing it for the exit. Okay, Summer. I get it. You know... It, I, it gave me a chance to show off the trouble center, all right? Can we agree with that? Uh, I do not have um, spike shield yet. Ow. Miss Mouse unlocks after Chapter 4, regardless of completed troubles. Well, that's good to know. But hey, I did some troubles in the Trouble Center, just so you get to see them. They were fun. It was fun to do that. A couple star points. Not many. But hey, a little bit. A little bit's fine. Ow! What the heck? Can 
we not? Ow. There we go. Nice. Okay. Should go for the finishing blow here, and then we'll go down to the Pit of 100 Trials. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Get a couple more star points. Don't need to fight you. Really don't need to fight you. Please go away. Thank you. Alright, moving on from that. Save. And let's go. Back to Rogue Corps. Never to come back here again, actually. Thank goodness. Really don't want to come back there again. Ugh. Right, we can't do anything about that yet. Got the key at the phone booth. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. So hopefully your week has gone well, by the way. Like I said, I've been looking forward to this weekend for a while now. So I hope your week has been going well. Oh, actually, we need to go to the Thousand Year Door. It was long. Mine was, too. It was a long week. So, like, I, I had this on the horizon, and I was like, oh, man, I can't wait. I cannot wait for this stream. You go home after four on three out of five days. Yeah, it was about the same for me. It was about the same for me. It was rough. A singular star point. I do like the fact, I have to say, in this game, they did, if you notice, uh, make it so that every time you go in a battle, you get at least one star point if you win. I feel like one of the things in the original Paper Mario is it did get to be a little annoying if you fought a battle and didn't get any star points. Granted, that being said, they kind of forced you to move on, but at the same time, you know, I feel like you should be rewarded for your time a little bit. Like, one star point is such a minuscule reward, yet it still feels like you earned something. Hey, Bounce Bro stopping on by. Thanks so much for coming on by, Bounce Bro. For those of you that may be tuning on, just tuning in, this is the final stream, the first of three days for the final stream event. Marathon playthrough of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Tour. Uh, and we are going to be playing all the game, the entire game, through Chapter 8, from beginning to end. We just finished Chapter 2, so we're holding up the Crystal Star to now reveal the location of Chapter 3. Like I said, what I plan on doing is I'd like to go to floor 50 of the Pit of 100 Trials to get the item there and then leave, come back later on, maybe towards the end to do that. I do want to get the trouble on the way, just so you can do that. But yeah, that's true, Kingness. I guess you could have theoretically been max level before the first boss. I, but you could do that in this game. Like, I don't think that's a legit argument. Yeah, just finished chapter 2. Which is the worst chapter. I apologize. I know chapter 2 is kind of slow. And it's not fun. And it's it's a lot. It's a slog. Chapter 3 more than makes up for that. More than makes up for that. And yes, level cap the game. This game is, is way higher. There we go. Alright. Floating city in the sky. Hmm. Back to Frankly. Back to PK. Every old character in the game. That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruin remains intact. And that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the Crystal Star. Why would they seal away a treasure? Interesting. Yeah, if you get max level before Hooktail, that's good. Casanova, I did not actually eat dinner per se, but I had a I had a big lunch in preparation, so I'm, I'm feeling all right. I'm very I gotta say hydrated too. another big thing but yes i have i did eat already today i'm, I'm not hungry if that's what you're asking so i have my my eating schedule all planned out so i don't get hungry for the stream but we should be okay yes we gotta go through don piazza perfect perfect there we go 
All right, so that being said, let's see the order of events here. First, I want to accept the trouble that's over here. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say, trouble. Where's the trouble that, where's the trouble that is floor 20? Is it, it's not this. It's not this, is it this? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. I was like, is, is it this one? It is, it is. Your first paycheck got shorted like seven hours. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Well, hopefully that goes all right. Floor 20. Oh, are you kidding me, Sneaky Scarab? Are you kidding me with that pun right now? That is actually super clever. But, like, really? Come on. It's funny. All right, who are we upgrading this time? I think I'm going to upgrade... Uh, Goombella, only because I know Goombella is bad, but just because I need to use her to tattle and stuff. Sazubi! There we go. I also like how this game introduces shine sprites to power up partners rather than just find, um, rather than just to find a super block. I think it allows you to, uh, you know, hide more things in the game world. It's it's cool. So happy with that. King K went missing. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, we got to talk about that. That'll be a whole thing. Okay, here's Luigi's story. I really don't want to hear about that right now. <laughs> but that's Luigi. You can go listen to his whole story. Okay, shopkeeper. Got to buy a contact lens. Good. It's only ten coins. I thought it was more for whatever reason. I'm glad it's not. There you go. I did bring a contact lens, Mr. Squishy. Contact lens, sweet relief. Thank you, thank you for that. Great. Okay, what do you have? Before I go up to the bad shop, I would love to buy something. Hammer man is, I don't like those. Jam and jelly or jump man? You have nothing, nothing that I want at all. Nothing that I want at all. Dried Shroom and, uh, Dizzy Dial. Dried Shroom and Dusty Hammer. That's what you want. Darth Bowser 66 coming on by. Thanks so much for stopping on by, my friend. Yes, we can cook now with one ingredient, right? Let's go up to the bad shop. See if there's anything up here. Uh, ooh, we got a couple things. Last Stand. Last Stand is pretty good. Uh, Sleepy Stomp is good. I like that one. Close Call. A lot of Last Stands and Close Calls. What is it with that? I'll go for a sleepy stomp. I like that badge. Power to Mario, still here. Have it hanging out, having a good time. I love that. All right, so, that being said, I should gear up for the pit a little bit. I don't need you out here. I'm gonna first store my Ultra Shroom. We definitely don't need that. I don't need that. What do I actually have for healing items? I got some honey syrups. I got a life shroom, which I definitely want to hang on to. I don't have any actual just mushrooms. That would actually be super handy to have one. So we're going to go to the west side of town for the first time. You got to go for the night. You're going to go see your wife and I are going to see Frozen 2. Oh, I have a great time. We're going to see it next week. Have a great time. Let me know how it is tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. Yes, we will all be here tomorrow. So there's Piazza Parlor. See ya. Should play Mario Party 1 or 3. Definitely 3. Oh, Super Shrooms. Nice. Nice. Uh, I want to store some more items. Can you hang on to this honey syrup? And can you hang on to the sleepy sheep? I'm going to buy one more life shroom. Oh, I can't afford a life shroom. I can't afford anything. I am actually quite poor. Uh, I can afford nothing. I can sell a fire flower and then buy a super shroom. <laughs> That's the best I could do right now. Uh, Alright, what do I have for items now, exactly? Super shroom in coupon. I'm going to use that. Thunder rage, honey syrup, fire flower, a life shroom. 
I mean, not the best assortment of items to really take on the Pit of Hundred Trials, especially at this low level, but I'm going to try my best. Brand new cart for 25 bucks of Mario Party 3. Wow. Wow, that really is a steal. Holy cow. All right. Well, first, we're definitely going to stay at the inn. So we do have to actually do that. I do. I would like to use my coupon. Thank you. Okay. So we use the coupon. So now we descend into the Pit of Honor Trials. Okay. Let's go. Again, that's not really like the most stacked set of items. Like, I'm concerned. Should I? I mean, I probably should grab my honey syrup at least. My other honey syrup. So let's at least grab that, I guess. I guess I can grab the sleepy sheep. It may help me out in a pinch. Who knows? Who knows? Better to have it than not to have it, right? Okay. Now we go down to the Pit of Hundred Trials. So let's do it. I think, I'm trying to remember now where all of the, like, hidden panels actually are. I'm pretty sure they're, like, everywhere in Roadport, but I don't remember exactly. And I don't want to spend a lot of time just, like, jumping up and down randomly, so we're not going to do that. But, yeah. Hey, see you later, Casanova. Thanks so much for all the support, and have a great night. Okay, let's see. I have no coins, so I can't really do a whole lot. Um, other than just go down, so that's what we're going to do. I guess to get more coins, you complete troubles. That's the idea. But I really don't want to get in any battles on the way either. Because I really want to just, uh, I really want to just, you know, go there and be at full health and full FP. Not get in any fights. So we give you a full strength for the pit. At least full strength relative to how strong we can be at this moment. Right, it's not that strong, but still. By the way, what are we looking at for badges? I didn't look at my badges in a while. What are we looking at for equipped? Damage dodge, happy flower. I don't. Man, I can take off happy flower. I want to give myself the option of quake hammer. That's a really good badge. Have you ever heard of the GameCube controller to N64 cord? I absolutely have not, sports, but it sounds like a ridiculous third party item, if you ask me. But I have not heard of that. There's a shine sprite over here, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Here we go. You took on my trouble. Oh, yes. We gotta find him. Okay. Here we go. Uh, is there a hidden thing in here? I thought that might have been. I don't know why I thought that. No, I was wrong. Alright, here we go. Down to the Pit of Hundred Trials. We're going to floor 50 right now. Let's get that item. And try backtracking. Here we go. Here we go. Very excited. No, did not hit the action man. Hey! Bucket drops on the audience members. There we go. First enemy, no damage. It's behind the stairs. Alright, I'll grab it on the way out. I'll grab it on the way out. Going down to floor two. Oh man, I'm thinking about doing this later too. Man, that's gonna be quite a quite a grind. <laughs> I just walked into it. I walked into it. I walked it. How sad was that? I walked into it. Uh, we could do this without using any FP. I would love to get my hands on that badge. I don't need to super guard any of these. The no damage pit run is already dead. It's already dead. Because I, I, that's dead. Now it's really dead.
41 audience members, though. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you thought you could live past this turn. Give me a break. Thought you could live. That's funny. That's a good one. That's a good one, game. So far, two damage, Pit Run. Uh, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Like I said, we will be back tomorrow uh, from 12 o'clock noon. That's Eastern Time to 10 o'clock. Ow. I need to stop getting hit by things. Uh, so, please, please, please come on by. It'll be a great time. Should I Quake Hammer? I don't think so. I think I just want... I think I want an Earth Tremor. Yes. Let's use these. Because, like, you might as well use the star powers. That's what they're there for. But, yeah, we will be back tomorrow. 12 o'clock to 10 o'clock, which is great. If you haven't done so already, you should definitely join the Discord server. It's a really cool place to be and hang out. Perfect, perfect. And then we'll be back again on Sunday from 12 to 8.30. Or 12 to 8. So we'll see how long it goes. I'm playing it by ear. I budgeted it out that it should take about that much time to beat the game. Uh, so that should be we should be good with that time span. But we'll see. I'm I'm definitely going until the game's over. So like, you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna be like, oh, we hit our deadline it's right before the final boss. Guess they gotta go. Uh, so we will play right to the end. Now I can take these guys out with a jump. I'm gonna tattle on this guy. Just so we have the Gloomba in the tattle lock. Stronger Gloombas. It's fine. Should be around tomorrow. That's good. That's good. I'm happy to hear that bounce. I'm happy to hear that bounce. I'll be around tomorrow. I'll be around all day. Cool. When you do the pit, you challenge yourself. I don't know if I want to challenge myself, though. It's scary. Uh, your Mario Superstar Baseball Let's Play inspired you, inspired you to speedrun Mario Superstar Baseball. That's something that's really interesting to me. Speedruns of, like, the Mario sports games. I think there's got to be a lot of RNG involved in those speedruns, no? Like, that's going to be crazy. How do you speedrun a game like that? It, are there even speedruns of a game like that? Oh, you do no life should run. That's I've seen that done before. That's not an uncommon thing, I don't think. Just roll the one in Mario Party and go last. Rip indeed. Rip you. Ow. You discussed this before here. You have to get like one run and shut the other team out. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely the fastest way to, to get through those games for sure. But at the same time, I feel like, like, how do you ensure that that happens? That's got to be such an inconsistent thing to do uh, in a stream. Ziploc saying, uh, not sure if you'll be here at the end of Sunday's stream. You have to go to a dinner with some family. That's fine. Uh, we, like I said, we're here all weekend. I'm happy that you're here. Ziploc said it'll be around tomorrow. That's awesome. That's awesome. It'll take you at least three hours to complete the Pit of Honor Trials. It's a long bout. It's not fast. I'll tell you that. I'm going to try to play through the game pretty quickly tomorrow. So we can hopefully have time to do the Pit of Honor Trials at the end. We'll see. Nice. Nice spin jump first strike. I'd love if he dropped that Fire Flower. I would love if he dropped that Fire Flower. I would love that. Fire Flower, please? Back in here. If we run out of time for the Pit of Hunters Trials, we might do it anyway. I don't know. We'll find out. No. I don't even need to. I don't need to spin jump that guy. One last maze game appearance. Let's see. Let's see. Something I actually didn't even say in the stream, by the way. We do have all the. I have all my little stream guys right in front of me. You can't see them, but I had uh, Cliff, the amiibo. 
And I had the other guy that was donating to me was Tim the Yoshi. Right here, just chilling. Right here, chilling uh, for the stream. So they've been here the whole time. You have to sleep, you have to drive tomorrow, you'll be back tomorrow, uh, you'll be back in the evening or Sunday, you hope. Well, hey, have a great time and a great day. The RNG is crazy. You have a 29 minute, 57 second PB. Is that for getting through challenge mode with one captain? And I assume you start with Peach, because Peach has the best team. I don't know. Maybe you start with Wario so you can pitch with Waluigi? I don't really know. That's cool, though. I would love to try that. I feel like that would be really... Uh, just a, such a unique way to play. Like, such a unique way to play, right? Am I right? I'm not going to deal with this long battle. Have the star abilities. They're there to be used, so we're using them. Perfect. Nice. You remember that Mario Kart 64 stream with the cliffs? Oh, God. Cliffs, don't remind me. You're reminding me. You're bringing back the PTSD. Good. We'll get a lot of coins here, too, which is good. 11 kazoos. Haven't watched many of your streams, but it's been a long time viewer since the early days. I appreciate that. Oh, mover. That's right. I don't need to go that way. Uh... That's awesome. Since the early days of Crystal Studio, thanks for all the good memories. So I appreciate that. I really do. Oh, my. Yeah, I don't need that. I don't need the mover right now. Those things show up randomly, don't they? I appreciate that, Kazoo, and I appreciate you coming on by. What do we get? Sleepy Stomp. I just, I just bought that. I just bought that. I paid money for that. And I just got it for free? Are you kidding me? Anyway, any percent mushroom cup than the current route. Was pick Wario, go DK Peach, Mario, Yoshi. Interesting. I'd love to try that. That would be such a cool idea. Pokies. Well, this is going to be annoying. I pretty much have to switch parts. You always wonder what my students think when I tell them I have 20k subs. Well, I usually don't like tell them that. Uh, they they kind of figure it out because they have nothing better to do than stalk me, I guess. Uh, but... Do I? Nah, I can throw the hammer. But it is funny, like, when they figure it out. Like, I don't know. It, it's just... It's funny. I say it on, on streams uh, before, and I'll say it again, that I did have one student that actually knew me Prior to teaching, like most of the time, in fact, all of the time, I should say, except that one time, students will have me in class, and they'll, like, look me up. Like, if you do enough digging, you can find, like, my social media accounts and stuff, and they go on YouTube, and they eventually find it, and they're like, wow, he has, like, a good amount of subscribers, which is pretty funny. Oh, yeah, they huh, used a life shroom. That pokey had a life shroom they just used. What? What? Crazy. Pokey's on life support. The Pokey is on life support right now. Look at it. It's just a head. Get out of here. That's funny. Pokey's on life support. Oh, I get the life stream, though. Yes. That is clutch. That is a big drop right there. That's a big item drop. Anyway. Uh, how many years until a GameCube Classic? I would love that. Oh, yeah. So I, I didn't finish telling the story. Um, there was one student that actually, like, frequented my streams prior to even coming to my school and was like, you look really familiar, and this and that, and, like, kind of figured out, like, wait, man, I, I know you. Like, I didn't, I'd never had this student yet, uh, but could, maybe, eventually. Um, but it was just a weird, funny thing, you know? Yeah, just one. One student, that was the case. Not gonna get crushed by the wall. So that was cool. That was cool. That was a cool, humbling experience. That that student was like, "Wow, I watched. I used to watch your content and this and that. And now, like, you're you're a teacher, like, at my school. Like, how cool is that?" And I was like, "That is pretty cool. Very pretty cool." All right. So what's going on? 
Uh, someone bought you. Oh, Jolene bought you a slice of cake. I, I think you should. I should avoid it. I should avoid it. That's just me. Though. Take that. I know we're burning through FB with that, but that's alright. Oh! Life support again! Are you kidding me? This happened twice? With a pokey? Twice? What? Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Stop it. Stop coming back to life. Like undead enemies. How did I manage to do YouTube and college at the same time? It was, let me tell you, it was a very busy schedule. Bounce Bro, I balanced three jobs at the time and college. I had, I was a tutor. I did uh, admissions for the school, like giving college campus tours and stuff like that. And YouTube stuff. That was, it was insane. Like, my schedule was, was wild. Uh, but it was all worth it in the end. But that was really crazy. Yeah, wouldn't it be crazy having that experience, I guess? I guess that's how that student felt. It was, like, wild. So, it was neat. Stupid cloud. There we go. Yeah, that, it was a lot. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of work. Like, that's the thing. One of the other things I will admit to you about, you know, retiring from the streaming world is, yeah, I'm a teacher now. I've been a teacher for five years. This is my fifth year of teaching professionally. So that's, it's, it is crazy how fast time goes by. I couldn't, couldn't disagree with you uh, more on that one. Or I couldn't agree with you more on that one, rather. I don't disagree with that statement. Here's another Earth Power for sure. Or Earth Tremor. I keep saying Earth Power because that's a Pokemon move. Earth Tremor. That's pretty cool. Oh, you know what was actually pretty cool? Let me tell you after I do this. Hold on. There we go. Full Earth Tremor. One thing that was actually wicked funny was um, one of my students I found, like, kind of, it was right after, like, we finished the test. We had, like, five minutes left of class. So it's not that kids were doing nothing, but there was a little bit of downtime at the end. Uh, so I was, I was walking around and, uh, we have one-to-one -one at our school where every student has a laptop or a, they have Chromebooks specifically. And I walked over and I watched, saw someone watching a YouTube video and I was like, this video looks awfully familiar. It was Slim's video. It was like one of his, I don't remember what it was, but I recognized it and I was like, oh, who you, I was like, oh, who are you watching over there? And they were like, he was like, oh, just some guy some guy and I was like oh what's his name and he's like oh it's like Slim Kirby or something and I was like oh really like what's he playing uh and so uh he was like I, I it's just some game it's like you wouldn't understand like you know trying to brush it off like that and I was like oh really just some game uh I forget what game it actually was and I was like oh you want me to text him right now and say hey uh you know so and so is watching you they say hi and he was like yeah man get out of here you can't do that and I totally did and it was wicked funny because he was like, what? What? You texted him? I was like, it's so funny. So, so funny. That was a good time. That was a good time. Awesome moment. Awesome moment. Uh, it, but it, the kid was like floored. He was like, how do you know him? What, like, what is happening? It was really funny. Really funny. I, teach, uh, high school. I teach high school. Am I going to try to move up the educational ladder? You know, that's a great question. I've thought about it. Like, I've thought about either going to teach college. I've thought about going to administration. I've thought about a lot of those different paths. But honestly, I don't think I'm going to move. I, I love what I do. And, like, I am taking on a role right now. I, I can tell you I'm the uh, building representative for my union. Uh, so that's the leadership role that I've taken on. And one of two of them. Oh, the trouble. Hello. Hold on. i got to kill this pokey first. Uh, and, like... Kind of being in that position has put me more in a leadership role and more in, like, the administrative side of things. And although it is great to be involved in that and I'm happy to have my voice heard, still sometimes it's, like, it kind of sucks. Because, like, you, it feels like 
the school is more like a business sometimes, and it gets more political than feeling like it's about the kids, which is a real shame, because at the end of the day, it really should be all about the kids, which it is, I think, for the most part. But unfortunately, a lot of the money aspects no, I missed the last one, of a school do somewhat interfere with it being truly all about the kids. So I don't know if I'd want to be in those shoes, like for a career, to be in, in the administrative side of things. You almost have to be more of a politician sometimes. You almost have to be more of a politician to do that. And I just don't see myself ever doing that. I will say that one thing I am uh, particularly excited about is the prospect of being a department chair at some point, or being the department head. That is definitely the, the position that I would pursue. Because that is, yes, more of a, I guess, administrative role, but within, but you're still a teacher within the department. So I, I would really be interested to do that at some point. That, that's, that's, I guess, my career ultimate goal. You vote for me as president of school. <laughs> that would be cool. I would love it, believe me. But I, I think department chair is really the, the path that I want to take. I think... Uh, like I said, I think principal, I, that was definitely the route I was thinking of going, but I just think it's too, it, 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 it's not what I love to do. All right, that guy's gone. You know? And what I love to do is teach. I want to be in the classroom. I want to be teaching. Um, f how much SP, do, uh, uh, BP does fire drive take? I don't remember. It's a three. Yeah, that's a lot. I was like, oh, that's a really good move, I think. That's the thing. You have five courses to become a principal. It's a scary prospect. It really is. It really is. Anyway. Yeah, that's true. I know there's no pressure right now, for sure. But it's interesting to think about. Oh, we got booze now. That's right. I want to get rid of this guy before he uses his super shroom to heal. Oh, Mr. Softener? Or Mr. Mini... Mr. Mini? Sure. I'll take one of those. Cool. Thanks for the free stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much it, Kirby User and Smash. Essentially, being an adult. Ow. Yeah, we're going to level 50 right now. Ugh. Ah, uh, this is gonna be so aggravating right now. Oh, good boosted damage. I hope I don't miss this. Loopy Saurus, by the way, stopping on by. Thanks so much for coming on by. The Pave Mario. That's why I cannot do the trouble on floor 50 yet. I'll be able to do it later in the game. Get out of here, throwing a can at me. I don't think so. Ah, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. My girlfriend has never been on stream. I'm guessing she doesn't want to be. She does not want to be, no. And I, I've, I've told her that. She's like, I was like, you can come on if you want. She's like, no. <laughs> okay, I guess. I guess we're going to take this turn to uh, heal. <laughs> not much else to do. So I guess we're going to do this. But in any case, no, it's... uh. That trouble doesn't come available until you beat the final boss. I thought it was before that, but maybe not. But in any case, no, she has been, I have to say, supportive of, of my streaming. She understands that it's something that's very important to me. She's been tolerant of it, and I, I, I'm very appreciative of that, for sure. One more sweet treat. Does she play video games? I, I don't I wouldn't call her a gamer by any, any any stretch. She's definitely like like into nerdy things, which is cool. You know, he's a big Harry Potter fan. Uh, Game of Thrones we watched together when that was like a, a thing before like season eight was just terrible. Um What else? What else? What else? We're going to see Frozen 2, like she's big into Disney and stuff like that. So we definitely have a lot of common interests. 
But I think it's actually good, by the way. I think it's actually good. Can I do this while Boo's invisible? The only move in the game that hits an invisible enemy. Um, one thing I will say is I'm very happy that we're actually into different things. Because something I thought... Let me tell you this. Maybe a little bit of life advice. I always thought, like, when I was dating, I was like, oh, I want to find someone who's also a teacher because, like, we have we would have a lot of common ground and a lot to talk about. That actually could not be further from the truth as to what I really wanted. I, I feel like if someone, if I were to date someone else in the same profession, I feel like that's all we would talk about. It would be like a co-worker. Like, you know, I'd want to, like, I like that we have a lot of common interests, but really different careers. And I don't need this at all. Uh, and it, uh, it really makes, I, I think it's really a, a great dynamic. And to be honest, I've never been, I, I've never been happier in my personal life. I really have to say that. It's really, it's really special. It's really special. So, anyway. Um, does she play video games? Yeah, she's not a gamer, per se. Oh, boy, there's a lot of things. There are a lot of things. I think I can get away with... Uh, how can I do this? I think I may just have to... May just have to one at a time. Okay. Yeah, just got out one at a time. <laughs> I like that little sad face. Ow. Why are you taking all my stuff? Anyway. I think I am going to have to do this now. Yeah, just Earth Tremor. We're just going to have to get rid of him. Hold on. I'm falling behind on the chat. Yeah, look at that. Another full Earth Tremor. What are they going to say? Uh, I think she is going to be excited for Animal Crossing, though. I don't think she's ever played Animal Crossing, but knowing her, I think like she'd be really into that. So I think that would be really fun. She said she used to play Sly Cooper all the time. And actually, we played Sly Cooper together recently, and she was good. She was good, I gotta say. She was good. So, it's funny. She, is she a sports fan? Not particularly, but she is, like, her favorite team to root for are the Red Sox. So, like, is she a sports fan? I wouldn't describe her as a sports fan, but she is a Red Sox fan, so that's good enough for me. And she likes baseball a lot. I was like, just so you know, during baseball season, like, baseball's gonna be on the TV, like, just all the time. She's like, that's fine. I'm like, okay, sounds great. I, we lost count of that, didn't we? We totally lost count of how many super guards there are. We've had a good amount, though. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're actually getting close to a level up, too. Is that a spite pouch? I don't know if I even if I need this at all. Does half damage... No, I don't need that at all. There was a super guard counter a while ago. I think we're up to like 20-ish. We were keeping track and then we kind of tailed off. But anyway, I love the fact that the Pit of Unge Trials, first of all, exists. I think it's a really fun challenge uh, for any sort of RPG like this to have this sort of extra battle uh, arena. Or extra battle, not arena, but extra battle gauntlet if you really want to go through it. It's freaking fun. Um, but... But I like the fact, too, that there are, like, additional enemies in it, like, that you encounter later. Like, unique enemies. I think that's really cool. So, we're getting to Chapter 3 gold, though, and we're out there yet. Yeah. Right, reduce damage, great. Oh, yeah, it's just classic. It's really good. Oh, that only affects Mario? Well, that sucks. <laughs> that only affects Mario. Oh, well. Uh, 
Uh, I can't really do anything, so I guess we're gonna swap. And then we can do a little sweet treat to recover some health. And then we can do a little Cooper, or a little Coops rather, to put him out of commission. Oh, I hit the poison mushroom. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. When you were younger, the pits felt so impossible, probably because you only upgraded HP like a dummy. I think every kid, every little kid, only upgraded HP. Because I did the same thing. Only, it was like HP all the way. I had like 40 health and like 15 FP. It was so bad. Um, but I don't know. I don't know now that I'm like a little older, a little smarter than I was back then. I don't know how the pit's going to go. Like, I don't know. Is it still going to seem, is it going to seem easy now? Is it going to seem doable, or is it still going to be hard? My guess is it's still going to be hard. But well, I guess we'll find out. All right, we level up after this fight, so I, I'm going to go all out with my FP. Ugh. Balance just out. You just like alternate it every time. You're just like oh, I'll do uh, HP, then FP, then HP, then BP. Like alternate HP, FP, BP, HP, FP, BP. You could do that. An option. That wasn't bad. All I did was just move. That's it. That's all you had to do. So that star power back. I feel like with stylish moves, you you regenerate star power so quickly that like it's worth it to just use those. Like sometimes you're always hesitant to use those types of things, but you have. That's what they're there for. Nice. Snag some of those sweet sweet badge points. And that being said, I can now equip some more things. Uh, I can now equip. Uh, what else we got around here that I want? I feel like I want. Hmm. I feel like I want. I know some badges later that I really want. I don't really want power bounce. Multi bounce, I feel like is really good. I feel like I also want happy flower. Those should be good. Those should be good for now. I don't need damage dodge P. Partners just soak up health. Like, they're just meant to be sponges, so whatever. Damage sponges. That's all they're good for. Meat shield. Uh, this is also an Earth Tremor battle here. Also Earth Tremor. It's just 1 FP, 4 BP, 1, H one uh, FP. No HP at all. Oh, jeez. I messed that up. Way off. Way off. This is so serious. Good to see you. Thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, still good enough to get rid of one of them, but that was kind of disappointing. Now. At least we can finish them off here, but that was kind of disappointing. No HP is all bold. Yeah, it's good seeing you too. In case you're just tuning in, we are moving our way down to the 50th floor of the Pit of 100 Trials, just for now. This is usually the time we do 450. It's a good time to get some levels and also to grab the item on the 50th floor, which is a very important item to make the game a lot more manageable. Having uh, more than BP 3 BP is New Game Plus. That's funny. Get rid of that right away. Uh, let's see be able to take this guy out with power smash and then a shell. Grab all of that. All of that back. Excellent, excellent, excellent. If you haven't done so already, I highly recommend joining the Discord server. Uh, please feel free to do that. It's a great place to be. Great community. Even though this does mark my retirement stream, I still will be on the Discord server. So, so you know. 
so you can always feel free to drop on by. And I'll be like on Twitter and stuff too. So, you know, although I will not be streaming anymore, I will not be producing any more videos, I still will be on social media platforms, so please feel free to come on by. We are going to multiplex. I think we can do this. I think this will... Yeah, get rid of him. Cool. Ow. Uh, can I swap to Gumbella and Tattle on these things? Let's get there. Get their HP bars on screen. And now I can Tattle on Spiny. That's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Does that mean you can get all the uh, past streams on YouTube? You could. Uh, that means I, I do want to do that, yes. Uh, now that this is done. Oh, we'll see. Uh, Power smash. I have them recorded on my computer. They are there. Like, they exist. So you're aware. Oh, a bucket in the audience. Oh boy! All right, this is this is spiraling. This is spiraling. So we're not we're not gonna we're just gonna put an end to this right now. This is gonna spiral out of control really fast if I don't just do this. Okay. And then I think I get Quake Hammer, and I think that'll kill him. Oh rats! No, it doesn't. I thought that would, because I know he's technically invulnerable, but like, can we stop getting hit with? Random things. Rocks? Look at all the people throwing rocks! Every Tuesday you get one past stream. Eventually they'll all be built up. Maybe. Uh, uh. No! Why are we throwing rocks? Get out of the audience. Okay, uh, I think I can do Quake Hammer now. Quake Hammer should... Okay, well, I mean, this is going to be sort of uh, overkill. But I feel like... Uh, this is going to work. Uploading stream archives can be a drag. But yeah, I, I could see like once a week. I could definitely get one of them up until they're all back and uploaded. That's certainly a thing. There we go. That could have gotten really bad. That fight could have actually gotten very bad. So I'm glad that it relatively stayed under control. You can't wait for the stream of me losing. Summer... Summer, you are a troll, number one. But number two, that won't happen. That won't happen. That won't happen at all. Oh, we gotta move her on this floor. Don't need him. They're, they think they're so high and mighty. I smoked them in DKC2, if you remember, if you recall. Uh, zap tap. I love zap tap. What do you got? Oh, yeah, it's just overpriced items way down here now. Um, ugh, I don't need anything, so we're good. Okay, we're going, where are we? Are we 40 or 30? All right, we got 20 more to go. 20 more to go, and then we'll be done for the night. Oh, dark with this. Okay. Alrighty, let's see. Let's definitely heal a little bit here. Maybe I could... Hmm. Yeah, Zap Tap is useful. I should probably equip that, actually. Uh, what should I do? Should I Earth Tremor? I'm gonna Earth Tremor. I'm gonna Earth Tremor here. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, that was clutch. I had to really pay attention to that. Cool. Alright, good. A lot of star points now, too. Look at all those star points. Look at all those star points. That was great. Excellent. You have to bring back the Monopoly cartridge? That's funny. Oh, left. Oh, the Hyper Club. Oh, jeez. Uh, 
Ugh. Alright, I guess I have to quake hammer this. Now it should be a lot easier. I was getting, I was a little nervous there. Now it should be okay. I was like, oh boy, we got hyper clefts. Don't want to deal with hyper enemies yet, but not that bad. Oh man, I need a bingo. That would be awesome. Get a full bingo right now. A shine sprite bingo would be sick. That would be amazing. If you notice, kind of foregone tattling a little bit. Mario Party 3 till we win. So yeah, what I wanted, what I would want to do is I, if I upload streams on YouTube is really go through them and find the best of the best and upload the best of the best. I mean, I think we, you know, we've had a lot of great memories together. Of course, we've had, this is the 200th live stream, uh, weekly live stream that we've done. So, you know, obviously in all of that, we've had a lot of great times. Some of them, you know, better than others, admittedly. You're not going to have every one of them be a rousing success. So I want to go through and really find the best and, and upload the best. Oh, I hate these things. I remember these things. I remember these Koopas. They suck. I hate these Koopas. Because they attack from their backs, right? Isn't that the deal with these things? A shady Koopa. Huh. How do I want to approach this? I think I just want to go on it. Yeah, these things go from their backs. Do a lot of damage. Yeah, I think, I guess this is just the way to do it. Literally just one at a time. Slow but sure. Slowly but surely. That's exactly what I don't want to happen. That is exactly, exactly, exactly what was I knew was going to happen. And I don't want to happen. Uh, 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 that sucks. Gotta heal. Gotta heal. Absolutely have to heal. Oh, poison mushroom. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of that. Ah, oh, terrible. Not terrible. I'm glad we got a lot of health from Mario, at least. I right, know we gotta take this guy out. The one good thing, too, is... Ow, 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 that hurt. The one good thing is, if we can... I think I'm just gonna sweet treat a lot. Uh, if I can get through this, right, then I, I'm going to get a ton of XP per battle. So, like, I'll level up pretty fast, and level up is a full thing, too. Hey, look who's stopping by. Scottman895 says, good evening, Eric. Hard to believe this will be the last stream. You definitely don't want to miss it. Well, I'm so glad you joined. We got three days. Uh, we'll be here for today, tomorrow, and Sunday playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door all the way through. And by the way... Scottman does some really cool uh, travel blogs, and you should definitely go check them out. They're really fun. So, thanks for stopping by, Scott. Pretty much just like undid all that. And right, keep going. I know this is kind of like a slog, but it's like, oh, we gotta, we gotta just keep healing. We're eventually gonna come out positive in all this. Oh, unless I hit poison mushrooms right away. I just literally threw it at the only thing on screen. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Not a good amount of health for Mario, though. That's alright. There we go. Magic 5 is just deleting everything as we speak. Ah, oh, it's so great to see everyone. It's awesome. So now I think I gotta take this guy out. Doing the strat, being a little strategic. There we go. 
Excellent. And now we got one last para buzzy. Easy peasy. Okay, we made it through. We got we got torched with that special attack, but we did make it. Alright. That was tough. That was, that was definitely the toughest fight so far. We made it. But see, look at the star points we're getting. Like, look at the star points we're getting. Like, we'll level up next fight. And look at the coins. We're gonna get more coins. I said last week I decided to retire in August of this year. Is that right? That is right. It was August that I knew. I was like, you know, we're getting on stream 200. Like, life responsibilities are really starting to accelerate. I think right when I hit that, that's gonna be that's gonna be it. That's gonna be the point of of no return, so to speak. So to speak. I okay. <laughs> love the light bulbs falling down randomly. I don't think this fight's gonna be a level up, but I think after the next one, yeah. if I survive, if I don't die before the next one, that is. There we go. There we go. It's regular jump. Am I getting another curse? Oh, geez. No. We'll see. We'll see. I think there's two. There's two more. There we go. Whew. These are tough fights. These are tough fights. I've never actually done the the pit of under trials this early. I've never tried to go to floor 50 this early. I will tell you. So this is actually pretty challenging. I gotta say, it's not something that's easy. You gotta actually be like strategic a little bit. Oh, I got the flower fuzzy. Did I get the spin jump off? They really have been, uh, Kirby user and Smash. I agree. Like, the last... Oh boy, how do I... I mean, a spin jump does take them out. Can I... A mushroom. Thank you. Uh, that was sweet. Uh, I think... What was that? Six damage? So they must have six health. I don't think they have five. No, they do not. Because look at that. You don't take them out. This is fine. That's right. They take away your FP. That's the whole deal. That's why they're flower fuzzies. They don't do any actual damage. Okay, so I don't have to worry about these guys too much. Annoying, but I don't have to worry about them. But yeah, I agree. Like, this time has been... Like, live streaming has really been uh, a good intermediate between, you know, real life and... and like adulthood and getting out of college and starting a career and grad school and all that. Like I'm so thankful for you, uh, you know, YouTube. Ow. Oh right. Oh right. They hurt. Ow. Ow. Like ow. What? Like ow. 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 That really hurt. Oh, wait, I level after this fight, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. That was not great. Got a lot of FP back, but that was not great overall. Yeah, we level. <laughs> ah, you suck. Alright, anyway, let's get out of here. Whew, that was tough. That was tough. But look at all the star points. I mean, come on. 35 star points. That's great. Hey, B-list star, let's go get a little bit of a bigger audience. 
a little bit of your audience. I like that too, that your audience grows over time. It's just fun. It's super fun. Super fun. So, in any case, um, I do want to say just one more time. If you have not yet done so, you can. And you've, probably, you've seen it probably pop up every half hour. But you can go ahead and type exclamation mark TTYD. That does tell you the times that we will be streaming specifically. In case you're curious. Uh, additionally, you can go ahead and type exclamation mark final stream. What that will do is that will bring up a Google form that if you fill it out, I can give you one last little token of my appreciation. Uh, I can send it to you. So if you fill that out, that would be really cool. Uh, sort of an idea I had. and one, Again, it's one of the least things that I could do to actually thank you for all of your tremendous support. So thank you. Yeah, I think Zap Tap I have to equip right after this fight. I meant to equip it. I forgot. I thought I would at least do one. Okay. Oh, you cannot really do anything at all. Uh, let's do this again. I have to heal again. Thought about Miles Garrett. I have not talked about that. I just, it's, a bomb. it's so stupid. Like, why does any of this have to happen? Yo, that was good heal. That was good heal. I'm happy with that. We can tattle the, the fuzzy finally. Fuzzy beetle. Fuzzy beetle. Notice my bigger stage, a little bit fancier too, going on here. I don't know. I think the whole situation is just a really bad look. It's a whole bad. It's a really bad look. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Perfect. It is. The pit is a great way to work up experience points. Nice. Great. Great. More money. Uh, we now want to switch back to coops, and we want to equip. Zap Tap is 3 FP in this game, but it's or 3 VP, but it's so worth it. Zap Tap's really good. I'm glad I remembered to equip it now. I hope that counts as the Coop's Shell Strike, and that was a jump. Yeah, it's like, I don't want to deal with these clefts at all, so we're just going to get rid of them. I, I want to do, I want nothing to do with them. No, thank you. Goodbye. Ugh. There we go. Put your two favorite series in the form because Ace Attorney, Mario's in your top three. I suppose that's true. Oh, Darth going all the way back to chat spike. Oh yeah, that was fun. Fun times. Uh, ugh, definitely need a different partner here. Definitely need to switch partners. There we go. See, now the enemy's going to take a lot of damage here. Now that we have Zap Tap, it's going to be nice. This is going to be nice. Mario Trivia was a heck of a thing in those days. So was Mario Me's Madness, that's true. Those are some pretty uh, ambitious projects. If I do say so myself. Ow, can I like dodge something? Can I perform an action command properly? Uh, we're gonna do this. Uh, no. Uh, maybe. We are going to... Uh, what am I gonna do? I am going to... Tree, yeah. Right here. Yeah, Mario Music Trivia. That was fun. That was a good time. It's crazy that, like, it was so long ago. It doesn't seem like it was just yesterday sometimes when you start to think about it. At least it does for me. Like, putting together all those videos and, and actually asking the questions and the credits little sequences. That was fun to make all that. It was really fun. 
Oh my god, can I land an action man? I really need to land an action man now. Now we're gonna do this. Because now I'm getting tired of this. Yeah, SM4 and Trivia HQ is great. Like I said, it's still going strong on Discord, so if you want to go ahead and jump in the Discord, please feel free. It's a great place to be and interact. And like I said, I won't be streaming anymore, but I will still be there. Uh, that's fine. That should be fine. Should be enough. There we go. Good. Very good. Look at all the XP! Look at all the XP! Nice. Nice. Very nice. You only think to post your own. Yeah, it's tough sometimes. There's a lot of Discord servers that you can be a part of. I get it. You don't want to stretch yourself too thin. Oh, fog. Ugh. Oh, that is a really bad thing to happen right now. I was like, that that guy better get cleared out. I do not want him on his back. He missed. Alright, spin jump this guy. A right, little head bomb. Can I not miss an action command? This is going to cost me now. Ow. Oh, because I missed an action command. Ugh. Ugh. That was devastating. That was devastating. Because I missed an action command. That was devastating. Thank God. That really sucked. That was awful. I can't believe that happened. Ugh. Miserable. Miserable. Absolutely miserable. Alright, anyway. Good, good, good. Yeah, please go ahead and fill that up. Very nice. Get all that stuff. Okay, we gotta get, be getting close to a break, right? Well, ask you shall receive, I guess. There we go. Pity flower. Pity flower is so, is so bad. For the amount of... Uh... BP it costs. Alright, I am definitely gonna grab a super shroom. Way expensive, but I need it. Oh, I can't hold any more items. Oh wow. Uh, I'm just gonna use this. I don't know if I really need one, but I'll grab it. No, I don't want that. We are. Okay. No, we are stopping at floor 50. This is floor 40. Still got a little bit more to go. Alright, here we go. Let's do it. Last stretch. How much health do I have? Right now. Okay, here we go. Last stretch. We got 10 more floors to go, and then we're done. Okay, good. That was a good job. That was good first strike. That was really good. I feel, I feel really good. About that. There are two fire flowers. Oh boy. Don't throw a soda can at me. Huh. This is very dangerous. I feel like this is the play. I feel like this is the play. I feel like the sleepy sheep might actually do something now. Floor 41, sleepy sheep. That put two enemies to sleep and one of them with the fire flower. That's not bad. Okay. Right. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, it's 41 factorial, not 41. Woo! Look at that super guard. Look at that super guard coming in clutch when you need it. Flip this guy over. I feel like if I did not, by the way, use the sleepy sheet, I feel like we would have been in for a world of hurt. We would have just gotten slammed with two fire flowers in a row. That did not happen. That's why we did it. And we're going to level after this. Oh, and boosted damage. Look at this. Look at us go. Look at us go and do stuff. This is great. Oh, that would have been funny if I got that. It's not necessary at all, but... Let's swap. We can actually do some tattles now to get these guys in our logbooks, which is actually a nice, convenient thing. So I'm happy with that. More far from in the logbook. Oh, he's not. oh, I already have the dark. Do I? Do I get it? Yeah, I already did. Oh well, doesn't matter. Oh goodness, we are. I guess we are going a little overtime. I just looked at the clock. I was saying I don't think we have to go overtime for any of these streams, but I guess this one we are. We're almost there though. Just enough. Just enough. All right, we are going on the HP train. Back on the HP train. Get up to 30. 30 is a comfortable hit point number, I think, for a while. So we'll sit. We'll sit at 30 health for a bit. We'll see. You never think you have to go over time until you inevitably have to. That's our. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. It's these things. Oh no. Oh. Oh. God, these things. Oh my God. Oh God. What's the plan for the bomb guys to kill it before I can do anything? That's the plan. No. Yes. All right. Do I have a way to even deal with this? I don't think so. I don't think at this point in the game, I actually have a plan to... I, I don't think I could deal with a flying spiked enemy at this point in the game. Which is funny. That's fine. Yeah, they do like nine... They do a ton of damage when they ignite. It's bad. It's really bad. Man, that, that defense drop really hurt. Pink, pink bombs? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not even the worst of it. That's not even the worst of it. Wait till we get to the purple ones. All right, see you in the AM sports. Adios. Have a good night. Oh, whew. Why we go through that? That's good. They at least dropped one. That could be good to combo with Earth Tremor, actually. Think about that. Hey, the real Mr. So Serious. Joining the Fort Alliance. Thank you so much. Okay. Lava bubbles. Oh my god. I think, if I remember correctly, this. Is like like ice storm is super effective against the lava bubbles. I think, if I remember correctly, we're gonna try it. I think that's true. No, it's not. It did freeze it up. Okay, cool. 
That's fine. You can spend your whole turn doing that. That's fine. That's fine by me. Anyway. Uh, uh. Spin jump this guy. Oh, I used the miss. I actually used the Mr. Softener. I did not want to do that. I don't know why I was hovering on items. It's fine. No, we don't use items. Okay, and then I think I can just power smash. Oh! Whew, we made it. Hey, how's my audio? Good to see you. Thanks so much for stopping on by. <laughs> Bruh! I look up to Big Drake. Is this my last stream ever? This, uh, well, this weekend is. Yes, it is. Uh, so we got this weekend. We got all of tonight. We got all of tomorrow. And we have all of Sunday. So that's pretty exciting. So tonight, we're, we were supposed to end at 10, which was 11 minutes ago. But we are going till floor 50 of the Pit of 100 Trials. Just so we can grab the prize that's there. Uh, and then... We're going to go ahead and play all day tomorrow from 12 noon to 10 to 10 p.m. Then we got from 12 noon on Sunday to 8 p.m. And that should budget me enough time to finish the game. If not, we'll of course play till the end. I'm not going to just abandon the game mid midstream, but uh, that should give me enough time. Like I budgeted it out in my head and I was like, I think that's good. We also had, uh, if you weren't here, we had Mega Freak 400 on a little bit earlier in the stream as a guest. We have a couple more guests scheduled for tomorrow and a couple more guests scheduled for Sunday. So everyone will be here. I know, it is sad. It's definitely bittersweet for me as well. But uh, it, it's something that needs to be done because there are other responsibilities in life that I need to take on. And, and it's... Believe me, it's it's sad, and, and, and I'm gonna start to get the feels on Sunday night. I know I am, and it's gonna be a really, it's gonna be really tough for me. But uh, you know, with my girlfriend and I moving in together, buying a house together, uh, maybe future plans from there. Who knows? Expecting more responsibility at work. We'll see. Hey, here comes the Epilog Gaming TV, raiding with a party of 15, right towards the end. We're uh, just about at the end of today's stream, but that's good. Catch the last couple floors here of the uh, Pit of Bunch Trials. Sakani says you'll be back for Animal Crossing. Oh, God, it's Animal Crossing. Scott, man, you won't be able to watch a lot of tomorrows, but you'll be able to watch Sunday. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks so much for stopping on by. We got Phoenix Dragon Slayer. We got Epilogue Gaming TV, actually. Uh, we have, that's just going to be a terrible idea. Armored Psycho, or Arm Psycho, rather. Yeah, that wasn't going to work out. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate that. This, I have nothing that I can do for this. So what I'm going to do is this. Uh, yeah, we got we to gotta just do this. To feel the crowd. I got to get my star power back up to two, two full circles. Uh, that's not going to do it. <laughs> so I guess we can... What can we do in the meantime? What can we do in the meantime? Can I... Do, I can't do anything in the meantime. There's nothing I can do. I could just appeal again, but I guess I can defend. That's fine. Coops has slipped over. That's not really a big deal. Uh, we can go ahead and... Oh, that is actually a big deal. Because now we can't do anything. Oh, that is actually a big deal. Oh, wow. Uh, how many chapters have I done today? We got through chapter... We got through two chapters. And I'm now going to the floor 50 of the Pit of 100 Trials. Just so I can grab the item that happens to be down there. And then we're going to call it for the night. Tomorrow, I plan on doing chapters 3 through 6. So that's Glitz Pit, that is uh, Twilight Town, that is Keel Hall Key, and the XX Express. So I plan on doing all of those tomorrow. And then Sunday will be 7 and 8, and maybe the Pit of Under Trials all the way down. We'll find out. See how much time we got left. At this point in the game, it's funny. This, that's literally all I could have done for a flying spiked enemy. No, There are no further tactics that I could have employed just then. So that's awesome. All right. So again, and yes, this will be my retirement from live streaming and content creation in general. I still will be on the Discord server, though. So if you want to go ahead and join the Discord server, if anyone wants to go ahead and type exclamation mark Discord, just to make that link pop up on screen, please feel free to do that. 
will I ever stream again in the future? The answer I've been giving is, you know, I, I of course you can like never say never. But at the same time, this really is meant to be the, the finale of it all. I've been doing content creation for 10 years and uh, since 2009 when I started on YouTube. So it really is, this is really the end, you know. Like I said, who knows? If, if going forward in life, uh, teaching just happens to fall through and for whatever reason I find myself in a tight spot, you never know. Could come back and, and see. But I, I'm most likely it's, it's not going to happen. Because it, this is designed to be the end. It's designed to be the end. So. And it's been a great run. It has been a great run. Uh, I don't think I can do anything. I take out this guy. I don't plan on there to be a comeback event. I know some people are like, oh, could you do like the return of and this and that. I'm like, I don't really plan on that happening. I, I don't I don't anticipate that that will happen, but I guess you never know. Uh, we can spin jump one more time. I think I have to just... I have to just like appeal repeatedly, right? There's nothing else I could do until I get Earth Tremor. Which is hilarious. Or this guy's just gonna kill himself on Zap Tap. I mean, I guess that's a thing that could happen. I guess actually that's not a terrible thing that could happen at all. It's not a terrible thing that could happen at all. No, if I if I come back bounce, it certainly won't be like a random thing. But I, I wouldn't count on it. I mean, honestly, I know it's sad, but all good arcs have to come to an end, and this, this, like I said, I am moving on to accept further responsibilities in life, and I do appreciate the fact that you are longing to have me back, because that, that really sends a, a great message, and I, I, believe me, I don't take that for granted, but it's not something that I'm planning on now. I think I might let this guy kill himself on my zap tap. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. So... I think this is exactly the play. So watch, we're gonna now do this. We're now gonna do this and heal up a little bit more. And eventually, I think he's just gonna destroy himself. And like I said, I will still be on Discord. I'll still be on Twitter. I'll still be on social media. You can still find me. Um, and in fact, I may even be more active on the Discord than I am now. Uh, now that I won't be streaming, I'll actually be freed up a little bit more to talk more on the Discord. But like I said, it's just more of life's challenges that I'm like, eager to face. I now can. I can, like, do nothing. This guy's in the air. Uh, heal again. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Don't attack Koops. Can you attack Mario? Can you attack Mario, please? No. No. I wonder if there's something like programmed so that he knows he only has one health left and he's not going to attack Mario. I have no idea. I have no idea. That's really interesting to me. That's really interesting to me. There's nothing I can do, really. Can't do this. Weird. He's not going to attack Mario now. He's not going to attack Mario. Yeah, I guess I can super guard. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. He did attack Mario. Oh, double star points. How about that? I love getting that one. Uh, what games did I play? I played, I guess I ended up being known on YouTube a lot before the Mario sports games. I played Mario Baseball, Mario Tennis, Mario, uh, Tosu, Mario Golf Tosu Tour, all those types of games. It was fun. It, it was a really fun run. Uh, we go... What do we go here? I think we go FP. And then we go a couple BP level ups in a row. Right, that's what we do. So now I have 30 HP, 25 FP. I feel like that's a good spot to be in. And then I'll go for some BP level ups later. We gotta be close. Right? Maybe? Oh, I hate these things. I hate these things. Really don't like these things. 
Okay. Okay. Well, this is very bad. I think we have to hit all these. I think I have to hit all these. Let's go! Let's go! Nice. Woo! That could have been really dangerous. That could have been really dangerous. I'm so happy that happened. Uh, okay. Whew. Have I told my student fans that I'm retiring? They are all aware. They saw it on Twitter. The high school students have nothing better to do than to just, like, stalk. Where are we? 47. Two battles to go. Two battles to go. Two battles. We can do it. Or a lava bubble. Is it called an ember or a lava bubble? Yeah, this is fine. Can I quake hammer these? They're not considered on the ground, right? No, they're not. Uh, I can power shell them. Good. Take the little toes trouble and go to floor 30 to get tap tap. I mean, that's more or less what I did. I think... If you're gonna go to 30, you might as well go down to 50 just to get the item at floor 50. Ow. But hey, you do you. Do I put my Twitter handle on the board the first day of class? Uh, I mean, I guess that's not entirely a lie because I do have a teacher Twitter account, so I don't have, you know, it's not the SMXLI, it's something else. But so that is posted, but I guess, so I guess that's half true, but not my YouTube one. What else we got? Uh, do I notice any difference between my high school peers and high school and my high school students? Well, it's all about the trends. It's all about what's popular. Because sometimes I find myself looking from like an adult lens and being like, it's so silly that the kids are all into such and such. But then I think like, oh, if that were around when I were in high school, I totally would be into it. A great example is a game like Fortnite. Now, I'm not going to come out here and say that Fortnite is, is, like, a great game. In fact, I don't think it's actually that good. But I will say, like, if it were popular when I was in high school, like, with that mindset of wanting to play with my friends and this and that, I totally would have been into it, you know? So sometimes you can't you can't just crap on it just because it's a different thing from your generation. I'm also very happy, let me tell you, that I did not grow up with social media being a big thing. Like, when I was in high school was when Facebook really started to emerge. I graduated class in 2009. Nowadays, with Snapchat and all Instagram and all that stuff, I feel like there's just so many distracting factors for kids, you know? And their brains just wander and to places they really shouldn't. So, I'm happy that's not the case. All right, here we go. Floor 50. We finally made it. We get the Strange Sack. And the Strange Sack is what it's all about. It allows you to now carry a maximum of 20 items. And that is what it's all about. A TikTok, right, things like that. So we are out of here. Whew. You do all 100 floors before you beat Hooktail? Do you have a Death Wish? Awesome. Awesome. Silver card. Now we can play the paper mode game. Oh, you cheat using Mega Rush P. That's funny. That's funny. So that was fun. That was a whole thing. Oh, man. We definitely have to save after that. All right. I'm going to work my way back up to Rogueport, and then we are going to call it a night. For the first night of the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door marathon stream, we managed to get through chapters one and two tonight, as well as the first 50 floors of the Pit of Andre Trials, so I can go ahead and grab... The strange sack, which allows me to... I meant to grab that on the way up. Uh, meant to be... Oh, I, there's another star piece in the pit, too. Oh, there's another star piece there. I'm going to get it. Get out of the way. I'm going to get it. Uh, so that allows me to carry up to 20 items. I find that's just so useful for the rest of the game. So I'm happy to have it. It just results in, like, throwing away less stuff. Um, so... We will be here tomorrow. We will be here Sunday. Tomorrow we start again at 12 o'clock noon Eastern time. That is what? Uh, like 
14, 13 and a half hours from now, we'll be back again. So, don't fret. We will be back soon. Oh, I missed the thing. Well, I won't be gone. I guess I'll still be here as long as I can keep screwing up this paper mode thing. Um, but in any case, tomorrow we do have more guests joining us. We did have Mega Freak 400 joining us for a little bit uh, today, which was great to have him on. I, I really love being in the community with him. He's a really nice guy. Um, and he has, I love that he's so opinionated sometimes because it really does result in good discussion. And I think that's cool that we have such differing opinions because we can do some good debate. Yeah, that's what I wanted. But anyway, tomorrow we'll be joined by, I can actually tell you the schedule. And these schedules are approximate times. They're not exact times. Um, but I will say that uh, X and Shadow will be here from about 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Again, not a definite time, but he'll be here around that time. Slim Kirby will be here from 4 to 5, or 5.30-ish, depending on how long he wants to stay. And then we do have K-Man coming in around 6.30 tomorrow night. So, And those times are all Eastern Standard Time, just FYI. Uh, but we do have quite a bevy of guests joining us tomorrow. Uh, maybe we might even have someone on again a little bit later in the day, but I'm not sure. Hey, I look up to Big Drake. Thank you so much. Have a great life, you too, my friend. Uh, it is going to be a challenging life. It's going to be one that... Uh, has a lot of exciting challenges along the way, but ones that I'm eager to to face. So, pretty exciting stuff. Came in 6.30 to 7.30, not 5.30 to 6.30. 6.30 to 7.30. Alright, so we made it back up to Rogueport. Let us save. Let us end it for the day. Like I said, we'll be picking back up at noon tomorrow. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and type exclamation mark final stream. There is a Google form that you should fill out to get a little personal thank you from me. But I'm tired, so I'm going to bed. Uh, so I can actually, you know what? We're going to sleep at the inn, and then we're going to go to bed IRL because I am exhausted. So, actually, let's check out check out the bad shop first. Then we're going to bed. Can't make it to another stream. Oh, if you can't make it on the stream, just know that watching your videos really helped me during the worst parts of your life, middle school. It made such a big difference in me and the person I've become. Only made it to a couple of streams, watched so many YouTube videos. So sad that you're retiring, God bless. Well, that's a very sweet sentiment, uh, Terminate, Tominator. Please, please, please do not be afraid to join the Discord. We are there all the time. Piercing Glow is so good. Uh, so please, please join, okay, because I'd love to stay in contact. Uh, and Pretty Lucky P. I wish it wasn't Pretty Lucky P. I wish it was actually just regular Pretty Lucky. I'm glad we got Piercing Glow, though. Piercing Glow is really good. I'm happy with that. Anyway. Alright. I am going to sleep. In the inn. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow for day two of the final stream of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Tour.